Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Dan here, guys. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 and my 10-year anniversary Let's Play of it. I'm super excited to be continuing this. We have finished up Paragus 2 in the last stream and basically the pro prologue tutorial level, planet, whatever you want to call it. And we are now getting into the thick of it. Moving on to Telos, where Telos can be fun and annoying. And the reason I say that is because Telos has some good moments, but it's also a moment, there's like a moment when you get into the game where it's kind of tedious, you know, like where you're kind of spending a lot of time going back and forth as opposed to, you know, you're, you're like in the same area a lot doing quite, like obviously if you're just doing main missions, it's not as bad, but it still does happen. So, um, but there's a lot of very important story in this area. And uh, obviously, you know, you don't just stay, um, in Citadel Station, you move to the planet's surface, and, you know, you go to the Academy that's there. There's tons of stuff to do on Telos, so I'm hoping for a solid stream of it today. So, guys, welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Uh, make sure you're leaving a like on the stream. Quick like goes a very long way, and obviously, we sure to say what's up in the chat. So, I know you're with us as well, and I can say hello back. That's how we do things over here. Uh, let's go through the chat really quick, say our hellos, and we will load up our game. All right, here we go. What's up, Tanner? <clears throat> What's up, Anakin? Hey, Ben. Hey, Mike. You thought this game was already out. Well, yes, it's been out for 18 years. <laughs> 18? Yeah, 18 years. It came out in 2004. So, yes, it very much was already out. That doesn't mean we can't play it again. Believe it or not, because even though a game's older, you can still play those games. I know, it's crazy, right? You don't have to just play them in the first week. Anyway, what up, Tyler? Hey, Marth. Uh, hey, Gareth. Hey, Spence. Jaden, Adam, what's up, you guys? Uh, what's up, Judd? Hey, Detox. Uh, hold on. Yes, okay. Uh, Strass, what's good? Hey, Shadow, how's it going? What's up, Andrew? <clears throat> what's up, Kimmy? Hey, Tyler. Uh, ha, ha, ha. What up, Tanner? How's it going? Hey, Leary, how's it going? Welcome. Um, where are we at here? What up, Judd? Hey, James. Abdul, welcome. Uh, what's up, Thomas? Uh, what's up, Mickey? What's up, Lenny? Lenny! <laughs> uh, what up, Pies? How you doing? Uh, ha, ha, ha. What up, Ignite? Welcome. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully you can get all fixed up before Christmas time. Because that's the worst to be sick around Christmas. I think I was sick on Christmas one year in my life. And it's not fun. Uh, what up, Mike? Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys, one second. I lost my place. It always does that. Where are we at? Mike, there he is. What up, Byron? How's it going? Hey, Beans? Oh, shit. Oops. Sorry. I fucked up. That's what I was hoping would not happen. The problem is I have to play this game, and, like, if you minimize it, it, like, if you, like, click anywhere else, it minimizes, and the only way you can play this game is if, uh, uh, to have it, like, not freeze the screen is if you have it on, like, capturing the, the, the desktop itself, not so much the application. I don't know why that is, but it's just the way it, it goes. Uh, anyway. Uh, what's up, Dragon? Hey, Shell. Hey, Tim. What's up? Hey, Cloud. Uh, Marius, what's going on? What's up, Professor? Hey, Monkey. Welcome. What's up, Noah? Welcome. Hey, Chris. It's very different, isn't it? It's, it's kind of, the channel is very different, I think. But in, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> we can't always be super immature. But, because yeah, I, I, when I see, like, like when people just, like send me clips of my old shit, it's like, wow. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, uh, what's up, Yoda? Welcome. Ranger, how's it going? Hey, Lloyd. Welcome, you guys. Thank you for coming. All right. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get our load on. Now, we're still going to be on the Ebon Hawk. We haven't actually departed for Telos yet, but I figured I'd take care of every single bit of conversation I possibly could in that moment anyway. So, we are good to go. We've talked up with everybody. We're going to head to Telos. Again, Telos is a mixed bag for me. It's interesting because some aspects of this game are exceptionally loud.
And then we get arrested right away by Gren, that bastard. What's up, Ward? Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, did I seriously not... Man, every single day I stream, every single day, I completely forget to put it in low latency. I, I changed it to normal latency, but it keeps it keeps changing to... Or it keeps changing back to normal. I keep forgetting to do it. I have, I'm not going to be able to do it. I have to set a reminder for... for you know, I'm going to do it now because I'm going to forget to set a reminder to set... To tell myself, it's a reminder. I mean, if I'm scheduling a stream, tell you what, I'll set it for later today. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. There we go. I don't like the sound of that. If they Nobody think does. we caused the explosion, uh oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. How long will this take? Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. Yes, that includes <laughs> you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. This is outrageous. You don't have any evidence. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. I refuse to go along with this. We're leaving. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. I'll go. But one way or another, you'll pay for the, for the trouble. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. I thought this was such a cool aspect because you literally do go to jail. So it's like... You know, a little bit something different. And you actually have to, like, kind of almost work your way up. I mean, obviously, you get everything back as time goes. And, and yeah, their security was really good. That's why it was funny. When you think about it, you really could have been like, you know what? I'm a bust out of prison. And then, meanwhile, the Evan Hawk gets jacked. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. Man, I gotta say, the loading right now on Telos is slow. No, we are not on Coruscant. We are on Telos. It's in the title, big players. Load, you're on PC. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in residential module 082. You just tell him to get out. A force game? This is ridiculous. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements... I mean, I wouldn't be able to do all of it because... I don't know where my connect is. I think Someone it's still kicking coming. around somewhere. I'll have so to dig through my shit. this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed. Is that about to rem? Let me out of this cage and we'll see how disappointed you are. Doubtful. Though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Uh, that's probably because of mods, Mike, to be honest. I have some graphical mods installed. The original does look a little archaic, but you can modernize it to make it actually look decent. And if you really know how it did look from the beginning, it is a very noticeable improvement let's get this over with come jedi it, it is, is time, time to die. die he doesn't answer hey, your questions leave anyway him alone. 
You want to fight? Then try me if you've got the guts. I warned you, you once. Go to me once and I'll you go to me once. do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. I love when we just kick his fucking ass. Like, he's got guns, and we... We have our hands and feet. These are lethal weapons. Let's go, big player. Let's wound him first. He's safe. I'm gonna shock him. Why is it so loud today? The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the force cage. That's such bullshit. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Eh? Uh? Oh, who is that? Is that, is that Batu Batu Rem? Impressive. You lot an assassin to infiltrate your ranks. Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. I'm glad. So, I'm glad someone noticed that only after noticed that only after he tried to kill me. We've arranged for an apartment in residential. This is such a joke. It's hilarious. Two. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragus matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll personally. investigate this incident to the best of our ability. That doesn't make me feel too good. That's not very inspiring. <laughs> Just take me to my quarters, officer. At Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. Well, look at me, I'm looking a little pale. Step up to Rem. Oh man, I might have to drop some sound effects. Volume again. Unless it reset or something. What's with the slow loading in this level? I don't understand. This is surprisingly slow, given the circumstances. I think it might be because of the cutscene or whatever, but. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside Get out. at all times. Let's go. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. They're better now. Just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Get out. Let's go. <laughs> Just send them the fuck away. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. We cannot stay in any one place too long, but our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. I love when we all have, like, three beds. But, like, we don't use them. Anyway, let's go ahead and make a save. I like to do fresh saves. I'm just going to do an options. What am I doing? Sound. I'm going to drop the sound effects a bit more. Just because it was kind of aggressive there. I was like... You know, it's like, okay, Jesus. You can literally reject everybody. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. What does he want? He says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Fine, send him in. I'd rather, yeah, you want to get all the tasks, like all the, this is for quest reasons, so. Very well, I'll let him in now. Thank you for seeing me. I'm Moza and I've come to see you on behalf of Chodo, our leader here. You can literally just say, get out. <laughs> like, just literally let him in to get out. Why didn't he come himself? As our leader, he has many tasks before him and regrets that he could not come himself. The healing of the planet consumes all his time. It means no offense by sending me the chief assistant. What does he want with me? Are you familiar with the restoration project? Yes, go on. And perhaps you heard of our role in the restoration and our troubles with the corporation of Zerka. Zerka has integrated themselves into the Zelosian political system and economy. They are currently pressing to be awarded our planet restoration contracts. Their efforts hinder our cause greatly, and we will have ter and will have terrible consequences for the planet's restoration. Could you get to the point? 
Chodorbot is a powerful brace or spiritual leader. He sent something upon your arrival to serve as an echo in the course. Chodor felt you might be able to aid us. He bid me tell you if you could if, if you could help heal Tila. Sorry, it may be possible for him to heal you. I don't understand. I'm unclear as to what Chodor meant by this. He says the echo he felt upon your arrival suggests that you yourself are damaged. You can feel the pain through the course. Perhaps Chodor Habat should turn his eyes to his own people. If they truly suffer, sir. Yeah. Forgive me, I'm unclear at Chodo's message, and I may have related it incorrectly. If this officer offers mutual aid interests you, please go to the authority compound here in residential 082. When you're able, Chodo should be more pleased to see you. Doesn't sound worth my while. I don't wish to press you, but please speak with Chodo before you make a final decision. Anyway. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. As soon as like it's you know it's funny it's because it's like, oh he's a bit of a spiritual leader. Click get out. <laughs> I'm not joining your cult. I'm not doing it. There's nothing you can do. Good day. I am B4D4. Administrative e assistant for Zerka Corporation Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? What does she want? I am sorry, but I do not know. I am only her administrative assistant. May I put you through? Fine. Thank you. I will... Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. Why are you calling? I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help. Attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Go on. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested... Please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. What sort of work are we talking about? I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. I'll come by when I can. Excellent. Good luck with that messy... Zerka is the dark side option here, sir. So. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If he served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman. Or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. He has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that he turned away from war, did all that he could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do him a disservice by not speaking of this while he is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. How long will I have to stay? The sojourn is already en route. Likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. 
Zamanok's still impounded. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. Where will my T3? After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. It just pieces out. It's like, alright, whatever. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. You know that from experience? Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Why do we need to leave? Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Why would Telos be doomed? Because it depends on Citadel Station. And the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering Senators? Huh. <laughs> Not something worth counting on. What do you think, Kraya? It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason. But we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Um... Other Jedi, I, I should see if I can find anything out there. It is unlikely, but we shall see. It doesn't take long. My skincare, Neutrogena, is like clearly not vibing with me right now. I don't understand what. Re I think resting just heals you. It's like free, yeah, free health. All right, let's get out of here. You can actually talk a lot of shit to people too. You literally break in. I don't remember you didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through your homes. <laughs> don't, don't hurt my family. Just like what you want, I got off. A lot, a, a few of these you do actually get to use. Um. The war has really inflated prices here in the outer rim. Medical supplies are in short supply. I always thought it was odd that we were in the sea. Eh, no, I don't think it matters. But you can like break into these people's homes and just like, no, what are they gonna do about it? A couple of these guys talk shit. I know that some of them are story related, so you don't wanna. What the? I told you, boss, I'm getting your credits. I have a good contract with Zer. Eh? You're not from the exchange. What do you want? What does exchange want with you? Nothing, nothing at all. Do you need droid repair? Because if, if not, I have much work to do. Do you sell droid parts? Alright, anyway, we don't really care. This dude, this is a uh, this is a story mission for him. Can I talk to him? Anyway? I can't remember if I can just use his workbench. What's he gonna do about it? Oh right, I don't have anything with me. Forgot. Sorry, I gotta pick up my shit. We'll be here a while. Everyone's just watching a man miss a door. Oh, right. It's locked because... Um, I always used to do that. There's nobody in there. You have to spawn him. There's a, there's like a mission that spawns the guy there. So, there, yeah. There's nothing really there, but there is someone there. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this douche. Uh, hello there. What do you do here? I'm a data processor. Thanks, let's job and pay us poor. But I have no joy choice but to take it. I have desperate need of credits, and there's little else for me to do. That or gamble. But that's what we got me to do with this predicament in the first place. Let me guess, you have a gambling debt you must pay off. You're half right in your guess. I did at one point have a gambling debt, but it was repaid. There's no creditor that looms over me. Then what's the problem? I, I use your mana, the girl of my heart is collateral. I have a weakness for Prasak. You must understand, my hand was unbeatable. There's no way I could lose. You can, 
Perhaps he cheated. Even if he did, I had no way of proving it. Don't head is a powerful man. There's nothing I can say. I can only sit and stare as he took Romano away from me. That's why I'm working day and night selling my own life to Zerka, that I might buy her back from Doton. But it'll take months, maybe years for me to amass those credits. Doton can take her away from here. Um... What's the price for her? 2000 I was full, hardy, and confident. Every penny I had, I bet on that game. I think I personally don't see things our way. Truly, then I wish you good luck. For no amount of pleading begging, otherwise, it'd work for me. Okay, you gotta get that mission. I didn't ask him who he was. Skipped a line of dialogue. That's okay. Can I stop talking? You understand? <laughs> stop interrupting this man. <laughs> I think you take money from him, and then some guy like threatens you or something. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing in my apartment? Helping myself. What does it look like? You think I'm just gonna let you get away with this? And you're gonna stop me? Yes, I will. I'm not going to let you push me around in my own place. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. I'm not gonna take that from you. Why not? You didn't seem to have a problem taking everything else. Oh, he's got a point. You're right. I guess I'll take your life too. What? You are crazy. Let's dance, bitch. Wound him. Uh, 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 oh, I forgot they gotta level up. Completely unnecessary, and no one does a thing about it. See, what's funny is that was an actual crime that took place. And the TSF could, couldn't give a shit. More dexterity for your boy. I'm, I think I might start working on his melees. See, we're starting to get into security now. Because he gets extra stats. Fighting spirit. Oh, what does it recommend? I mean, he's going to be all stealthed up. So it's like... I'm going to take that away. No, I'm going to give him crit strike. Improved. And they ain't fucking around with the music, are they? I usually go with the recommended for her because they're gonna overload her with like support. Um, they always give her like an overloaded amount of support stats, so it's gonna be off the chain. Just stuff that because like that's what I mean. She's gonna and if you keep Kreia with you in your party. She's going to use it on you. Our psychotic urge is all that drives you. I don't know what even came over me. One second we were just standing there talking and then... I am not speaking to you, fool. Be silent. I'll be adding your body to the pile. <laughs> but the thing is, I want to say that, but at the same time, I don't want to lose influence with her. Because she won't tell you certain stories which give you experience. And what would you have done? I would examine the situation as a whole, all of its ties to the force, and then decide which string to pull, not sever them all at once. <laughs> the guy's just lying Such face crude down. methods grant you nothing. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps. And I'm just perhaps trying to get influence. in the future, you will remember such a lesson. There are many paths in life, and some are short and empty. Oh, I grow weary of this. Perhaps time will allow my words to take root, if your common sense will not permit it. See, I gained influence, but I also lost it. So it was like... Atten, see, Atten is doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Don't! Don't hurt my family! That's like what you want to get out! I got money, and you know it. Take it out your credit shit and throw it, then show <laughs> It's a way ah that way. It's a way ah that way. I think you can download. You want to download the area map and then log out. That's usually what I do. That way you can. It's free. See, why would you pay for it? Do you remember the other ones where you had to pay for it? It's like what? Okay, we'll go to Zerka. Because the Zerka offices are a bit faster too. What up, Adam? What's up, Eric? Good to see you. What's up, Steve? Do I, like, what am I going with for build? 
I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing. It's a nod to my first Dark Side run for Kotor, the 10 year anniversary. That's why we're playing this game. For Zerka Corporation Citadel Station Branch. And oh, so we're gonna mimic you. that, which is a Jedi Guardian Dark Side double bladed. Tell me about Zerka. Zerka Corporation has operations on many systems, providing everything from medical supplies to starship weapon systems. Here on Telos, Zerka Corporation is involved in the restoration project which Zerka hopes will serve as a model for future operations of this nature. B44. Good day. How may I... Here's see Jenna. Course, she has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Bye. I hear Asgul's been paying mercenaries to go to Dan. Yeah, I hear Asgul. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a planet full of farmers. It's got a got a Sylvester Stallone. Hey, I hear Asgul. I hear Adrian's out there. Adrian. Adrian. I hear Asgul. Let's do it. <laughs> I love how you can just walk over here and get it. Watch. Oh, I thought you could open it. Like, don't do that. I knew you'd come eventually. I am confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka, what are the odds of that, Eric? I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. You mentioned work. Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revitalize Telos as a benchmark for other such efforts in other systems. While a generous amount of credits has been budgeted to Telos, the bumbling of Chodo Habat and his Athorians has squandered away much of these resources. For She's a got project a point, of this size, judicious planning and thrifty spending of resources is a necessity, something Habat fails to understand. Nonetheless, Zerka remains optimistic. I mean, Zerka's pretty bad. Need assistance with. But for someone with your experience, you would be well compensated. We're dark side, so we have to do it. Very well, what can I do? Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. What sort of compensation can I expect? Don't worry. Don't Zerka worry. Don't expect you to work unpaid. Shut up. And won't subject you to veiled threats and coercion like Habat. For your help in this matter, you will be paid the sum of 250 credits. Um, excuse me. You'll have to do better than that. I will not run. I'll have to think about it. Shit. Welcome back. Up while a for a project of nonetheless. What can I do? I'd like compensation. Things will pay me better for that. Ha. Okay, we gotta get it. Welcome back. Up what for nonetheless? I'd. I will get it. For you. I will not. God damn it, man! Two hundred and fifty credits back. is weak sauce. What am I supposed to do with that? I can't even wipe. I can't even afford toilet paper for that. What? For, no. I'd, for, Dude. Ha. Yes. I need to level up. Because the problem is I was spending all my stupid fucking shit on, like... Man, I might have to just take 250. To be fair, I am going to be doing a lot more. Th that's nothing, is it? Oh, that sucks. I forgot you have to have a certain amount. Like, right now, probably Persuade's only at 4. And I think I need 5. Because I, I spent all this time into demo... Into comp or, sorry, demolitions. to And, and then I, it was just redundant anyway. So I feel stupid about that. And my treat injury and repair is kind of low. So really, I need to get my Persuade up again. So I don't have a choice, though. I'm going to have to... I'll save it again, though. Welcome back. I see a shadow. 
What do you have to say about the Athorian's complaints? I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh, sure. Habat's intentions are good enough, but good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon without any planning will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. Planets on resources. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. What can I do? Zerka has been managing the rest. I'd like yeah, we you did to meet. What compensation? For your I will not. Damn it! Doesn't she give me? It's not much more. Ah, fuck it, whatever. Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment in the Such account. garbage, bro. Oh, and here, you might need this to get into the hangar. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I had to. I mean, I think I do have the save editor enabled. Or not enabled. Let me just see something. Hold on. Let me minimize for a second. It's probably under downloads. Maybe not. Whatever. Okay, let's just proceed. I don't want to cause a massive... I mean, I feel stupid because I was like... I'm like... If I had remembered that... That it, you need like five. But because my intelligence was so low, I was getting... That's okay. We're going to get money for it. It's going to be... It's going to be at the point... You know... Where it'll, you know what I mean? Like, it's low, but it'll come back. Oops, sorry, guys. Forgot to bring this back. There we go. Shit. Oh, no, it crashed. Shit. Fuck. Sorry, that was on me. Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, guys. It's because I, I was, I minim, the game got minimized. Oh my god. Stop it. Every time you like do anything off screen, it minimizes. It's fucking annoying. Shit. Oh my god, I did it again. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, please let me maximize. Okay, I think we're good. There we go. Okay. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, I gotta talk to her again. Where's the autosave? Yeah, we don't have a choice. All right. Yeah, there are respect. It's the same program. It's the same program. As the uh, KOTOR 1 respec. I remember I had to use a respec mod to actually get out of a soft lock issue. Welcome back. What? For no. I'd like... Hold on. While B44 is perfect. Okay. I will not. Hmm. Honestly. Very well. I'm going to try it. I'm going to bring my spec up. I just want to see what happens. Okay. Just for the, just for the sake of it. Because we... Hold on a minute. I just want to see what I can find. Cause I, I'll just I just want to add to it. Uh. Cause I remember I accidentally as well. There, 
let's try this. I don't know if it's worth it, but I figured, you know what, maybe it's worth the time. It's been a minute since I've actually done it, and I don't like doing it live, but <laughs> I mean, last time I, the, I thought like my stream was going to take way less time. Um, or sorry, I thought it was going to be a lot quicker. Hold on, let me just see something. Okay, no, well then where is it? I knew I had it, where is it? Oh, for God's sake, I knew I had it. Oh my goodness. Uh... Sorry guys, bear with me. Uh, where is it? I don't want to mess up the game, but... There we go. Where the hell do you do this? Yeah, M478 is, um, is what I'm actually doing. There we go. Okay. Sith Lords, please. Uh, which game is this? Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Sith Lords. Okay, uh, game six, probably. Was it game six? Yeah, because there's Cloud. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's see. Zerka Office is perfect. Okay, let me just make a quick adjustment. I don't, I don't want to do too much, but let's see, skills. There we go. We would like demolitions. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just boost my persuade. There you go. Good. Done. 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 Goodbye. Done. Okay. Goodbye. Let's try this again, shall we? I just, if it doesn't, if I didn't add it enough, I just gave myself a few extra because that's what I would have had, you know? It doesn't take that long. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, I might have saved, it said it was game six. Actually, you know, I think it makes a new save is what it does. We'll find out. No, it, it, KOTOR only had the one DLC. Let's just make sure I actually... Where's my skills at? Yeah, okay, so it's at six. Okay, good. Welcome back. Should work now. What? For... No. I'd... Well, I'll just say that. Very well. Ah, shit, my bad. Welcome back. I... What can I do? I... Compensation. I'll have to do better than that. You're right. Three hundred credits would be much more reasonable. Fifty. Wait. So that that all that got me fifty creds. Oh my god. Excellent. I will secure. Oh, and here. Oh my god, bro. I thought it was. I thought she doubled it. She gave me fifty extra credit. You're right. Two forty-six credits. Here's an extra credit. Like, man, what am I going to do with... <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> What's funny about the save game editor is you can literally max everything out. And I think you actually get achievements, too, which is hilarious. You still get all the achievements. Boo. Sorry, guys. That was a that was a detour I didn't like. Oh, what up, Darren? Yeah, I agree for sure. That does take an unfortunate long time. So here's the thing, if I actually, I have to go to the Athorians eventually, so I'm just going to ignore. So before we go to the exchange. Yeah, I'm, well I have to go this way anyway, so. 
I'll probably get my gear. Then I might go to the cantina. Because... Science. One of my favorite cantina songs is on Onderon. It's so good. You can only go here when we return later, which is much later. Bum 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 bum. All right, these two brothers. My volume's pretty loud, Taylor. Are you sure it's not on your point? And I'm looking. Everything is, like, quite high. My name is Dendis, and if you wish to purchase or sell goods, you have to come, you have come to the right place. Avoid dealing with my brother, Saman. He is unscrupulous and deceitful. Saman has better shit. I heard that, you mince. Hear what you like, ruffian. I do not care. Do you see how he is? Disgusting. Let me shop. He's got decent shit, but it's not that good. He's got a Viridian Crystal, though, which is pretty rare. I mean, I think it would be cool to get the Viridian Crystal right off the snuff. Accuracy Gloves. See, look at all these rare wares he's got. Did they even take my implant out? They did. Hold on. Before we... T let's go talk to Saman. Yeah, but Taylor, that might be on your end, though, bro. That... And my levels are all good. Like, I'm looking at it. I said lay principles. That's what I was referring to. Let me shop. All right, Dark Jedi. He has a Dark Jedi Night Rope, which would be cool to get. It... Wait, he's overcharging. I basically have two credits for that. Like, give me a break, bro. His yellow crystals are more expensive. The Viridian... Oh, was it... wait, maybe the same money. What's up, Stone? Exchange casual gloves. These things are pretty good. Hmm. All right. Another workbench here. I don't need it. Let's go back and get our swag, though. What's up, Andrew? Hey, Alan. Stone, what's good? I went in trouble. It was an accident, I swear. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. No, no, that wasn't the way it was. I didn't mean to super drinking. Allow me to leave you and go on my way. I was me no longer. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. What's going on here? This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. Easy enough to teach him a lesson. That was the plan, Chief. Now, why don't you run along? This doesn't involve you. Man, that spinning heel kick. I wouldn't say you needed to kill him, but... No, I'm running away from Kreia's, like... I'm running away from Kreia's, like, fucking scowl. Because I know she has a beef with that. And yes, I do know... That I have to go in here for a lot of, like, there's missions and things like that. You know what, man? I'm gonna go back right now. I actually have a lot of credits. I don't need to get my weapons yet. They didn't take my credits. So what I'm actually gonna do is actually buy that Viridian Crystal because the chances of me getting a Viridian again are pretty slim. Plus it looks pretty dope. So I still have a good chunk of money, so I'm not really worried. But he's got some good shit, honestly, like... Look at Defel Mimicker. I mean, it's expensive, but like, they do have a mission, though. These guys do have missions. All right, guys. There's also, I believe, a uh, Pazak tournament, which we will be partaking in. I know that's not the music here. I actually don't remember the music in here because it would always glitch out. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do swoop racing in this game too. I totally forgot. I knew it the second you walked in here. It's quite obviously your swoop race. So probably a good one too. What else could you have brought right into Citadel Station but to challenge our track records? 
What's the course like? Citadel track was recently constructed as completely state-of-the-art, featuring the most recent advancements in swoop racing. What are the new advancements? With the recent influx of repulsor of technology into the swoop racing circuit, our track features vertical challenges, demanding an even higher level of skill and precision from our pilots. Improvements in the construction of bikes, well, should you invest in it, have enabled us to introduce new types of obstacles, making the race even more exciting for fans. And the pilots, of course. Yeah, there's nothing swoop fans like more than seeing a good wreck. What are the track records? Off Darum with a record time of 4127. 44.73. And third is 50.03. Fourth place, 58.01. I'll be going now. Okay, I will. I can't remember if you can get any money. I can't remember which Bechas actually give you. Hey there. Care for game? Perhaps later. Okay, let's. I want to race. That's a little steep. There'll be more than enough wagering to cover that. You're probably right. Okay, I'll let you race for you. Better come through for me. Or I will. You'll get your money's worth. Let me set to go. Good luck. I remember there was a glitch in this game. I think it only worked on console, but you'd race. You'd, you'd say quit race. Shit. Oh, god damn it. That was bad. I couldn't remember the controls. Man, this is slow. I think I, I think, honestly I probably could have I think I got like second place. That was actually kind of shitty. Like there's so much slower. But yeah, anyway, you would run it right before you hit an object, you'd hit pause and quit and retire and the time would keep going. I'll be going. Okay, I got a free race out of that, but I don't want to risk it. So, I can't remember what he said 41 something, but it's cuz my start, I wasted 2 seconds at the start. Hey, Stan, how's it going? Want to race? Persuade. You will get your money. Hey, yeah! This is so loud. It's so slow. Missed it. Oh my god, I didn't see the time. What was it? 41 something. It's because I missed like one booster. <laughs> oh my god. 41 Oh, it's just off by like a few. A reasonable time. You're off by a few milliseconds, but it's reasonable. Which is not great. But it's reasonable. It might get you somewhere, but it's not gonna get me very far. Not gonna get very far here. I don't think so. I don't know why I'm taking somebody else. Like, let's go. Okay. I, it's because I, when I'm, I'm doing a jump, I'm, I'm not hitting the booster before jumping. You're better off jumping over and hitting the second booster instead of missing the first booster and jumping over the second. So you're not getting any boost. You have to pick one. 
Your shifts have to be on cue. I feel like that. I should have got that. Oh, Jesus. Nipples. Let me try. Hold on. Let me try something. Hold on. Watch this. I need a thing to hit. Actually, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna run into it. Oh, <laughs> no. Dude, I'm not even gonna run into it. That was so bad. I'm wondering if I really can hit the booster and still jump. I don't know. See, I jumped way too early. Oh, I don't want to hear his fucking blabbering. It's like, you didn't even finish. Wait, is this just a qualify? This is just the qualify. Oh, no, it's not a qualifier, is it? I don't know. Sorry guys, I am noobing out hard. Okay. I just gotta actually race it nicely. I try to jump preemptively. I'm gonna wait till I get that boost and I'm gonna see if I can jump. Hopefully it won't work. Cause I'm missing my, I'm, I'm taking L's. I was only out by a few milliseconds that first one. So if I made like an extra booster, I would have done it. Cause what did you say? 4127 is the time to be. I might have shifted a little early. See that? I should have jumped. Oh, see that? I missed a booster. There you go. That time it worked. Oh, you dirty adventurer, bro. That's it. I lost it. We'll just try and... Yes! It does work. Wait a minute, so the glitch still works? I don't know if I got it, bro. The glitch still works. We'll see. We'll see if it counts. It. We'll see if it says I got a good time. Oh no. Yeah. See, no, it glitched. Okay. Damn it, man. I'm not doing good. This is so brutal. I'm so trash. I'm clearly not the pod racer they're looking for. Or sorry, not pod racer. <laughs> Swoop racer. My bad. Before pod racing, there was swoop racing. My god, bro, I'm just taking the absolute piss. Let's go. Stop making a piss out of it. I gotta jump early for this one to get that booster. Perfect, that's what I needed. Missed it, oh god, that's bad. Guys, I missed it. Oh, I did it again, oh my god. I fucking I can't beat this what the hell I can't get the time I just fuck and then you gotta wait for the loading screen every single time the only reason I load before I do it is because Ugh, fucking bad it was you can't miss a booster the first course is a lot tougher because of the jumping Definitely my slowest because I missed so many more boosters that time. I was just jumping over them. So they definitely added a challenge to it. I remember, but I remember this, this one wasn't actually the, this one was supposed to be the easiest one. It wasn't. Seriously, I don't want to be doing this over and over and over again. I got to get, make sure this works. Oh, 
I shifted early, I think. Finally. Fuck. <laughs> you just said it. Like, that wasn't even that hard, but somehow I managed. And I watch everyone go, woo, yeah. Finally. Soup champion, the time 4105. What's my prize? It's 500 creds. I'll be going. I will take it. I got my money back and then some for that crystal, you guys. Ah, so you must be the Jedi everyone's been whispering about. No more trouble with the TSF, I hope? What's up, Jess? Just keep, matters, keep out of matters that don't concern you. Perhaps you don't know who I am? You seem to be of the opinion that I care. <laughs> you haven't been on Citadel Station long, have you? Let me introduce myself. I love it. I'm Benok, the man in charge of Lopak Slusk's protection. You do know who Lopak Slusk is, don't you? The two gentlemen with me are Matu and Nahata, Slusk's finest men. Other than me, of course. Oh, leave the man alone, Benok. I bet he'd come out on top if you fought. Now, Luxa, uh, I meant no disrespect. You're probably Slusk's strongest woman. It's your skin, Benok. Just warning you. Slus could easily replace you. She's right, mess with me and you're dead. We were just leaving anyway. Come on. Wise man. Hello there. Hmm. Fresh blood at the cantina. Enjoy. Your drinks are on me. We should talk. Later. Who are you? If you're asking me that, handsome, you're better off not knowing. Tell you what. You just enjoy yourself, and if in the future we have business together, you can come back and we'll have a little chat. I'll be going. All right, let's talk to the droid. Welcome to the entertainment module 081 Cantina. How can I assist you? Sort of entertainment do you have here? We feature Citadel Station's most talented Toot -toot. Bit band around the clock, as well as live Twi'lek dancers. You won't find any holograms here. Casual Pazak players should be able to find a friendly match in the game room. Or, if you're a bit more seasoned, we have daily tournaments with some of the best players in the Outer Rim. Cards too slow for you? Try your hand at Citadel Station's swoop track and see if you can challenge the all-time records. Last but not least, we feature only the finest cuisine and beverages from Ryloth to Coruscant. I'll be going. Ask her if she has any fives. <laughs> something I can do for you I mean clearly you're at fault what can you tell me about Zerka what's there to say we're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel station getting in early as they say if this whole Telos thing pans out we could be in a great position if Lorso doesn't screw it up that is um, we can be in a great position you mean the planet restoration? Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. <laughs> How does Zerka profit? Quite a few ways. As part of the Republic contract rewarded for a planet like Telos, Zerka is allowed to use the planet's natural resources to help fund and support the project. On top of that, the Senate's easy to negotiate with. 
They're liberal with the amounts of credits they throw around, even with the Republic being in the shape it's in. And, of course, new planets mean new markets for Zerka products. All in all, a very good arrangement for us. Double Lorso. Yeah, Jana Lorso. That woman's a... a f look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. Tell me you're a little jealous. What would you know about it anyways? You didn't claw your way through the mass of faceless Zerka employees to finally be rewarded with a meaningful posting, only to have it taken away by some woman who'd stoop to anything to get ahead. She's got her hands in too many dirty little... <laughs> um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. Uh, I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. Bye. It's just extra dialogue. Don't net right here. Wonderful sight, isn't it? The best of my dancers and the best I've seen in many years. Who are you? I'm Don't Hat, an entrepreneurial businessman here on Citadel Station of Dealing Odds and Ends, stuff that Zerka and the Dodo Brothers have no interest in. Odds and Ends. I run loose business and stock changes from day to day. Could I look at your inventory? Nothing quite as plebeian as that. I believe Simon or Dennis Dobo will be more willing to do business. Come with me, Akahara. Hermana, then fine, give me your proposal. Give me the girl or I'll kill you. Must be so brash, it's not a way to do business. Is that the way you wish to approach the negotiation? I wish I have no wish to deal with you. You'll be dealing with my blaster. Don't do you no good. Ramana has been outfitted with a transmitter. If you should kill me, I shall simply obliterate her. A waste, to be sure. But I feel you do not understand the nature of our relationship. Some of you want an exchange. Madam made make possessions and inanimate objects. They bring me little joy, but I see the beauty of dance is a rare treat. Credits if it must be. Currency of the Republic is such a mundane way for businessmen to rent deals. Except no less. How about you wager on a game of Pazak? That's an interesting suggestion. You wager on another. I do like the way you think. There's a merit to suggest. Fine, I shall place it's a wager of your own. I'll say I can't before. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll save. I just forgot. The reason I said no is because I forgot to save it. I'm ready for our game. I hope you are skilled. Thousand it is. All right, man. It has been a minute since I played. I usually like the negatives are good. So the big threes like this, uh, but I want to bring in twos, threes. Sometimes you need ones, minus one and a minus two. And then we'll do a plus five, a three. Oh, I don't have any more. Well, oh, I'll just, I'll just put them all. I forgot. But it's random. All right, three. I'll just keep ending turn. You'd ra I'd rather have negative cards, honestly. 18, 20, and we'll stay there. He tied it too, but he wasted a card. Do you remember? <laughs> remember KOTOR 1, how much time we spent into Pazak? It was ridiculous. Oh, see, we're both using cards up, so eventually it'll come down to luck. I have to go for it. He's staying. Yes, I got the dub. <sighs> Hell of a gamble. He's got high cards early. 15. Shit, I have no choice. I'll have, just have to end. Alright, we're both... that way, So we're tied up. 17. I'm gonna stand. I know it's early, but... He went over. Good call. <sighs> 14. 18. Oh, God. I'm gonna stand. I'll tie the set. No sense in risking a d an L when the ball's in your court. Damn it. I have no choice. I have to end. I'll have to take the loss there. I should have used the card and stayed where I was. He's got cards too, but... Oh, I lost! See, that's all it takes. That's all we... I lost. That's balls. I see, see what I mean? That's with Pazak. I should have, that second time, I should have played the card. And uh, I should have played the, si the plus six. 
That's why I had too many pluses, not enough negatives. That's why it's almost better to just exclusively select negatives. Thousand it is. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these. They're always a, and then I'll bring plus. I'll bring these as well, and I'll leave with that. Oh, I have to play with a full deck. Ah, oh, you bitch. That's what makes a scout. Oh, actually, that's that's a pretty good setup. I'm cool with that. Sixteen. You stupid bitch. I was better off standing. Shit. I have to. I can still beat him. Let's go. Nice. Nice dub. Let's go. He had to use a lot of cards. 17. I have a minus four. Let's go for it. Oh! It's a good set of games, though. Perhaps not enough to make up for losing, but I'll keep my word. Well, I'm sad to see her go, but it's true it's always been best to avoid. This is complete. I ask you to depart from here now. Your period is the servitude is me. It's finished. Your ownership is transferred. I'm taking you back to Hara. I will collect your earnings later. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, it didn't save. No, I gotta do that game again. Bro. I didn't do that. Oh, no, bro. It didn't like that. It didn't like it. I won the fucking game. It didn't like that. I didn't. No, you son of a bitch. Are you serious, bro? I was too dark side for her liking. Oh my freaking god. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Hope you guys like Pizarre. Because now we gotta do it again. Fuck. God, that's infuriating. Ugh. <sighs> Suck it, nerd. I've used more cards, though. Oh, that's lucky. Holy. I'll take the elf. I was hoping to sweep him. Right. It crashes. Bro. The game crashes there. Can I even finish the quest? Hold on. Oh! Wait, it activated this video. We might be okay. <laughs> I think it's because I was doing enough asshole moves. I think that's what was going on. I'm like starting to pick up the trail of Nihilus. <laughs> or Nihilus is on to me, you know I what I mean? I felt a tumor, Lord. A disturbance in the force. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was spitting bars. It was bars. difficult to make out, my lord. At first, it was such a quiet thing. I did not notice it. But now I wonder as if it has always been there. I merely could not hear it before. The sound built so slowly. Yet when you listen for it, you can make out the strains, even over the background life of the universe. Do you feel... Damn it. I keep thinking he's going to spit fire. <laughs> you... You are the darkness. In which all life dies, my lord. 
all life exists to feed your power and my life. My life is yours. I beg you, please, let me die. <laughs> Yes, this disturbance echoes through the Force. I can follow it to its source and bring it to you. I will leave at once, my lord. All right, let's hope we can transition back, though. Because I think it was what it was. It wasn't so much the fact that I finished the challenge or finished the game. It's that, or you know, the Pazak challenge quest. It's not the quest. It's just that the transition from me going. Sorry, now I got to minimize just to fix my screens. Uh, the the quest chain, or sorry, it, the amount of dark side points I had enabled that. So. Yes. 800 credits, big player. Dude. Let me see something. And so I just took her for myself. False spot too. Oh, I think I might, it might be gone. That's fucking funny, man. Yeah, it's gone. The, well, let's see. Where's completed? Completed quest. High stakes. You beat Doton Hat in one Ramana. <laughs> Zerka calling. Yeah, it's gone. That's fucking hilarious, bro. Anyway. Okay. There's actually... There's another one. I can't remember how to do the tournament. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. I don't understand your problem with the Republic. It's not like Onderon hasn't benefited from joining. It was one of the darkest days in our history. Talia sold Onderon to the Republic, and what did we receive in return? Nothing. In exchange for the blood of our soldiers, the prosperity of Isis has been stripped to decorate dead planets like this. Look, if it weren't for the Republic, you'd all be speaking Mandalorian by now. And because we accepted the Republic's aid, we should be indented to them forever? You make it sound like the Republic turned Onderon into a prison colony. Perhaps. Only that the Republic did not even conquer us. Our own betrayed us and allowed the Republic to take what it would. <laughs> It's always the same. Zerka mercenaries are getting out of hand. Zerka's mercenaries are getting out of hand. Too much for the TSF to handle. You said that. To restore order. Getting out of hand. Council gives my ass. Is it Mebla? I don't know who it is. I I what's I, I can't remember how to do the tournament. Gavadumba Munsur. Uh, I'm going. Is it just her? Hey there. Some questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Give me cards I could buy. Flip three and six. How much are these worth? Bitch, you charging that much for a card? So you can use it if you want an extra plus. Plus or minus. Those plus or minus cards are butter. Okay, I'm going to buy the plus minus card. I'm going to buy all her plus minus cards. Hey there. Who's the fucking tournament leader? Welcome. We feature casual Pazak players should be able to find a friendly match in the game. Cards to black. Yeah. I can't remember if you have to f face her first. Hey there. I'll make the save again. Hey there. Hey there. Sure thing. Let's play for creds. If you in. Forty creds is all I can wager. Okay, we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. 
I want you in my room. So one, two, so, so two, minus two, minus four. Those will save your bacon, trust me. These are gonna count as pluses. So one, two, three, four. Go with those, and I only need two more, so I'm gonna keep it low. Uh, I'll go three and one. Eh, that's okay, that'll do me. Ah, oh, taking L on this first round. Ooh, she had to use a card though, but we're both tied. Well, we're not tied. Shit. I'm gonna stay. Ah, oh, she beat me. God damn it. I don't have a choice, do I? Gotten it kind of close. I can only go negative, so I have to think of that and be straight. Oh, she maxed it. I have no choice. I have to go. I have no choice. I lost. Looks like luck was on my. I'm not losing 40, bro. But I, I thought I can't remember how to do the fucking tournament. The saying we hold daily tournament. I remember the tournament was a great way to earn money, but I think you have to beat them first. I think you have to prove your worth, basically. That's kind of the way they do it. Hey there. Shh. If. A lot of negative cards. Shit, hey. I'm just gonna wait. I don't want to waste my cards. Especially when they get 20. Look at that. Nice, got lucky with that. I wanted to waste her cards. Oh, she beat me. Come on, man. She's good. She has no cards left. So she's just got to take what's given to her. That's the thing. I'm going to stand and hope she goes over. There you go. I can be a little more cautious now because she can't alter it. There you go. See, now I still have two cards to play with. She's going to have to play it safe. Got it. There's your job. Care to play again? No. 40 credits. I can't remember how to actually do the tournament. I thought, I thought there was someone in here that you could do a tournament with. But maybe that's not it. Yeah, whatever, we'll leave. We don't want to spend all our time in here. I think you come back later when it's time to talk to her, and I think that's when the tournament is. I don't know. Sorry, guys. I've been, like, spending a lot of time... In the canteen. I mean, wouldn't you? Beat her ten times? Are you shitting me? That's how you unlock the tournament? I remember. I don't remember doing that. Man, imagine if someone just bumped into this fucking guy. There's no guardrails, nothing. And there's always just these random boxes around here for no reason. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF Station. How may I be of assistance? I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. How's that even possible? It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. 
I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebonhawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Atens look a li little, look a little atmosphere is highly corrosive but cracky as well. Restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. How about I wait here until you get me another ship before someone gets hurt? There is nothing I can do. I am sorry for what has happened, but the situation is beyond me. I cannot legally supply you with another vessel. And there are more they can do. Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. What am I supposed to do now? I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. Tell me about the exchange. The exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel, most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in residential module 082, is a front for the exchange on Citadel Station. Uh, was there anything in the information in the system about our ship? There was a query regarding the Ebonhawk's ID signature sent from the Paradis mining facility. However, all data collected in response to the query has been deleted. It is likely that this information was removed when the vessel's transfer request was modified. Can I get my possessions back? Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in the security lockers. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and get out of these. I love how they, they like, they split them up into like a bunch. Like, these are all my shit. I mean, those are some really solid... I mean, lockers. Like, that storage that they can actually have is impressive. Okay. Oops. Let's go ahead and re-equip what we got. I it's been really rare that I've actually had the mining. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if I should give it. I'll give me the saves because. Um. Hold on. Insulated. I already have heavy damage, so I'm gonna go with the insulated gloves and give Korea, like I said. All right, what did I have? The vibro blade that was upgraded, right? And my alt hand, short sword. Okay. And Kraya clothing, I guess. Hold on, Kraya. The thing is, he's got the stealth as well. So, but she can too. He can't go stealth. I think you should get the biotech. That makes sense. You're getting nothing up there. Gamorian gauntlets. Mando melee. Energy. Okay, and... Might as well give him that, honestly. I mean, we can give him the combat suit. Less defense, and he's got saves across the board. It's not upgradable, though. This has dexterity boost, plus it's got all this boost as well. I'm, But I'm, I'm... The thing is, though... It gives him an extra strength. So, you know, I'm going to give him that now. The safety harness as well. The detonator gloves. The breath mask. I'm looking out for you, Adam. I'm looking out for you. And we're going to have to give you a new... So, 1 to 10 for that. Is there any other... Actually, I don't have that many melees. So, you're going to get the vibro cutter, my friend. I've always preferred melee combat. 
Well, well, if it isn't Detective Scrote. Something I can help you with? How you recover? To be honest with you, I just don't know. We desperately rely on the fuel to keep Citadel Station running. If we can't find a new fuel source soon, we'll be in bad shape. How bad? There's enough fuel in the reserves to keep Citadel Station from falling out of orbit. And for managing the restoration project, but not much more than that. I mean, that can be done. Absolutely. We need to find a new fuel service, sign contracts, make agreements. A soldier like me is not good at that sort of thing. I'd keep my eyes out if there's some sort of finder's fee. Tell you what. You find fuel contracts for Citadel Station, and I'll be sure to pay you for it. Soldier's honor. Better get those credits ready. I'll be waiting. Okay. I know there's more than that, though. Something I can help. Give me work. Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? Tell me about them. This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Uh, tell me about Batono. Batono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared and hasn't been heard from since. Do you have any leads? Not much, other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Maybe you'll have more luck. I'll see what I can dig up. Thank you. Keep me updated. More questions. What? Criminals. They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical yeah, malfunction. Yeah, same voice actor. A side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack enabled them to they escape. They reuse a lot of they voice actors. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. What do you know about them? Do, or do you think someone's behind there? What do you know about them? There are two of them. A Rodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station, as far as we know. See what I can dig up. All right, just be careful. We've already lost two good officers to them. Talk about another bounty. Batu. You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. So you think? No, Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. I'm sure that wasn't the real Batu Rem. Positive. They were about the same size and build, and he'd done a good job of disguising himself. But he definitely was not Batu. Is there any way to find out about the killer's movements? Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. I'll see what I can dig if up. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Never mind. Something I can... I'll be going. Okay, so we got some journal entries. That is a glitched quest. I mean, I think the real and false Batu, there, there's a glitch with both of them. Or not a glitch, sorry, it was unfinished content. It's kind of cheese. But in any way, let's just actually open up. I think it's L, K, J, J, that's it. So false Batu, bonus mission. And then there's like the real Batu. I th actually, I don't even know. Escape criminals. The restored content mod fixes a lot of things like this, but that's pretty easy to do. Uh, Channel Lorso. Right, I forgot about that. Right, so I have to. This is all at the, um, the what call it that I have to do. That's on the way. Batono has vanished. Right. A lot of these are at Docking Bay. This is Docking Bay, Docking Bay. So let's just. A lot of our missions lead to the Docking Bay, which is where we're going right now. So we'll see what's good. Oops. Go ahead and clop this during an a during a loading screen might as well. Oh, Telos, I feel like t it's just such a shame that this game was rushed because when you think about it, the game's development started I think in 2004 or 3, shortly after the launch of the first game. 
and it uh, released into the end of 2004. So they they had like like there's a lot of game here for when when you're thinking of the amount of time that they had. But to be fair, it didn't take as long to develop games back then. It didn't take like four or five years for these massive projects. So anyway, that's the Athorian one, and I've got to ignore it for now because that's the mission. I have to steal their droid, and that's main mission. Please be on your way. What goes on here? Nice privately owned and operated by Citadel, Circa. Information on a passenger. Sorry, I can't release that data to you. Confidential travelers who came through our base are primary concern. Or I'll be discreet with my inquiries. Perhaps so. Perhaps even so, if you incur my expense for me to information, okay. How much would this expense be? Fine. What was the passenger's name? Batu Ram? Yes, here he is. His departure destination was North Shaddaa. He was scheduled to return on shuttle that was already departed. That's all the information I have in our business. The less information we get, the less we have to give out. I'll be going. So we lost 25 creds. I see a business here. Please move along. Look for a man named Batono. Doesn't sound familiar. Best best directing your career to Xanalor so you can find her at Zirka. Okay. You can tell me what you know, or I can hurt you, then then you'll tell me what you know. <laughs> alright, alright, I know he worked for Zerka, that's all. You have to blame me, talk to Lorso. Because, yeah, whenever you get light side points, it's... You know, traditional Star Wars theme. But, if you go with, like... Well, not traditional Star Wars theme, I should say, but it's more like the Tatooine theme. The rim. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing. This dock is off limits pending an. I'm sorry, I didn't hear him. What did he say? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF. What did he say? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF. Are you sure? Can you repeat that again? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. I'm sorry. What dock? This dock is oh, this off dock. limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. This dock is what? Move along. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF okay, investigation. Okay, it's off limits, but what dock is? This dock is off limits oh, pending an ongoing TSF. But who's who's shutting it down? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Is it is it Move done along. or is it still this happening? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF oh. investigation. Move along. Move where? This dock is off limits pending an ongoing TSF investigation. Move along. Okay, got it. See you later. Glad we cleared that up, guys. I was a bit confused. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure the criminals are right around here, but I, like, hold on, let me, let me see. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. I think the escape criminals, you agreed to help Lieutenant track two, two escape criminals. I thought it said, though, a Rodian Deveronian. I swear, oh, wait, weren't the criminals down? Yeah, I know where the criminals are. They're down on the planet's surface. False Batu. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I thought the two criminals were somewhere else. For some reason, I thought there was something here. Maybe there is. <laughs> Greetings. What's in this bay? <laughs> restoration project. Normally, it's used to transport flora and fauna brought from Onderon. Other worlds for restoration is we have established the planet's surface. What is it used for now? <laughs> Nothing really. Restoration efforts are brought to a standstill. Why is that? There are planet restoration contracts disputes with Zerka that must be resolved before we can resume our work. And a little more than that, uh, Chodo Habat, our leader, can tell you more. Chodo actually sent me here to deliver the replacement restoration droid. It's strange, Chodo did not send word about you. You have to excuse me, but times like this, I must be certain. Here are my credentials. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Please enter. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Oh, nice spacesuit. Mine's better. Uh? Her face always like, uh? Hi. I love how I'm still wearing Paragus. I wasn't on Paragus at all. You're wearing a mining outfit. No. Oh, wait. I've got to kill these bechets, don't I? Oh, let me tell them make a save. Probably gonna end up having like 150 save games by the end of this run, guys, but. I'm glad you're here. I'm the only man I could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Yes, I'm reading the comments, Ernesto. 
Oh. I'll please see you, Choto, blah, blah. Who's that? Is that Batu? No, that's not Batu Rem. Sorry. That's Ratu Bem. Ratu Bem. Very, very similar. Time to even the odds. Oh wow, oh my god, the sauce. <laughs> Oh, you know she got the beans. Let's go. I'm grateful for your assistance. That was most terrible. I wonder who could have ordered such a thing. Master, one of the assailants was carrying this. So that's still no surprise that higher killers would carry weapons such as these. Actually, Master, it appears that it has a number of illegal modifications. Interesting, I believe you're correct though. I, I am by no means an expert. Such modifications are illegal on Citadel Station. Grant should be informed that he might conduct an investigation. I will leave it with you. More importantly, you must take the droid back to Choto Habat. I fear that there may be more attacks we do not see to quickly to safety. Of course, I'll get it to Choto right away. Please follow 10 to the invert. See, they're, they're so trusting. It's a shame. We don't have to tell him that. Nah, no cheats. Mods. I never did cheats before either. The only thing I've done was I altered one of my persuade because I made a mistake in, in spending with skills. So I've just altered the save that way. But other than that. See, some of this stuff is just empty. You know what? There actually you have to get this is a smuggling one. So if you want in on the smuggling job, that's what that is. So I've actually gotta go back to Saman and he gives me the swag goo. Dripping swag goo. So one thing I just realized I forgot was my alternate needs to be a plasma torch. Trust me. Plasma torch is money, and it's funny, you can just come up here. Actually, I better save. Really quickly. You just in case he goes, What are you doing in here? You shouldn't be here. I must devote my full attention to the operations of the docking bay. That's literally all it is. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, some places they complete, they decided to write dialogue for that guy instead of having him look at you. You know, sometimes they just like turn to you and look at you. But with other guys, like other rooms, they completely cut the content up, but they took the time for that. You know what I mean? It's like, what? I've actually got to go back to, oh, right. Sorry. I think it's kind of dumb that you have to do this, but. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I mean, if I see a dude running around flipping blades like that, I'd be like, okay, bro. No, I'm not even like necessarily scared of the guy, but when you're looking around and you just it, like, you know, like that could poke someone's fucking eye out. You know what I mean? So I would still be like, okay, back up. Oh, you're scared of it? No, I'm scared of that you're not, can't be trusted with swinging blades. That's what I'm scared of. You're, I have to trust that your experience is there. Yeah, that's right. I am on restored content mod. I mean, I have performance mods, uh, you know, UI mods, things like that. And extra DL, like extra mission mods. Like I have the M478 planet or whatever. But well, that's about it. Something I can help. I'd have a blaster I'd like you to look at. A blaster? Hmm. I don't see why not. What? Where did you get this? Mom's house. Found this in one of the dock mods. Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is no ordinary holdout blaster. It's been outfitted with a number of illegal modifications. You say you found this at the docks? That is disturbing news. There are plenty of armed people on Citadel Station. Yes, that is true. But a weapon with these black market additions should not be available on the station. When off-world weapons are transported onto Citadel Station, whether they are personal arms or shipments to be resold, they are inspected and licensed by the TSF. This confirms my fear that there is a source of black market weapons and components here on the station. I could use your help getting to the bottom of it. You found more evidence previously? We have found a number of blasters similar to this one, as well as a crate of contraband weapons upgrades. 
Perhaps I can help you find the source. A relative stranger as yourself. I already know who the source is. The investigation. But we can't just go to him. It, of course. I'll see what I can do. Great. The first thing I would suggest is showing the blaster around discreetly. See if anyone on the station knows something about it, or at least react suspiciously. There's more than a few people around here I'd suspect having a hand in this. Anyways, good luck. Let me know if you find the source of the blaster. But we're not going to be running around pretending to be Tyler TSF. You know what I mean? We're not going to be the poster child for the TSF. I mean, there's. I mean, quite frankly, their rep is kind of less than perfect. Asking questions is a dangerous hobby, Spacer. Better off keeping your nose in your own business instead of someone else's. You never know when you'll end up dead. Get my meaning. Fortunately for you, won't get a chance to learn that lesson. Oh, I wish you would. Dude, you brought your fist to a saber slash everything else fight. Oh, ow, I'm so hurt. What do you have on you? That was also cut content, BT Dubs. Thank you for that. <laughs> Normally there's no one that attacks you. No, we're making great time. <laughs> oh, picking up the pace. <laughs> I wish you would, Sandman. I wish you would, Sandman. We talking about this blaster. Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Very interesting, good craftsmanship. But no, I can't tell you anything other than sold out, upgraded. I want to know who sold the weapon I was attacked with. I admit I sold it, but I sell a great many things. You cannot hold it against me for doing business. You know anything about the smuggling op? I heard that there's a healthy trade in black market goods on Citadel. I'd like to get involved. And we should talk. I have what you call a certain interest. Are you an idiot? I expect the pay is good. I'm actually wanting to help him. I pay extremely well given the dangerous nature of the work that is. As long as you do, remember to carry out your tasks. What can I do? Basically, there are three items I need to fill my next shipment. Leaves from the Bacani plant, Pachani plant from the Athorian's Vivarium, a personal shield unit being kept in their docking bay, and medical supplies from the medical unit residential way too. Sardis, I need the Bacani plant, Pachani plant sample. I'll try to find more about the other two. Have you been to the Athorian compound? Yes, I've been there. You must already know about the I do. There, where they cultivate the flora and import other systems. Okay. Lorians are mostly concerned with various plant species in relation to cultivating the surface of Telos. What they don't know is that a few of their plant uh, specimens have other uses. Good shit. <laughs> oh, that's some of the finest Pachani plant. That Pachani. Oh, man, it's so strong. <laughs> with large subs to extract from them. Restricted imports and exports. Because their status with the public, the authorities are able to bypass their regulations, which represents me as a unique opportunity. So all we need to do is walk in there. What is it you need? I need to get a few leaves. There's a few leaves. The Thorians don't notice it missing. Okay. Thorians are extremely protective of their plants, though, so don't expect they'll just let you take it. After all, if it were that easy, I wouldn't need you to do it for me. Do you have any suggestions? You should be careful. All right. I'll be back when I have them. Honestly, he he gives you great, great money. I wish you would, Sandman. Annoyingly, it's... Oh, wait. You can upgrade her saber. Oh, but I, I mean, to be fair, I don't have any parts yet, so she's going to have to remain stock. I think it's pretty cool that she gets her own unique saber right off the snuff. She gives the wisdom, dexterity, and blaster bolt deflection because she's so old. What's going to protect her other than her saber? The blaster rifle can now be upgraded. Do I want a pinpoint scope? Make it keen. Attack modifier. Increase the criticals. Damage or massive criticals? It's already got a massive criticals, but... 3 to 14. Hold on. What's the massive criticals already? Massive criticals of 2, and this is 1 to 4. So does that mean the critical threat is pretty phenomenal? I might do the criticals. I mean, that might change down the line. Zabrak. And then the short sword, obviously. All right. It can... All right. This, it, it, this one just can't have the mod. I wish you would, Samhan. I wish you would, Samhan. Let's try to play us. I wish you would try to play us. Okay, everything else is upgraded. Hey, Marcus, how you doing, bro? 
I wish you would save him. I'm sorry. That song was like popular when I was originally playing this game. I wish. Wait, I should look at my missions. So smuggling, I'm doing that right now. Uh, replacement resto droid. Oh, whoops. Shit. I forgot to. Damn it, guys. Kraya, should you be trusted with that lightsaber? Should I take that away from you? I wonder if it's worth anything. I wonder if you could sell Kraya's lightsaber. I'm gonna make sure I actually download this. Oh, wait. Oh, already exists. Okay. I forgot to actually tell the guy. I think it's I think it skips though. That's the upside. So we tell him. We, I forgot. I forgot. I thought he. See, I just forgot that he actually. You have to get him to follow you. You have to say we're going, and then you'd be like BT Dubs. We're actually going to Zerka, and he doesn't dime you out. Why would he? Because he knows snitches get stitches, and droids get scrapped. I am BCXD. No cap. I will come with you. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you be like, he's like, are we going to see Chodo Habat? And then you're like, unfortunately, no. We're actually going to see Jana Lorso in Zerka offices. Oh, snap. No cap? All right, then. <laughs> No, I'll be taking to Zerka. I don't understand. I was just told that I would be taken to the Athorian compound. I was to be given to an Athorian, Chodo Habat. Look at that death stare, bro. Jesus. The Republic has decided to entrust you to Zerka. Perhaps your memory, sir. Unless you want to be melted for scrap, you'll come with me. How dreadful. In that case, I believe I shall accompany you. You see that stare? He's like, I thought I was going to the Athorians. Like that, I, like, fuck, you're going to the Authorians then, bro. Like, <laughs> honestly, we'll leave it there. How dreadful. Excellent. I see my faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid look at, into look services. Look at Atten's moon boots. Opo -chano? Like, what are those? <laughs> Take some time for me to rewire the droid and have it ready for your use, executive or so. So if you have, we'll have the running in no time. They're as good as they better than ever, even. Greetings, Executive Lorso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Lorso. You may go, Chano. I'm sure you have many repairs to see to. Chick fine, okay. Kick. Now then, your payment. Here are the credits agreed upon. There is another task I would like you to perform for me. Whatever gets me paid. Do you doubt that I will uphold yes, my I do. of our agreement? You think fifty dollars is a good wage? When increase. my word is given, it will not be retracted. Now, on to business. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopax Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Telosian government. To ensure our success, we involved ourselves with the exchange. And now that we have a handle on the situation, we wish to unentangle ourselves from them. If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So a more direct method will have to be taken. Got a point, Stank. Plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. Hey, it better be good for that. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. Any ideas? I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Luxa is Slusk's second. 
She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. I know, I've she seen her. She's pink. She might be able to set up an appointment. Among other things, they're pink. That is what I must do. I'll do it. Good. You want to sound enthusiastic? Happy Let's to do continue it. Continue our working relationship. Uh, uh, Three hundred credits for that delivery. I got more. I honestly, I gotta stop in and get that money. I, I'm gonna have to stop in with the resi as well and be like the residential area and be like, um, yeah, I may or may not have ownership of your girlfriend. Might have ownership. I'm not gonna lie. Welcome back. Does the name Batono mean anything to you? Batono, of course. He was one of our former employees. Let me tell you something. <laughs> there are far too many like him. Do-gooders who believe that because of the things Zerka must do to remain successful and profitable, we must be evil. They do not see the impracticality of their beliefs. They do not understand the realities of the galaxy. If certain funds must be paid, then Zerka will gladly pay. If competitors removed, then Zerka will do its part to forward progress. Batono could not see this. Before leaving our employ, he stole many of our records, then began to stalk our movements on the station. Harassment, but conveniently overlooked, sanctioned, perhaps, by the Telosian authorities. He's gone missing. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? I'm curious, though, as to why you are looking for him. My reasons are my own. I'll be honest. That's no surprise. The lieutenant is always meddling in our business. But that well, doesn't change the fact that Zerka would like him out of our hair. It is, after all, a Zerka matter involving a former Zerka employee. I assume there would be a reward for info. 200 credits. And the thanks of Zerka Corporation. 200 credits. How would you put an end to his investigation? Silence his lies and fabricated untruths. His slanderous accusations are a needless trouble atop a great many troubles this planet faces. How would you convince him to uh, abandon his investigation? If credits are what he wants, then Zerka will pay him for an easy settlement of this situation. Otherwise, Zerka will be forced into a lengthy petition process with the Telosian Council. I will tell you if I find them. Excellent. Zerka will be glad to be free of his baseless accusations and rumor mongering. All right, that's more experience. We're getting close to leveling up, my players. I wish you would, Samhan. I wish you would, Samhan. Wish you would, Samhan. Do you want to play us? Okay. I haven't spent time in the company of Athorians on, on station, so we're going there anyway to steal his plant, so we're good to go. Should be willing to reward anyone with information. We'll ask about him. I wish you would, Sam, man. So I gotta get the leaves. So that's my current objective right now. I have to go to the exchange as well. So I have to go back down to kill Slusk. What a name. Oh, man. He's so adorable, sweetheart. I think I know what I want to call him. Sure, babe. Anything for you. I think we should name him after my great-great-grandfather, Slusk. I love it. It's so beautiful. It'll be the long run, but he'll be like the 15th Slusk. So it's Slusk the 15th. Man, that this, it has a ring to it, doesn't it? You know? I mean, next thing you know, we're going to end up going over to Slusk. And Homeboy's like, I just bought Twitter. And I'll be like, oh shit, it's Elon Slusk. <laughs> This is where SpaceX led me to the exchange. I mean, it put me in good shit, you know. Tesla is doing is making waves, guys. Come on, God, I hate these fucking loading screens. We're on PC. I'll have to come back here anyway for, like, over in that area. It's a medical ward. I'm gonna help you. 
Uh, what is this place? The Citadel Station's a Thorian compound. Much of the herd that is helping with Telos restoration dwells and works here. Why can you tell me about the resto process? The Lotion government asked that my herd helped them rebuild their destroyed world. This went until Zerka came. But I would not speak ill of others when they are not present. I'll be going. Alright, I'm just gonna take a left at the Vivarium. Don't mind me. Actually, I better save, because I know there's a guy in there. He's gonna... Homeboy's one of those guys who will talk. You know what I mean? Hi. Welcome. What do you do here? I monitor the growth of the plant specimens collected here. Each of the species found on the planet's surface are represented. It's important that we observe growth patterns in the controlled environment before large areas are transplanted. Why can you tell me, tell me which is the Bacani plant? That would be the third one on the right. Feel free to look at it, but don't get too close. We have a security system that will trigger an alarm. I'll be careful. Leave it alone. Yes. I hear you. Wait, who, does he have computer use? I don't actually think he does. He does have a little bit of computer use. He's got three, so he's going to have a better rank than us. How about Kreia? Kreia's got two with a bonus. So wait, why does she have a bonus of two? What's her current bonus situation? What's she wearing? Oh, wait a minute. That improves his stealth. I didn't even notice that. Or her stealth, specifically. Is it this? No, what gives her extra... T no, it wouldn't be that. I don't know. Anyway, the you're the man for the job. Oh, it's still five spikes. Take a sample. This dude is blind. If I did take it, if I didn't, they'd be like, Voodoo! Who's getting Which, of course, in a Thorian means, Get the fuck away from my plant, bitch! That's what it means, guys. Look it up. Man, you're such a chode. Oh, how about? I don't mean to be rude, but you have done more harm to my herd. I love Forcey Lee, but your presence greatly angers me. It fills me with sadness. Do you know anything about a man named Batono? Uh, sorry to admit the name's unfamiliar. I must admit I have little interaction. Lies. I thought you might know of him, given his dislike of Zerka. If it is true that he was no friend of Zerka, I wish it would be true that I knew of him. But alas, I do not. I'm sorry I cannot be more helpful. Are you sure? That'll be the first time Lorso was mistaken. I assume you've never. I assure you, I have now never known a man named Patono. I'm looking for him on behalf of Lieutenant Gren. I believe what you say is true, and it gladdens me to hear that it is Lieutenant Gren who's searching for him. I'm sorry that I spoke on truth to you before 10. I indeed, I know, I do know Patono, and I know where he can be found. But even so, you must promise me that you will not tell no one about this. Of course. You see, Batono came to us for protection. We found him in an apartment where he could hide. Security technicians ensured that he would not be found by Zerka's security. Find him in apartment C1, Easter portion. You know that room I bashed open? My apologies for revealing his hiding place. And my explanations. I'll be going. Bye, bitch. Swish, swish. It did say Chris. It's, it's a mod I've installed that does, like... It's called the Ultimate Saber mod. Essentially, it adds hilts to the game so instead of like the so it, you find lightsaber crystals that are various colors and the colors um have different perks as well let me just confirm before we leave so we got those two is there anything else that we have to do i mean i think i can go i can't i i can't remember how to find more it's such a it's such a dead end quest because it got income it was incomplete Okay, we're gonna go back. Um, well, I, yeah, I'm going here because I have to. Uh, first, I'm gonna tell Buddy. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be first or not, but I'm gonna tell Buddy that his girlfriend is now my property, and that I'm gonna be making money off of her dances, and he's fucked. I don't really care. I just wanted that intel. Two, I've got to go find uh, Batono 
and stick Kreia's walking stick up his ass. That's what's gonna happen. And I gotta make entrance into the exchange. Oh, dude, this is so funny. I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this shit. It's hilarious. You're no business. Get out of here. Open the door, you're dead. And I guess you're dead. Oh, come on. Yo! Wound him. Push him. Of course, push him. Knock him on his ass. That's a level up. Alright, what does it recommend? Treat injury makes sense. Feats. I can have master double weapon fight, which I think I want to do. Get it all right off the bat. Trust me. I'm just curious. Oh, we have... Okay, what does it recommend? Stun... No, it's a light side point. So it's going to use way more force powers. And the thing is, every time you load in a new spot... Look at that. He had Mandalorian battle armor. He's still going to beat us. You, I think you, you can do that three times. Easy dark side and easy experience. So, you know we did. All right, so I think Batono is actually in that because we are in, this is ABC. So I'm pretty sure it's easy as one, two, three. Yeah, he's gone. This is where What's-His-Nuts was. He's gone now. Because cause I, I, I I wish you could have told him. I thought I thought he wasn't, I thought he was, uh, Homeboy was there, but he's not. Maybe that's a different one. They all look the same. Shooby dooby dooby doo doo. Swishy swish. Dooby 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 dead. Swishy swish. Dooby 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 dead. Maybe he's not here yet. I, I think this might be somebody else. Hmm. I know that's for a mission. I know there's a guy in there. I just can't remember what it is. Like, some missions are exclusively like. What the? Hmm. You're not CSD. What are you doing here? You're Batono, right? What? No, you must be mistaken. You're probably looking for a previous tenant or a neighbor. Maybe I should just report you to Zerka. Let them sort it out. No. Wait, you can't tell Zerka where I am. They'll kill me for sure. Doesn't matter to me. It only matters that I get paid. Wait. That's why you should come forward. Wait, what's the difference? Fine, then. Here's 500 credits. Take them and forget you ever met me. And if Gren really did send you... I'll go, I'll tell, go tell... He'll be disappointed to hear I never found you. Loris will be happy and then lie. Stay here, I'll go to Gren and have him make the arrangements. Don't be too surprised if I'm not here when you get back. You're back. Are you ready to get going? He already paid me. It's not, see, the thing is, I forgot about this. You wouldn't dare. Like I said, it only matters that I get paid. Credits if you aren't around to spend them. Oh, you got me there. Let's shock him. Oh, that's dirt. He's done. I didn't actually kill him. Kraya did. Kraya is the one who pulled, pulled the final, you know, the final blow. Did he have any? <laughs> He wouldn't dare. Oh, we dare. I completed the dare program in elementary school, bitch. Don't tell me I wouldn't dare. Oh, Zerka. Yeah, that was my kill. I got the assist. <laughs> oh, Kray, you dirty bitch. And then she scolds you for it. She's like, you just had to push it, you know? You just had to push it, man. How many more people will you kill? Bitch, I didn't kill him. You did. Uh, 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 uh. Betrayal. Wow, 
Well, well. I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. Seems best. We should wait until things cool down before we attempt to seek passage off system. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. Seems fair. I see we made the correct choice when seeking protection from you. What's going on here? I have just finalized a working agreement with these two gentlemen. Zerka's two newest contract employees. B44 is in the Zerka, Zerka offices. He's the he's the entrance greeting droid. They aren't going anywhere. Be reasonable. I have given them a contract and my word that they will be safe from TSF persecution. Gentlemen, would you excuse us? We had best make our way to the shuttle. I mean, you can catch up with them anyway. Welcome back. Tono's taken care of. Truly, I hadn't heard that from any of the searches in my employment. That's because I killed him. Hmm, that was very proactive of you. In that case, let me thank you for taking care of that unpleasantness for me. I'm in your debt. And of course, here is your payment. Zerka Corporation Plus. thanks you for your assistance. 200 credits for murder. Welcome What back. do you think, I'm the Walmart of fucking Hitman, lady? Man, Jenna Lorso, I almost just want to just not go with her because she's such a bitch. She doesn't understand the value of what I'm putting out here. Anyway, what's next on the agenda? Escape criminals. Uh, oh, I gotta go back to the... I gotta go back to Samhan, don't I? Smuggling. Yeah, because then I'm gonna have to make my way back. She is a low baller, man. I, you will be paid handsomely. Here's five credits. Five credits! The guy from KOTOR 1 comes out. Five credits! That's what it costs. For us to kill a man. Five credits. <laughs> Can you imagine? It would almost seem worth it. I think Gren does pay more, actually. That's the thing. And that's the light side. Usually crime doesn't pay. Or crime does pay in these games. But sometimes it doesn't. Because you don't ever get arrested. What are they going to do? You know what I mean? What are they actually going to do to us? <sighs> That's what it costs to use our elevator. Well, I credit. it. All right, where's Sam Man? I wish you would, Sam Man. I wish you would, Sam Man. I might. I'll check in with Sam Man, and then I might go check in with my girl and see how much money she's earned me. Here's a sample. In this very good sample, I'm able to derive a sizable profit for itself. Despicable. It's not trying to conduct your business out of my hearing. You see the prowling jealousy I end up with? If it were not my brother, I would put him out of business long ago. None of that, however, the Bichani sample is excellent. I'm going to pay you 300. I'll also give you. Okay. Sweet. How you get it off the station? Simple enough, when I have a full shipment of goods ready, I'll place aboard one of Zerka's shuttles. One of my contracts accepts the cargo destination. Find buyers. Finds buyers. Do you have more work? Consider your success, I can expect quite a bit of work from you in the future if you want it. What do you have for me? Thorians maintain the docking bay adjacent to Zerka. I was recently told they had received a prototype personal shield jet. Thorians use them when working outside of the shield restoration zone. This latest badge they received takes advantage of new advanced shield tech that I can easily find buyers for. No one has been able to gain access to the Thorians docking bay yet, so if you can manage it, I'd rather be rather impressed. I'd be rather impressed and willing to pay handsomely. I'll be back. It's a lot easier to get dark side points and money in this game. The dark side is the easy route. It takes shortcuts, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things, so. I'm actually going to fast use the fast travel because it spawns you right in front of the Athorian uh, shuttle that you need to get into. And you don't even have to talk to him. So. We're gonna be, like, we're already getting in the power stance. You know what I mean? The dark side power stance. Like, angry. He's mad that he has to stand for a picture. You know, that's why he's the, he's just like, get this shit off me. Meanwhile, when you're light side, your hands are like, you're, you got good posture. Your hands are behind your back. You know, you're standing elegantly. 
<laughs> Greetings, I need to get into the bay. Here are my creds. Chodo Habat really puts the chode in Chodo. Sorry, I already I already know where it is. The road is long. What are you doing here? Stay quiet, I won't kill you. I'm taking everything. No! I will stop you. Are you sure? <laughs> you know that he did! Oh my god. What's he got on him? Oh, I'm grabbing his I'm grabbing his Athorian junk. I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. Do you notice I didn't get any dark side for that? And the guy up top there is could care less. Oops, I don't need to go upstairs. Was there anything I needed to access from here before I go? Escape criminals, that's gotta wait. Exchange, that's main mission. False bot to. I gotta talk to Gren actually about that. So I'll probably do that actually. I'm actually gonna wait. I'm gonna go talk to Gren right now actually. I'm gonna get that mission sorted because if there's something, if I'm doing all this running around, you know, and Gren is like Gren to the Gren homie, you know what I'm saying? I wish you would, Salmon. I wish you would, Salmon. So try players. I wish you would let me smuggle. <laughs> what up, Snipes? Man, whenever I play this game, this is what I'm talking about. Whenever I play shit, like, I always remember these minute details from, like, my past runs and, you know, things from the game, but I can't remember what happened five minutes ago in my regular life. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Uh, I talked about bounties. I found some information on Batu. Real Batu rep? The false. Oh, what is it? He arrived from Narshadaw aboard an unmarked transport. Docking Bay 3. More suspicious activity from Zerka's private dock. If only we had something more concrete, I could launch a full scale investigation. What's up, Snipes? But Narshada? Sounds like you've made some powerful enemies. Here's the reward for the information. And if you find out anything else about Batu, real or fake, let me know. Talk about another bounty. Escape what criminals. What's the information worth? There is a bounty on the escapees. If you provide us with information. Is that all? In that case, never mind. Suit yourself. Throw me in a 4K. You don't seem to have much luck with that lately. Get out of here. Something I can have. Oh Something damn! Like no, where did it say? Oh man! Was it? Oh, what was this one? Uh, Eleven twenty-two. Oh fuck! That was a while ago, bro. I was talking shit. I could have gotten money out of him. Oh wait, no, that's just information. I forgot. You actually have to kill him in return. That's funny. Never mind. That'll be okay. All right, now we'll go back to Saman, and then we're for the final one. We're gonna have to go to the Athorian area, not not the actual Athorian area. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check with the cantina and get my credits for the dance um, once I'm done. But uh, Samhan's missions because it does generate over time, and I don't think there's a cap. I think it just keeps generating. So I've got it. Should not tell my expectations. Continue you're telling the truth, simply amazing. You're the first of many who tried to obtain this and actually succeed. I see I was right in asking you to procure it. It would be a fair price to the service. 600, no, 9. Get more work for me. Always be work for you. Because of the war, toll. Received an allotment of medical supplies at least equal to those of more inhabited planets, which is surprising. When it gets cold, toll med packs more lie unutilized. These goods can be sold to planets where their need is great and their value is high. For this, I would like you to retrieve the supplies from the medical unit in a residential away to west. I'll be back. Making money, getting dark side. It's so triumphant too. So if you're not really ready for it, it's like it's like the THX you know sound effect. Ooh, actually, you know what? It's gonna be faster. If I take a little bit of time and walk back to the fast travel and spawn in the 082 West. 
That way I don't have to go through one save and two save. It's just one. I take a little bit of time to backtrack to save a ton of walking. One save. But do you see what I mean about this when I said at the start of the stream? There's a lot of, like, loading in and out. There's a lot of... I mean, not as much as I remember. But still. There's still, there's still enough. You know what I mean? There's still enough. Oh, man, it's getting hot in here. While it's loading, I'm going to turn on the fan. When I walked into my office today, it was, like, colder than shit because it's so cold outside. So I'm like, let's leave the fan off today. But once the PC starts going, it just warms up the room pretty quick. Anyway. I wish you would, Sam. Sorry, now that's stuck on my head. And that's all you guys are going to hear for the rest of the fucking stream. This guy is so random. Hello there, and mm -hmm. greetings, greetings from, from Isis, Isis and Andron. Who are you? I am a diplomat from the from Isis and Andron. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Andron. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project... It's just random dialogue. It. It's not necessary. It doesn't do anything. Why are you here? The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with looks Zerka, baked. the status of our arrangement is in the air. Bye. That's literally all he says. You just repeat. Other than this mission, there's literally no reason to come here. There, oh, I mean, there's a lab station, I suppose. Oh, wait, no, there's another mission for that. I can't remember how to unlock it. I can't remember. It has something to do with Baktu Rem. There it is. Hey, what are you doing there? Me? What are you doing there? Don't play games with me. Now step towards me and keep your hands where I can see them. I'm going to place you under arrest and take you down to the TSF station for further questioning. Come with me peacefully, and I won't need to cause you any harm. You won't cause me any harm, but I wish I could say the same about you. We'll see about that. I'll bet as soon as the lightning came out my hands, I'll bet he's like, fuck. <laughs> Let's just knock him on. Oh, you're saved, man. Your life is... Thanks, Kreia. A, a little unnecessary, Kreia. I appreciate the thought, though. Oh, wait, no. I hear you. I forgot he's set for range, so he's probably not even going to get involved. I didn't even think of that. Okay, one quick thing before we uh, return it to him. I'm actually going to go through here so I can kill the guy standing in front of the exchange. Eventually, you get, you have to stop, but it's such easy experience, and it's a great way to get dark side points. It's fucking hilarious. Ugh. Yeah, it was just so random. There was just some certain NPCs in this game that... It didn't make any sense that they were there. Just don't have any business. Move along. Do you know what ha happened to the last Rodian who refused me? No. You got his job. Now let me in. I still can't open the door for you. Then I guess you're dead. <laughs> it's so good. I need to settle this. Let's go. How am I missing? Oh wait, no, I don't get dark side anymore. Let us end this. We did, Kreia. She's always a little bit late. Eradu strength yes. amplifiers. Those might actually be better for her. Because it's actual strength increase. So I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna honestly give him that and she's gonna have the I always let her have the breath mask because it doesn't show up wait what's his demo at uh sorry where is it his demo is currently at 15 with those bonuses normally it's at 11 um stealth is really high with what he's wearing 
Is persuade? What's the point of persuade, honestly? Pure Pazic. I love how some people call it Pazak, some people call it Pazic. It's just like, can you all just pronounce it right? But George Lucas said that it's a wide galaxy and everyone's got a different dialect. Well, Snipes, if you've never played KOTOR before on PC or anything, actually PC specifically, you'll find that sometimes you'll get a bugged save file or you'll be bugged into a, sp into a moment where you have to reload further back. And I know so many people who have saved their game, um, or sorry, only used like one or two saves, and then by the time they encounter a glitch that's soft-locking them, they don't have a save that they can back out on. Trust me, there's reasons for this, you know, there's there's some method to the madness. Anyway, uh, you found the escape criminals, exchange, so smuggling, we gotta finish, yeah, that's about it, guys. I think everything else is golden. I mean, I probably don't need, like, 100 saves. I, I think that's a bit much, but I think, like, 15 is probably a good amount. You know? Because at one point, it's like you don't need to backtrack that much. So I think I'll st once I get to, like, 15 saves, I'll, I'll start recycling. You're right. It is a bit excessive. It's just fast for me to hit new save. And the thing is, saves are, take up such a small amount of... You know what I mean? I find if you're allowed max saves, who gives a fuck? Welcome back. I have med supplies. Be ashamed to see these supplies go to waste and the need for them is much greater elsewhere. Not to mention the shame of such an opportunity for profit passing by. Say no more, thief. It's bad enough that you derive all your profits from theft, but now you steal supplies that need needed to save lives. See, you're wine and dentist. You call me a thief, but what am I? What I am is a person of the highest order. Victims of the war lay dying when the exercise. Oh, I missed it. I, for one, am not so heartless to turn a blind eye, deaf ear to the plight. Of course, such noble work deserves noble work. Six thousand credits, knowledge that lives will be saved with these. I cannot believe I'm hearing this. No, my brother does not have the stomach for real business. I could kill him for you. No, that wouldn't be necessary. He may irritate me, but he's still my brother. But there's something else you can do for me. With all the goods you have brought in, I'll be able to shipment. Shipment in the next Zerka freighter comes up today. If you could, I would like to you to scrub me to Zerka. I have some preparations to make first. Can I, t can I buy ship from you? See your special reserves. Osis Keeper Robe, which is mad expensive. You do get that down the line. I think you get that on Dantooine. So going to Dantooine second or third first or second is usually a good call um i find that normally i actually do you're supposed to i think do dantooine last because you end up staying on dantooine um you go back to dantooine technically but i don't know i mean this isn't it's not really good for me it's good for charisma and defense i mean charisma and wisdom so you get good the intelligence redundant for my build, so it's not something I want to buy. Everything else, there's not much I have, so I don't really care. So let's go back. Uh, let me see your shop. I think he gives me a discount. No, he didn't. He's still charging way too much for that. Because I'd like to change it up and go with some robes. But it's, it's kind of minor. You're going to find Jedi Knight robes like crazy. So I just say ignore it. But sometimes you actually don't have enough crystals to power the saber. So it's almost like, should we get a yellow saber just to have something? Dexterity down. Nothing I really want. Alright, we'll make a save. I just saved here, so we'll save over that. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. What's up, Ricky? Yes, Justice. Everything on Telos gets done in one stream. That's the plan. I don't know, honestly, Chris. Like, in terms of a KOTOR 3, I would love to see them advance on... <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Because, like, this this game takes place, I think, like, five time you I don't know. Up, Quite a few years. Get your things loaded. I'm already behind schedule. All right, it'll only take a moment. No need to get worked up over it. You don't understand how it is with Zerka. When the process stops working like clockwork, questions get asked. And we don't want questions asked, do we? Yes, yes, I get the point. I can do this faster if you help me instead of standing there complaining. The faster we get this loaded, the faster we can get it out of here. Stop right there. You are all under arrest. And those goods will be taken as evidence. 
And you, we're curious about your involvement as well. This is ridiculous. The TSF cannot just barge in here Quit as they your please. Protestation, Sam Hand. We all know your little secret. The circumstances have changed. You will be coming with us. So what do you have to say for yourself? I was undercover gathering information for Lieutenant Grant. No one's gonna find you when I'm through with you. Whatever you say. Now, you'll be coming with us. Quick, we must take them out. She did. Let us end that was unfortunate. That'll teach the TSF. We'll see what le lesson Lieutenant Grin takes this. For now, it'd be a good idea for us to leave here. I mean, they technically could just still make the game and just, you know, it's kind of like making a movie off of a book or vice versa, right? Same thing. I don't see why. And you could follow the same storyline. Except as a KOTOR, like, as KOTOR style. I'll well, step back to my operation, it will not cripple me. Only my dreams could we be so lucky. I'll have to suspend my acquisition for a short while as this blows over. Unfortunately, that means I won't have any work for you. Of course, what happened was not your fault and you saved my life. Possibly my business. Here, this is as much as I can spare you for payment. Like what happens. Not much, but I can also offer you a discount. Now he gives me a discount. All right, let me see your reserves. So yeah, he dropped the price by a couple grand there. But let's go back to his shop. All right, how much is the yellow crystal? Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll buy it. Jedi Knight robe is still way too much than it's worth. I've been repping the same outfit though the entire time. So it's like, can we get something new? Because right now, guys, this armor is no good. Okay, what are we sitting at? The escape criminals, we can't do much about that. The exchange, fuel source. I think we're at the point now, y'all, where we literally have to... Wow, I didn't realize how much Atten was, like, turning. That's pretty crazy. Um, one thing I might quickly do, actually... Okay, hold on. Let's go... Oh, almost forgot. Let's go collect my earnings. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to him. Shit, I didn't really think of that. I could have gone. Whatever, I'm here. Should you come for my earnings? Yes. 900 credits, baby. Give me that cash. And you can literally keep coming back to her and she'll give you more and more money. I know I have to go to the exchange. There's just one thing I have to do. Oops. Actually, I'll go this way just in case it activates a cutscene. I should have gone and done it anyway, but hey. it's Honestly, considering we weren't there that long ago, we made 900 extra credits from that. It's pretty slick. da 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 the problem is once we get down to the, the Tilo surface, it's so dramatic how much more difficult the game gets. Like, it's like they really amp it up. That's why having those guardian stats are so important. All right, I'm going to quickly go back to this. Just quickly because I have to go kill the... Actually, I think the last guy is safe. Oh, shit. I could have done that as part of the mission and saved some time. That's okay. Because now I'm going to have to go back talk to her and she'll say, tell, and you, you just have to say, hey, so-and-so told me I can come here. Yeah, like towards the end, the Merc group is so strong. I remember I was like, I had to batten down the hatches and I was like, I felt so vulnerable. I don't know if you can actually kill the third guy, so we'll try. I'll take this little bitch out over here and we'll see how it works. Just so okay. I'm to the guys who've been it. Yes, but I can't live with it. Let you in without an appointment. I guess you're dead. Let us end. It's so savage. It's like unnecessary completely. But you get experience. And they have swag. I think they. Oh, we got a Jedi robe. I was just bitching about it. I think Jedi robes are upgradable as well. 
defense and regen. I actually don't know if they are. To be honest, these regen force points, but these have so much better. We'll see. I can't remember if it's upgradable, so I'm going to actually fast travel. Actually, I'm not going to fast travel. I'm just going to go through here. I might give that to Kreia. Honestly, if I can't upgrade it, I'm going to give it to Kreia because she needs the force points. And it, I think my mining suit actually does better, uh, better stats than that right now. And honestly, getting the... It sucks that it takes so long to get a lightsaber, though. Because it does take a while. You have to build it. You get parts on Telos, I believe. But not that many. So we'll see. If I can upgrade this thing with an underlay, I'll keep it. But if I can't, I won't. I don't think you can actually upgrade regular Jedi robes. No. Okay. The minor uniform right now for in this current state is better for us. So we're going to go ahead and switch back to the minor robe. Or minor uniform. Because we got the damage immunity and resistance. And Kreia can have the Jedi robe. Makes sense for her anyway. And it doesn't change her outfit. Her outfit changes it. Oh, shit. So. I mean, you technically can make an effective bounty hunter build. Sure, but... Because there, I remember once you get to KOTOR, there, or sorry, not KOTOR, Korriban, there's actually uh, a lot of solid blasters in this game, but it's still more tough, I think. I've honestly never done a blaster build. Never. I've always gone lightsaber, because it's just way better. Hello there. All right. Um, I like to meet Slusky. Tell me anything about this blaster. Hand it over and let me take a look at it. Hmm. I can't say I recognize it. It's good work, though. Whoever fixed it up knew what they were doing. It's certainly not mine, I can tell you that. We already knew who it was. I like to meet with Slusky. Is that all? What a disappointment. Yes, what you were told is true. I can arrange meetings with Lopak Slusk. But you'd have to give me a good reason. A date. Well, that's hardly reason enough. Tell you what. I heard about what you did down at the docks. I could use someone capable like yourself to do some work for me. Just consider it a little test. Forgot about the test. I'll do it, but you better hold up your end of the deal. I don't like playing games. No? How disappointing. But don't worry. In addition to setting up a meeting with Slusk for you, I'll also pay you for services rendered. Better hold up your end of the deal. I'm a reasonable woman. Help me, and I'll help you. All right. Good. Rejection is just one of the many things I don't take too kindly. So what's this test? I need to make a transaction with two bounty hunters that have recently arrived on Citadel Station. Very simple. Weapons for credits. I want you to go in my place as my representative. They're being very careful, and I'd rather not be bothered. Here. This case holds the weapons they'd like to purchase. I was not told the place of the meeting, only to go to the medical unit in the ah, residential OAT. That's what I remembered it. Communication. Sounds like a setup. They'd be very foolish if that was their plan. I'd hope they knew better than to try and cross the exchange. I'll be back with the credits. And I'll be waiting. I mean, the DJ's got to put something else on, guys. We've been hearing the same, like, circus music the entire time. Step right up and see if you can outdrive the amazing golf ball uh, whacker guy. And <laughs> hey, you should try out at the Waterbury Open tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for sharing, Metal. Appreciate it. I can now get on with my day. Okay. So they, yeah, because this this part of the map is not utilized. They don't use it for much. So it's probably good.
All right, y'all. Hello? Listen carefully, these instructions will only be repeated once. Meeting place is unit B3 and res OA2 East. Come along, meeting is off. Do not do anything foolish. I knew there was one other thing. So this is what you do. I'm glad they made it so you can do that. In KOTOR 1, you had to like, select your party members. Honestly, I think it actually might be faster if I fast travel there, because the fast travel location is actually further up. Um, in the middle, that way it takes away, I mean, you have to do this anyway, so instead of walking all the way, it's faster to fast travel to the middle one. Trandoshans always sound creepy in this game. They did a good job of making them sound kind of sussy-ass balky, you know. Sussy-ass balky want to see oddly. Oh, that's exchange. All right, what did he say? Resi what? Residential B3, okay. So that was the room that was locked initially. Nice skylight. Good, you came alone. Doors will be opened. What's up, Boxy? How you doing, man? Oh, a trap! Be careful. I would not put too much trust in the exchange. Even if Luxa is not deceiving you, their dealings will unlikely be safe. It may be a good idea to prepare yourself for a confrontation. Oh, I'm ready. So Lux has chosen to send one of our underlings instead of coming herself. I shall not be surprised the exchange would treat those not of their membership with such disrespect. But business is business, is it not? What's your business anyway? You're a new hand at this, aren't you? I suggest that if there's something you do or not told, you don't need to know it. Questions can be dangerous. However, in this instance, I'll tell you what our business is with your employer is. If you have certain regulations as to the possession of weapons aboard the station, making it impossible to, for anyone to arrive armed. Thus, it's necessary for us to purchase weapons from supplier on station, in this case, the exchange. I see, let's finish then. Indeed, if you'll hand me the case to me, I might associate will probably do the credits. You made our job quite a bit easier. Easier. Not thought our forces look at that target would not deliver only himself but weapons to us. And now you will die. Oh, for the love of fucking God. Hurry up. Energy resi. Now burst the speed. And they're gonna get the fucking beans. Let's finish him with a power attack. Let's go. You know we did. Wow, that was very difficult. Biotech implant. I've already got one of those. What do you got on here? Bowcaster. Anyway, the audacity of this beesh. A lot of back and forth. Mainly to the entertainment module, honestly. Yes, this is this is a dark side playthrough for show. Sure. Same sort of idea as the Kotor run. The ten year anniversary, we're we're mimicking the first run. So this is Dark Side because I did my first Kotor 2 for the channel a few months later, and since I did Light Side Kotor 1, I did Dark Side Kotor 2. And then I went back, like, the following years, like, tw across 2013-2014, I redid it. So KOTOR 1 became dark, and KOTOR 2 became light. A lot of runs in KOTOR over the years. This is my fourth time through this game. Eight total KOTOR runs. Nine, if you want to count, Star Wars Yellow Republic. I never any f ended up finishing it. But... What are you laughing at? Still in one piece? I heard something about a violent disturbance in the residential module. Nothing to do with you, I hope. I was lucky to make it out alive. No need to sell yourself short. I'm sure luck had nothing to do with it. 
But you were able to complete the transaction, right? I think I'll keep the credits. Call it hazard pay. I see. Well, I suppose you earned it. <laughs> Very well. Keep them. I've got some more work for you, if you're up for it. A matter of a rather sizable debt. Yeah, I gotta spawn in my party exchange. members, you're right. Still don't trust me? I trust you. Why else would I request your help with exchange business? Just not enough to let me meet Slusk. Precisely. We're almost there. All right, fine. Getting right to the point. I like that. Oko you can't. There's no way around it. One of Circa's droid technicians owes a sizable gambling debt on his it. last stay on Nar Shadda. We've been patient with him, but we can only let a debt go unpaid for so long. You'll find Chano in Unit B2, yeah. Residential 082. Cleaning up some loose ends. Tell him his time is up, and we want those credits. I understand. You'll have them. Good. I knew I could count on you. Welcome back, guys. You didn't. I'm glad you didn't have to see what I had to do. Because <laughs> then Cray would be the. Oh, you young whippersnapper. The Force is not something to be taken lightly, and you've gone ahead and ruined your reputation. Now, Jedi, we shall fight. That fucking guy on Dantooine. The thing is, Dantooine can give you some serious swag, so it's almost like, do you wait until the end of the game to get the good shit, or do you get some slightly better shit early? Uh, oop, what am I doing? Sorry. Rezzy, Rezzy. 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 Jeez. Oh, damn it! Oh. I didn't mean to click that, guys. So we had to go through two lo two loading screens because of my insolence. Yeah, I actually had someone gift me a year a year subscription to uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Problem was, um, people were trying to help me out so much that it actually almost ruined it. Well, it, it I don't want to say it ruined, but it definitely deterred from it. Everyone's gifting me items, and I had a lightsaber when I wasn't supposed to have a lightsaber. So it was almost like skipping the story. People were playing with me in my game. So, like, I think it, you can co-op in a party with, like, up to four or something. So, annoyingly, I would rarely be the person in conversation because it randomizes. It would always be someone else. So it didn't feel like it was my run anymore. I was encountering so many connection issues with with you, you know really with the think game it's itself. a good idea to be working for the exchange whatever you dude what who you want to talk wrinkle dick like, have you seen your face lately i'm sure your dick's no better we don't have a choice i think we're with the most notorious criminal organization in the galaxy is a good idea well, i don't know anyone who's dealt with the exchange and had it end well it's a risk but a risk we have to take you're right of course i just wish we could find our ship and get out of here word to big bird I'm gonna try killing this clown. I don't think I can do it. I think three is the cap. I think once you're maxed at three, you don't actually kill him. Please don't kill me. I'm getting tired of this. Let me in or I'll kill you. You mean you'll try? I guess you're dead. Oh, wait, you can keep going. I thought I, I thought there was only three. <laughs> Time to take you down to size. It's easy experience, man, and they usually carry shit, so. Page receptionist. I need to see Slusk. Oh, it skipped. Where can I find her? Yeah, it's glitched. I hate it when it glitches and skips through convo. What are you doing here? Wait, what did they say? C2? I think it, or is it, uh, D, or is it B? Or is it A? I can't remember where they said she was. Or he. It. Oh, no, he's with me. Right, no, he, yeah, he's, he was next door. He's my neighbor. His favorite Star Wars game. Honestly, I, I think KOTOR is probably up there as one of my favies, but there's so many, like, I love, like, uh, you know, Force Unleashed as well. I mean, actually, no, he might be in C. Actually, I mean A. I don't remember. Maybe he's in B. Okay, Channel, where the fuck are you, bro? Maybe he is in B. 
I don't, actually, I don't really know which KOTOR I like better. I, I mean, I like the story of KOTOR 1 better, but there's a lot of improvements. Uh, that's our apartment. There he is. In this game, so it's... Like, you know, the, I love the combat better. The bet combat was improved in this game. There's, I think I like the visual improvements, like the robes and things like that, the animations. Things were just advanced on. Lux, send me to collect your debt. I don't have the credits. Look, I need to pay your... I need, I need to pay your debt to Lexa or kill you. I don't have a choice. You have more than enough time to get them. You kill me for that? I'm sorry, but I don't have the credits, so I cannot pay you. I don't have to kill you. You should have known better than to get into but oh wait. Oh, you're a terrible human. The thing is that now how is he supposed to pay if he's dead? Kind of thing, right? There's no way out of it though. But that's gonna fuck up. What just happened? One minute we're just talking and then I just lost control. We had no choice. It's like this impulse just came You gotta get an influence over him. Stop myself. Next time, warn me. If you're out to kill someone, don't surprise me like that. See, yeah, we got the. That's important. We gotta get his influence as many times as possible, and then we can turn him into a Sith. Now they're going back to the entertainment module. Well, now we can't get our credits from him, dipshit. Because I'm not paying for him. That's light side. What's up, Zane? I mean, I'd love it if they did, but I don't think we'll ever get a KOTOR 3. But if if uh, the remake ends up coming out in the next few years, because obviously it got pushed back, but if it does come out and it does well, that could influence them to maybe entertain some sort of KOTOR. You know? So many fucking loading screens, and even on PC, it's kind of slow. You've returned. Did Chano cough up those credits? No. You killed him? And how do you expect us to be able to collect credits from a corpse? He needed to be taught a lesson. And I'm sure he learned it very well in the moments before his life ended. Before you say anything, yes, I will arrange the meeting with Sluss that you desired. But first, I was wondering if you might listen to a proposition. A business proposition. Given your obvious abilities. Let me ask you an honest question. This meeting with Slusk you want. It's because Lorso's sped up with him, right? I feel the same way about Slusk. And I think it's time someone solved the problem. I think that maybe our interests lie in the same direction. If you want Sloss dead, I'll take him out for you. You really do get right to the point, don't you? I can get you into the exchange suites in Residential 082. They're west of the entrance. More than a few of the guards are in my pocket, so there shouldn't be too much resistance inside. When Slusk's out of the way, I'll clear up this bounty matter and get your ship back. Deal? It's a deal. We'll speak again then. Best of luck, handsome. All right. We what's our what's our level up looking like? Ah, uh, we're still a little ways away, but we're getting very dark now, guys. Very dark, very early. Now I I know there's a couple ways out of this, but I think what's her name wants me to do something. Come on, big players. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to... Ah, oh, I minimized my game. Shit, sorry, guys. I'm actually going to take advantage of something, then. There we go. Okay, let's maximize. Okay. So... I just forget what it is. Up getting rid of her boss. So let's head back there, guys. We're about to now 
officially. Uh, exchange. I mean, it'd still be a, l a slower load on uh, console by a long shot. All right, we've we've had our share of taking out. Wait, where am I? See, there's none left anymore, so they'll probably just be like, "Yo, let me in now." Well, these guys are congregating for sure. Page. Lux has sent me. I need to see Lopak. Well, let me open the door for you then. I will probably save. Dark Forces Jedi Knight. Yeah, I have. I actually have a series of them on my channel already. Played them back in like 2014 ish, 13 ish, 13 to 14. I played those. The Kyle Katarn storyline is pretty solid. I like him as a character. Man, it's been a while since I played those games. I'm terribly sorry, but there must be some sort of mistake. I don't have a record of your appointment. Are you certain it was for today? There's no mistake he'll open the door. You know what? There must be a mistake in the system. Why don't I open that door for you? What was your name? These. These nuts. Excuse me. Lopax Lusk's appointment has arrived. Please open the inner door. There you are. Have a good day. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Well, it's all about the force. And there's actually, I think, a dude over here. Can you come torment me? No, of course not. So free me. I was placed in here by two large Gamorians. Not family not allow me to return to my herd. How do I set you free? Alright, I'll see what I can do. You don't get anything. No light side, no dark side, no experience from freeing him. You don't. So just leave him in there. He won't even thank you. Low pack plus. You've got a lot of nerve coming here, Jedi, with the bounty you've got on your gun. What do you want? You. Dead. You and everyone else, human. No, this killed this bitch. Alright, whatever you say. Canock or Bannock or... Ramsack or whatever the fuck his name is. I'm gonna save one more time. Just so we don't have to walk through again. Energy Reg. That would be the versus speed, just to give us that extra leg up. This shall not stop us He's dead. He's dead. Look <laughs> at this guy running away. Oh man, how does it feel to know all your boys just got annihilated? At with the final blow, I love it. All right, let's see where it's putting him. See, now he's got enough skills that he can actually go all the way up. They're actually giving her flurry. That's kind of interesting. Okay, I get his blaster. Benok. I'm Benok. I'm a bitch. Go for the bash. Beep. These guys are my homies. What's that, boss? I'll get you inside. We'll see how strong you are. Mo boss, my turn here with Kubis from the door. You want to see him now? Yes, I'll send him in. What? Whoever let you back here better be dead or they'll be wishing you they were when my droids get through with you. You think I'm scared of your droids? Oh, I should have, uh... Flurried him, but that's okay. Compared to the other damage. 
Pound yourself while getting this far, but you should think things over carefully. I can be a very valuable ally. This is the bartering moment. This so what is it you want? Join the exchange money? You dead. Really all that trouble just for that? Seems we have some visitors. So wondering when you show up, Luxa. Slusk. So this is all you're doing. I may have had a hand in this, yes. I suppose I should have known you always were an ambitious one. Now that though, on to business at hand. I don't think it's possible that all of us will be leaving this room alive. See, I love that. You can just kill everybody, and that's true dark side. That's right, I'm gonna finish the job. I don't think so. Not as soon as you might. Everybody did. You know they all did. Okay, so first we're gonna go with energy rad. And I'm gonna do burst of speed. And then honestly, Freya hopefully will do some sauce. I'm gonna go for his turret. Oh god. Let's pause. Go for it, quick. Oh god, I lost. Let us end this. Slusk is a dead man. Quick, get him. Nope, stop. Why does he keep doing that? He keeps pausing it. I hear you. She's actually in good shape. Look at that. She's dead. Like, you can get good swag from their bodies. Maybe Nar Shaddaa isn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> oh, man. Change your mind, Atten? Did we just see what happened? The Exchange is one of the most powerful groups on the Smuggler's Moon. If this Goto wants you so badly, it'd probably be a good idea not to show up on his doorstep, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, I'm sure Lopak Slusk has friends on Nar Shaddaa that won't be happy to hear he's gone. Much part of this than I am. Yeah, I just can't help getting into trouble when you're around. Yeah, sure. you're right. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Give me that. All right, let's loot them. It's better because you... I think she... I don't know if she actually pays you. I think she actually doesn't turn on you, but... She's got some shit. Retinal combat implant. Lexus disruptor. Could be worth some money. Like, Homeboy was a mob boss, basically, and Homeboy didn't have anything to his fucking name. That's okay, one less, uh... I'm glad we did that. Standard Rilith Power Cell, that's good. A couple of goodies. Some decent shit in here. Man, he's like crushed her. I feel bad. Even like even if I just knocked him down. I wonder if getting the credits would have been better though, honestly, in hindsight. It's like I don't know. Retinal con oh, that's what I've already got. I didn't realize it was the same fucking thing. Atten's got a reflex pack, which is really good for him, but he's got an immunity to critical hits. Makes more sense to me. Her regen is probably a smart thing. She's old and feeble. Uh, where's the up? Okay, let's level up. Unarmed specialist if I'm feeling a little spicy. Yeah, we'll... we'll actually, I'm actually going to boost the Persuade. Next, I might go Whirlwind. It's gonna it's always going to recommend me Stun Droid, but I'm not going to get Stun Droid because... It's a light side power, so it's going to drain... Oh, drain life. Drain life, baby. That's a way to get health in the battlefield. Free health. Basically, it's trading force points for health from it. But it also kills them, so it's kind of sweet. What, replay it? Man, I don't know. At this, at this stage... I don't know if it'd be possible for me to play Dark Forces again without having major issues. That would be such a pain in the ass to play. Just based on the fact that, you know what I mean? Like it'd be, I don't know if it would even work, so. Right, that makes sense. But the thing is though, they mentioned the tournament. I think it's just stuff that they didn't include. Wait, what's my current mission? You have ensured that the ex exchange will no longer pose a threat for Zerka's operation. Janet, because, yeah, she, the thing is, 
if I didn't kill what's her name, um, she would have gotten me off the station. And I think that's how I've done it in the past. And I think that's more of a light side way. Zerka is just a good solid way of getting you where you need to go. So I think all the missions are currently done that I need to do. I do, I am able to come back to Telos, but there is a moment where I have to watch. Because if I end up taking too long to do so, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm actually going to take a quick uh, stretch. Oh, God. Why? Oh, wait, don't I have to protect her? Wait, why is she going? I don't. I can't remember why this is. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Bathroom and all that. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that, fam. Oh man, that's a good point. I forgot that you could lie to them. It's been a while. So like Zerka, that's what I mean though. Dark side, like evil people are always trying to look after themselves. So anyway, let's just go ahead and have a little battle. Oh man, they dropped. Hold on, it's still a bit loud. I'm gonna turn the music down a little. Yeah! Those blasters are just shouting at you. Everyone down. Like, holy shit, guys. Like. Yeah! 
That's better. It's still loud, but... Alright, we, we're saving her right now. I remember, these guys are like... Oh, yeah, get in the way. Do it again. Sorry, guys, it's fucking loud. No matter what I do. Can you just hear my little tink, tink, tink? What's up, Javian? Yeah, we're good. A very wild and dangerous life, from? thank you, a thousand. I can understand how you think that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just wanted to see if anybody else drew. Well, actually, let's go back to the entrance and just confirm they didn't drop anything. Yeah, see, they did. I'm sure I would have gotten it again anyway. What's going on? Oh, fuck, I hate that. I need some entertainment anyways. Entertainment? I will never understand you humans, but nonetheless, I thank you for your help. Please hurry. Zerka's lives and livelihood are at stake. Come with some chip. I can't remember, can we ask that again? Oh, thank goodness you came. That's what she said. I do not know for sure, other than that they have made them. I can only see us. We okay. All right, I might save before talking. Be reasonable, or so. We really aren't in a position to take such a negative view to our demands. We're not asking for much. If you agree to our terms, we'll make sure that Zerka never even hears of this. I will not be badgered by you. Sir, we have some visitors. Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd arrive. I'm disappointed, Lorso. In the end, this was the best that you could do? Ah, well. I always was one for aggressive negotiations. Okay. Wait, I'm gonna throw a grenade just to fuck with them. I couldn't save the Zerka attack. More where that came from. Atten's taking that dude out by himself. Atten's down. That's okay. He did a good job. You have wonderful timing. I had my reservations about some of these mercenaries, but I had hoped that CSD would be able to keep them in line. It appears that I was wrong. Obviously, some sort of payment would be in order. Of course. I understand the importance of keeping a valuable asset like yourself happy. I believe these credits should be sufficient. If to it's 500 credits, I will end You're your life. You're also welcome to anything found on the mercenaries' bodies as your own. They carried no Zerka issue equipment anyway. Now, if you'll excuse me, this unfortunate turn of events has generated quite a bit more work for me, and I should be getting to it. 800 credits, bro. I need more than that. Welcome back. Hold up. I'm gonna loot them first. Yeah, that's the light side option, obviously. We've done that before many times. He had a new cell. That could be good. Welcome back. Cheap bitch. Good. I'll be sure to send some of my men in to make sure they don't have the opportunity to reorganize. You've done well. What about my reward? Yes, of course. I will provide a shuttle for you to land on the planet's surface 
as per our agreement. Land. The shuttle will be arriving shortly in docking bay 3, dock module 126. I have informed Bay Control that you are on your way. Again, Zerka thanks you for your help and hopes that we may continue our working relationship in the future. I hear you. Yeah, because Chodo, the result, and he restores my connection to the force. So I think my vi er, I think my force points increase. What's going on? Something like that. So really, yeah, I think you, like 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 you were saying about you can lie and say you're gonna do all this for Chodo and you're not actually gonna do it. It's just an energy bar. Shit's enough to keep me going through a longer stream without getting... I don't get that hungry, honestly, midstream that much. It's all about the breakfast. You gotta get that power breakfast. That just maintains your energy and levels and things like that, so... Anyway. We're finally leaving Citadel Station. We've been here for over three hours, mind you. Some of that was... Um... Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? One more time. I'm gonna check in with, um my dancer to get the cash never ending income so man the yeah, this level was the worst for, or this area was like the worst for loading screens because there's so many small areas and you go from screen to screen to screen. Like everything needs to be loaded in. All right, let's check in. Make that bread. Well, imagine. Yes. Thousand credits. Let's fucking go, bro. Ma'am, she's making bank, bro. I'm also going to quickly dip over to Sam Hands. Not necessarily to buy anything, but... Um, to check the workbench, because I ended up getting a new Sonic Cell. Improved Sonic Cell. And I think that might be good for my, alternate, alt, my alt weapon. What special card? Oh. Right. I don't know. The Pizak one? I didn't really think of it. I mean, it could help, but I have to beat her, what, 10 total times? I mean, we're, I don't know. Because we still have to go to Tilo's surface. We still got to go to the base. We still have to go to... Is it worth it? All right. The Aural Blaster... I'm not going to bother upgrading it right now. Melee, though. My short sword. No, wait. My Vibra Blade. So it loses an attack modifier, but the, the damage bonus. Like, this is... It currently has... So it's, uh, That's what I've already got in there. Massive criticals, but they go... We lose an attack modifier by one. I'd say it's worth it. Look at the damage. Definitely worth doing. Short sword can't even use it. There you go. She's ready to rock and roll, bro. Three times? I was told earlier it was ten. If it's only three times, I'll just do it right now. Fuck it. Because I've already beat her once, so that's only two more dubs. Hey there. That's some oh, questions. I'm... Okay, let's play. Sure. If you I actually like playing Pazak. Oh shit, she doesn't have a negative card of that caliber. She has no negative cards. So I can push her to go over. I 
I've used two cards, though. That's a downside. Gamble. Okay, one more dub. Let's sweep her. She's got way more cards at her disposal. Oh, swept! Okay, I'll save. Hey there. She got swept. I love it when I sweep them. She already stayed. I'm going to use this. Get me to 19. Easy dub. Nineteen. All right, she had to use. A, I I probably could have stayed. Nice, good move. But she has a lot of cards. Same situation from last time. Nah, just stay. No sweep on this one. That's a hell of a gamble. She has enough cards. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, nothing I could do. She has cards. I don't. I'm at the whim. I have to beat 18. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Three in a row. I suppose my lucky card oh, it is only so three. lucky anymore. Here, why don't you take it? I think I'll take a break from the game for there a time. There you go. Let's go, man. So now she won't even let you do it. I'm through with... Good. So I'm glad it was only three. Good call on that. I thought it was ten. So double down. I've never had that card. I've actually never played her. That's the first time I've ever played her, believe it or not. I never bothered with many of the Pizak games. In quarter one, I played Bazaar a couple times. Obviously, that, that Bazaar DLC and restored content was pretty sweet on Manon. That's why it took me so long to do that one stream. It was like an eight-hour stream because we spent all that time in the Bazaar tournament making absolute bank, bro. Wait, do we have any... Wait, hold on. I'm going to check in with uh, Gren one more time because I think he might have a little something for me. Because I, d I have information on Batano. I can say, oh, he got away. Something I can help. What? Oh. Some I think it just permanently ends. We'll see. I might be able to come back. And obviously, I have the fuel line as well. If I get the fuel source, which usually you can do on Narshada. Yeah, it's been in the KOTOR specifically, Cavian. It's, it's look at it like Blackjack. Blackjack with a bit more control, with a hand. You know what I mean? So you get your own set of hands. So essentially, you want to make 20. 20 is the max. If you go over, you lose. You can stay at any time. So you can say, I say you make 18. You can stand there. Your opponent has to uh, beat that. If you stay at 18, they have to get 19 or 20 to beat you. And they, they, have, a, they have a side deck. So you have a side deck of like eight cards and it randomizes four of them so whatever's in your side deck you randomize four so you want to create your your best chances to get in i swear we got like a lightsaber part here zerka guy oh shit i did hold on i did talk to him but He wouldn't let me talk to him again. Let me try actually following up with him. I never thought of that. Because, yeah, there is a... There's one chat. Yeah, yeah, because I talked to him, and he he's like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. I think I might have forgotten. One sec. But maybe now... I don't know. Maybe it might, I might not be able to activate it. We'll try.
There he is. So you're back. You tell me about Zerka. What's there to say? If this one. If... Tell me about Lorso. Yeah, Jana Lorso. That woman's a. <laughs> Look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. How do I think? How do you think she'll mess up? She's got her hands in too many dirty little. <laughs> um. Whoa. I. I, I... Believe me, I know what you mean. I've been pressed into her service. Oh, so you're the one she's got running all of her dirty little projects. I don't know how you do it. You must need her for something badly. I've been trying to get her removed for months now, but nothing seems to work. I might need to resort to more drastic measures. Uh, hey, uh, you know, I shouldn't be talking about this. Forget I said anything. You, you must have good reason if you're helping her, so just be careful. If she decides you've outlived your usefulness, let's just say you should watch yourself. I'll be going now. Hornfall mentioned he would like to see Jana replaced. So you're back. She's. I don't remember how to actually do that one. I forgot. I I said the other shit. That's why I didn't activate the corn fault one. Damn it. I sh I should be able to maybe talk to her about it. I think I can go back to the Zerk offices quickly and just make sure. Yeah, I'll remember that. Which Bazak player is it? Is it in the cantina? One on Onderon. Cause can't you like get corn fault like? Cause you you like got him to say that. Cause she can't be replaced, right? I don't think she can. I don't know. It's been a minute. I mean, who's responsible for all this conspiracy? I mean, I think that's Corin's fault. Corin fault's fault. It, we call that a Corin fault. You fucked up so bad when you run your mouth to the point where your boss kills you. That's. Not just any kind of fault. It's your fault, but a corn fault as well. Whoa, hello. Almost went the wrong way. Damn it, Dan. Where is it? I'm, I, <laughs> you think I've been there? I can't find my own place of employment. I'm not actually a Zerka Corp employee, though. I'm like a freelancer. A little bit different. You work for no one. You work for no one. I just go where the credits go. What's up, Eric? Welcome back, bro. I wish I would, Sam man. I wish you would, Sam man. I wish you would, Sam man. I wish you would, Sam man. Sam man, try to play us. Welcome back. Corin Fault's trying to get you removed. Corin Fault. Ah, that one. You don't say. I'll be I'm a snitch. That one will never amount to anything. Can't see past his jealousy. Let's it consume him. If he could redirect to fuel his ambition, well, yes, then I'd be worried. But all the same, that sort of sentiment is dangerous if it's spread to the rest of my workers. Perhaps I should take steps to take care of this mutinous sentiment while it is still early. If you want him removed, I'd be happy to do it. Glad to hear it. I've no tolerance for people who don't have the stomach for business. However, I want him dealt with quietly, officially. She doesn't pay well, though. That's what I'll need your help for. What sort of help? If I'm to have Fault arrested by CSD, I still need some sort of proof that he seeks to undermine our operation. Sounds like too much work. I try and get him to reveal his plans and record them. That is an excellent suggestion. Get him to spill his plans to you, then bring me the evidence. I will then have him taken in by CSD and send him along to Zerka Internal Investigations and I'll have him out of my hair. We haven't discussed payment. I'll pay you no. 500 credits for bringing me evidence no. of his plans. No. You would be putting yourself somewhat at risk, true enough. 600 credits then. Make it an even grand. Make it an even thousand. Dude, I've got a passive income 
in the cantina in the form of a Twi'lek dancer. Passive income where I don't have to do shit. I wanted it cards. And this bitch is paying me $600 for espionage. Espionage. And you're only giving me 600 creds. Come on. She's, she's like, oh, that seems reasonable. But that's how the rich people stay rich, man. You know, you're just hustling out here. I don't remember doing this. I think I, I think I did do it. I just don't really remember it that well. My memory's going. I mean, we, we, we know this. Ironically, I remember saying that multiple times. <laughs> yeah, you're better off working at uh, like you know a fast food joint. You'll make you'll you'll have better benefits that way, and you won't have the risk of being arrested. Because they don't spend the money, Chris. That's exactly why. <laughs> they don't spend money on things. They save it for the people. Ironically, like in order to make the same amount of credits, you have to do way more legwork for Zerka. You probably do make roughly the same amount of credits, maybe a little bit more in all the jobs she gives you. Because the Athorians give you like one major job. They don't give you any of this crazy side shit. I, th I think they do a cup, maybe one or two extra, but they, they I've gotten done like three or four things for, for her. I'm a snitchy bitch. So, you're back. I'm talking about Lorso. What do you want to know? I want to hear how you plan to get her removed. I've been trying to get access to the Zerka mainframe. If I could just look at our records, I'm sure I could find evidence of Lorso's less reputable dealings. Failing that, I considered speaking with Luxa about the increased profit possibilities if someone replaced Lorso as Zerka executive. Someone like me, for example. I'll do anything to get that woman fired. Bribes, forged records, anything. I'll see if I can find anything out. Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to not think about that woman for a while. You recorded fault incriminating himself. But I'm wondering if I can... I'm wondering if you can actually, like, get him into... I never got him into position. Is that possible? Oh, Lux is dead. Yeah, Lux is dead. Technically, yes, I am a pimp, aren't I? I never looked at it that way. Hmm. Well, damn it, I was just in there. I wish you would, Samhan. I wish you would, Samhan. Fuck it, I'm here. I'm gonna get more money again. But yeah, I think the only way you can get out of this is by... Because I think she's got too many people. I think she's got too many people wrapped around her finger. Give him to me. What do you got? Wait, what? None? Oh, she doesn't have anything. Okay, so I was... Yeah, you have to wait. I think each time you go back, have you noticed? Each time it's 100 credits more. So I'm wondering if next time it'll be 1100. They are dreadful. So that wasn't even worth it. I lost 30 seconds of my life. Well, yeah, you can use the recording, I guess. Of course you can. You bring it back to Lorso and you go, look, listen. <laughs> can you imagine accidentally recording over it? It's like, you know, it's like Lorso. He's coming in. He's like, uh... <laughs> he's talking like, look, this is what I want to do. I think Jana Lorso needs to be <laughs> we know a guy who can really do the cool jerk. <laughs> this can't be talking about. I wonder who could it be? Cause I know I'm the heaviest cat, heaviest cat you ever did see. Women see me walking down the street. Hey, hey. <laughs> Get out of here, you nosy little pervert. I'm gonna slap you, silly. Oops. Um, may have recorded over it. Man, I'm so ready to be off the Citadel Station. And where to Dur at? Where to Dur, where to Dur, where to Dur at? Where to Spiky Head? One, our mechanic at. <laughs> He's soft-spoken. Served a Malachor. 
Where to dur, where to dur, where to dur at? Oh no. Hey. Don't. It, they wouldn't even let me in. Welcome back. Here's the recording. Excellent. Let me hear what you have. Oh, and discuss payment. Let me hear the record. Fine. I'll do anything to get that woman fired. Bribes, forged records, anything. That's proof enough for me. I will dispatch CSD to take him into custody immediately. Now for your payment. Here are the credits we agreed upon. Dissension is always a great danger in the workplace. Keeping it culled and the troublemakers out of sight makes my job much easier. All right. Is there anything else for her to do? Welcome back. I can I Okay, we're done. I just wanted to see how quiet it would get if I didn't talk. It's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. I can understand why my, some people might think I talk too much. This guy does not shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, it's so funny, whenever you get like a, a, a video or... Hold on, let me just confirm my... Yeah, we're ready to go. Sorry. Whenever I get like outside people who aren't aware... Of my 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 videos you know and streams you'll like say you get like i post a video or a stream or whatever that ends up getting a little bit more traction and you get a lot more outside uh, viewership man it, you can always tell it's doing that based on the dislike bar <laughs> this is because there's always these new people who are like what is with this guy is there something wrong with him yes there is we've established that i don't hurt people though i'm a nice person <laughs> Kevin, I totally agree. I don't understand how people find ASMR to be soothing. I can't stand it. Shuttle's waiting. Alright. Give you an additional thanks. Alright, that's how she gets the, 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 the emitter, right? Yeah, this energy self fixture. It's your first lightsaber part. Yeah, you got all these, like, ASMR people who are, like, licking ears and stuff. <laughs> And all these guys are like, oh, 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 oh. it's like, what is wrong with you? Let me out of this. Can you let me in? Jesus. What up, man? Leave me alone. I don't think I got close enough to it. Let me just make a save before we leave, just in case something goes wrong. Oh, it's at the back, you dumb fuck. I was trying to... It's at the back. Uh. Citadel Station. <laughs> on the other, you're on the wrong side. <laughs> Admiral Onasi, this is Lieutenant Gren, TSF. We've been expecting you. Gren, it's nice to know that TSF hasn't gone to shambles in my absence. Actually, Carthage has. You, an admiral. You might change your tune after you see what the situation is like down here, Carth. I've got some bad news for you. Well, it can't be that bad, Gren. I think Telos has already been through the worst. The one you came all the way out here to pick up, well, he managed to escape the station. We're not exactly sure how it happened. Well, that's unfortunate, but luckily it still fits our plans. Am I hearing this right? I'll tell you more when I arrive, but the Republic has decided not to detain the Exile and adopt a wait-and-see approach. The Exile? Then... Like I said, we'll talk more when I arrive. 
Looks like we will. I'm uploading the approach vector to you now. See you soon, Admiral. Cheers, Souls. Appreciate you. Oh, fuck off, man. The crashing is getting old. It's like, honestly... Oops, that's the wrong side. It's like, I think it's certain videos. It's, it's having trouble playing certain videos. It's because it, what it does is when you select videos, it like switches. Um, like completely. Oh, yeah, it tagged in Nihilus. Now that we know that Nihilus is the big boy. So now we have to do that cutscene again. I hope it doesn't work, or it works this time. Last time, we ended up crashing a couple times. But it ended up eventually working. I think it has to do with it trying to switch to stuff. Because I would be very salty if, like, these videos didn't... I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, I replaced the rep the upscaled ones. It's an old mod too, so it's you'd think it'd be pretty reliable at this point. Please work. Damn it! Oh my god, bro! I'm not doing this all day. No, the PC's fine, bro. It's just that if some things don't communicate right, if it happens, I really hope it's, like, not locked out. I might have to do, like, some file replacement. I mean, I up... <sighs> I don't know. Come on, bro. It did this before. I don't know if I need to do another save or... Because it's funny, because it, it did it when I was trying to play that one video, you know, or that one movie. Let's try again. Because it's... I know which, I know which movie it is. It's us flying to the fucking Telos. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Damn it! Okay, well now I've got to... No, it's not file corruption. Oh my god. That's not what it is. It's literally... The videos that... The cutscenes that play are actual separate videos. And if they're not... There's an updated... Hold on. I don't actually have a thing anymore. Okay, one second. I This is what sucks about streaming. Is like, now I have to troubleshoot live. Pro Tour 2... Cutscenes, let's crash. Uh, hold on. I don't want that one. You had it without mods? Change, disable, okay, I'll look for that. For some reason, I don't have my explorer. Like, my bar on my one screen is all fucked up. Shit. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Bear with me, guys. We'll get this in a second. Okay. Uh, stream. What am I doing? Steam library, Steam apps, common. Oh no. Nope. Hello. Where is it located? Do you know? Is it under the movies? Which one is it? The player? I think it's the player, right? Um, what am I doing? Control find. Disable. Cannot find. Where was it in? Maybe it's just the KOTOR any. Disable. Oh, I say disable move. Wait, what is it? Disable what? Vertex buffer objects. Uh, where is that? Disable. 
sound vertical buffer objects there it is and you said to zero okay zero save all right let's give that a go okay let's boot it oh shit no damn it i forgot to okay sorry guys i forgot to bring you back <laughs> I hate that i have to like minimize it and then maximize it there we go okay let's try this again shall we make sure we're back okay we're back see imagine me playing people are saying you should are you do you think you'd replay dark forces bro when i played that i had my older pc like my old old one right the one like not even the last gen one because this is like like i can only imagine Well, Phoenix, if this works, I will be in a massive appreciation for you. We'll see if that did the trick. It still plays the cutscene, doesn't it? Gren's head looks really large. Ow. Okay, that didn't do it. That's annoying. Great. So now we're trapped here. Oh, boy. What's funny is... Well, I didn't stream this last time. Fuck. That's annoying, guys. I was not... <sighs> Shit. Okay, well, I don't know what to do now. After opening cutscene... Let's see. Some people are saying it's the Basilisk. There's a Basilisk one, too. Um... Tilo's cutscene crash. Okay, there's one thing I could try, actually, that'll get around it. One second. Hold on, what? Oh, I, that might work, too. Hold on, just let me read this. Okay. Yeah, that's what the movie's out of the issue. But it's the thing is, is... Okay, hold on. Let me just try booting it again. One more time. Okay, we'll boot again. I'll see if I can play it windowed. If it'll let me play a window, that'd be sweet. Uh, graphics. Like, windowed full screen. No. Fuck. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I really... I never had this problem last time I played, so it's like... Okay, uh, hold on, play, shit. Okay, this is what we do. So let's go back to the any, I think. Uh, where is it? Sorry, guys, bear with me. I don't know. Wait, I didn't close that. Oh, wrong one. Steam library, Steam apps, common, knights. All right, so S we KOTOR to the any, and we got to go. Sorry, let me see what this says. 
Okay, no, let's try putting it in windowed. I don't know if it'll, at least to, until we can get it by, we might have to close it again. Um, all right, so find full screen one, okay. Replace full screen one. So I'm gonna copy that and add it somewhere else just so I know where to replace it. Okay. Okay, and then replace it with allow, oh, come on. Allow windowed mode. Make sure you spell it right. Allow windowed mode equals equals, come on, equals one. Okay, we'll try that. Save. That might do the trick. We'll try it again. Here we go. Attempt number 15. What it is. <laughs> oh. Worst case, all this, what I can do is just disable the, uh, the cutscene movie. Like, just turn him off, and then... But the thing is, this... I mean, it's funny that people are still having... I think this would happen even if, like... Um, you, you did the low-res movies. Because the thing is, the movies aren't in-game. They're, like, a separate player. So... I mean, it's still full-screen, so... If it's windowed... Let's hope that does the trick. If it does it again... At least I could skip this cutscene, hey? Wouldn't that be shitty if I couldn't? Damn it! Fuck! Oh, that's so annoying. I, did it even work? I'm wasting so much time here, guys. <sighs> Fuck off. Under graphic options. Oh. I see. So somebody didn't finish explaining it all. So that, it still might work. And then there's a graphic options. Ah. Try that. And then you have to run it from that actual fucking icon. You can't run it from Steam. Okay, so there's a couple extra one. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this. It's fucking annoying. Okay. Equal zero. Just add it. Apparently you can add it. I don't replace it. That's probably why. No, under graphics. Be full screen. So get rid of this. We'll cut that. Full screen zero, and then... Okay. Put it there. Allow windowed mode. And that's set to zero. There. Okay, I'll try saving that. Okay, here we go. And then we'll also boot from the any... Or the actually in... It is. Fuck off. We'll try it again. Trying it. Okay, it is windowed. Hold on. One sec. But you guys see that. See, that's that's what I was hoping to avoid. But maybe we can do that just to get by the. Let's do this just to get by the cutscene. Okay, we'll do that just to get by the cutscene.
Because, yeah, this doesn't look as good. It said not responding. I was fucking worried about that for a second. I mean, it did get through the other one, though. Like, some of the cutscenes worked fine. That's what I understand. I think some cutscenes are just kind of bugged, but at least we'll have this option. Hey, oh! There you go. Sorry, guys. So, I missed it taking off. That's all it was. Well, and then it getting shot as well. Everyone hold on tight. We should be putting down in a few seconds. Grab onto something. This is about it's to get rough It's because it's with cutscenes that are back to back like that. That's why. And I gotta talk to Bayo Dur like this, though. Good to have you back, General. What happened? Easy now. You survived one spectacular crash. Lucky I was here to pull you and your friends out of that shuttle, or you'd be more than a little crispy. But it's only fair. I owe you more than one, General. What are you talking about? You must be in shock from the crash. Have to expect some long-term memory loss from that. Too bad he's not a droid, huh? We can't all be that lucky. I'll humor you, General. I was one of the Iridonian mechanic corps that was at Malakor. Bayadur. I can see how you'd forget me, being that I was the only one. I think I might recall you. Don't think too hard. I'd rather not talk about the war, if we could. We all went through some tough times after Malachor, and maybe we all did a little forgetting. Guess that's one thing we've got better than droids. They can't forget anything. But then you give them a memory wipe and they forget for good. How are the others? They'll be fine. The pilot's more or less unharmed, and the old lady, well, she's tougher than she looks. You know, I never thought I'd see you again, General. Galaxy's a big place. And this is the last place I thought I'd bump into you. So I have to ask, just what are you doing here? So I might be able to find my ship here. Well, if your ship's in as bad shape as this one, I don't think you're going to have much luck. <clears throat> well, this is familiar. Feels like my last time on Telos. Crashed a shuttle that time, too? Nope, Pazak. That was not the most pleasant landing I've endured. Next time, we should perhaps seek out a more reputable pilot. You're welcome, Kraya. You know, if I weren't such a crack pilot, we could have hit the shield wall or one of those rock faces. Yes, our current situation is a vast improvement. Just got out of here before Zerk's Mercs, Zerk and Mercs show us up. Show up. Excuse They're me. probably already on their oh, way. Oh, fuck off. I didn't mean to skip that. Maybe we need to leave you here then. That's cruel, General. And anyways, you'll need my help. I can help you find it. I have access to the shield network. I came hoping to repair whatever damage your shuttle took, but not even I can fix that wreck. All right, let's get going. That's the plan. Well, better go tell on him. <laughs> All right, Bowder's in the squad, so we have to bring him with us. I think. I think you want Kraya's Jedi support. Alright. Okay, let's make a save. Okay, I'm gonna try alt entering. Does that actually work? I don't know if it works. Hold on, let me try. One second. There's a lot of moving this around. Actually, that did work. Oh. Well, maybe we... 
Well, I didn't really. I thought I'd have to restart it. Okay, cool. Well, that's awesome. Let's uh, go ahead and level up the bays. He's got a bit of everything. He's got six class skills. So you can pretty much give him absolutely everything. They recommend a dexterity boost because he's lower than can be. Let's see what they recommend. Dueling. I could see how that'd be good. He... I want to give him his melee. Because, yeah, he always gets a single hilt. He's one of the tougher ones to make Jedi, but it is possible. There's very few things he can actually get. Reflex save since he's got such a low dexterity. Sure, I'll give him those. Uh, the melee. Can't do any belts. Okay, what has he got? Ironically, he doesn't have any melee weapons. All I got is a heavy blaster. I could, I guess I could give him this, but... No, he's not a two-weapon fighter, so that's a bad idea. Man, this is insane. I've never actually had... Tell you what, you can have a blaster for now, yes. Beodor. Even though normally I don't adjust those. I think this is the longest I've had. How am I missing? I have like max two weapon like fighting. I think you get like vibra swords though. That's a good point. Let's go. Just go ham on him. I didn't really think of that because he's got his arm. Okay, I can't remember. Can Beodur actually? He's got the Dems. The mercenaries have at least two hidden caches like this. We should keep our eyes open. Recover them. Oh, no, no, not me. Cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What's going on? I mean, I probably could do a minor mine, but I'm gonna let Bayos do it. I I remember there's like, um, there's one where you can say like, I know there's like the one the speeder having him look at parts for the speeder, and there's also another one on Duxin that I've used. This one, ducks, or the other one, and then ducks in is usually what I do. Yes. Or what I've done in the past, but. Critical hits. Look at that. I mean, I don't. I wonder if I should give that to Beodur. I mean, I have a. This will boost my awareness, but my demos and security. I don't have a security. Does he have security? Actually, I don't think he does. Let me see his stats. He actually does have a security. So for him. It, that's right. He's got really high stats. I think it makes sense to give it to him. It'd be almost lost upon me. Because, I, I mean, I have the weakest mask so far with the survey gear. I still look like a miner. Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. So it's all your fault. I want a saber so I can just do force jump, bro. Force jump is bay. We need that crit strike. down. I think this guy might have something for me. He's got a force spike, which does 2 to 12, I think. Or is it 1 to 12? Yeah, it's 2 to 12 with a stun chance. But I have these really good ones that are so much better for stacked. Oh, what the hell? I 
I mean, you gotta remember, this is a double-bladed run, but we have to do what's best for us in the moment. Yeah, you need a lightsaber exclusively, from what I remember. Unfortunately, it won't let you otherwise. I just wanted to see something. I couldn't remember if there was anything else over here. I like to get rid of the fog of war whenever possible. But I don't think there's anything over here. Which seems like empty space to me. It's like, at least throw some sort of cash or, you know, something we can use. This is true. You were right about that, Rich, yes. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. Oh, that... <laughs> That axe kick that fucker dropped on him, that was money. Well, well. If you didn't do this mission, it spawns in random dingleberries. Looks like I was able to keep that. Looks like I'll be able to collect that on that bounty anyways. Now you're just saying what I'm thinking. Thought a situation being stuck here on the planet service would keep us from collecting on the price go to his place on your head. But now you've thoughtfully delivered yourself to us. We would be remiss to allow this opportunity to pass a spy a second time. Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? Explain later. Don't you know the exchange is paying handsomely for the head of Jedi Knight? Your friend here just happens to be one. But that's of little importance. All that matters is that we take back to Nar Shaddaa and collect. Oh, I didn't mean to skip his. That was the plan anyway. Sorry. No bear there! <sighs> Idiot. Wow, uh, when am I gonna die? Sorry. Yeah. All right, craze. That'll come in handy. No, it wasn't. Toasty, what are you talking about? My original Spider-Man was not only on Facebook. It's literally viewable on YouTube right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? The difference is I did e extra content on Facebook. Like I did, like uh, you know, some side missions and things. That's what I did. What's going on? What is it? It's a mod, uh, Jack. It's like, uh, well, she gets it because it kind of makes sense that she has her own saber anyway. But like, it's called. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to remember. Ultimate saber mod. So it changes the hilt. So I'll show you. If we go to Kraya. She has her own walking stick. She's the only one who can use it. And it's got some bonuses to it as well. So this is a mod, and apparently the same thing for mine. I get to create my own hilt as well when the time comes, but it doesn't really take away certain things. So, anyway, uh, precision gloves. That's probably good for Bayos. Does he even have any gloves? He does. The gauntlets, but... Oh, minus one attack model, which he is. So let's switch, switch these out. Look at that. Fortitude demo. It's just... The man's a force to be reckoned with. I hear you. I mean, it was still there, though, Toasty. I mean, I never ditched it. I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of. Tears. I mean, the series was still. The I always kept all my main let's plays on YouTube. Work. That didn't Force change. strong here. Whether Chodo and his herd has anything to do with that is another matter. Can you feel anything? Chodo Habat. I feel nothing but emptiness. I see. Even that may be a good sign. Perhaps what you feel is the emptiness of the planet. It's pain. We should press on. Look, there's a large mercenary patrol in the valley up ahead. Chodo didn't give me that stat. Perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south.
I don't think so. Right, let's take him out. Oh. All right. Let's do it. Fuck yeah. But before we do, yeah. Bayos, do you mind taking point? What event are you referring to, Noah? I mean, because you can do that before you go to Dantooine. I hear you. Yeah, his demos are through the roof. Ah, Facebook just went in a different direction. I was a part of, like, the initial... I think there was about 100 of us. little, Maybe a little more than 100 creators. Um, who were signed to the program that they had. It was, like, the initial Facebook gaming launch program. And, um... They ended up keeping... I think... Six. So, like, out of 100, like, 15 to 20 creators that they signed initially, or whatever it was, they only kept six. And they were their top six, because they were taking it in a new direction. They found that the deals we had, like our contracts, were too, were, were too much money for the amount of return that they wanted. But the thing is, they were expecting unrealistic returns, because the, their own platform was working against them. Their own algorithm was against us. And they were blaming us, all the creators. So you even had creators who had like hundreds of thousands of followers who got dropped because they weren't getting views on, you know, that they wanted. It's like, what do you expect? Your UI, or sorry, your your whole platform algorithm is based on pay, pay to pay to view. So you, they, the whole thing is based on, oh, we'll push your ads or you'll push you with this and that. So yeah, that's basically what happened with that. A lot of creators like ended up like, it's like such a terrible place to stream. I wouldn't recommend it at all. I don't think I'd ever stream there. The only reason I'd ever go back to Facebook is if they offered me some sort of, like, incentive to maybe make, like, non-live videos there. But they're focusing mainly on reels right now, so. Okay, so here's my choices. That's probably what I was going to take. Uh, actually, no. I think I want to improve crit. No, we'll do power. That's what I was going with anyway. Power is... I might go night speed. What do they recommend? Oh yeah, they keep going with stun droid. I'm, they won't leave me alone until I get that, but I don't think I want it. Force whirlwind might be kind of redundant here. I might go night speed. Defense is increased by four versus what? I might go, I might go night speed, guys, just because force whirlwind isn't gonna work that well on any of the enemies here, so I might just go night speed. Nice to get a level up. What up, bitch? You get stat. It's better to take them out. I've always taken them out because... Oh, shit. Cancel him. Shields are gone. This shot has got this one long. This guy's hard to hit. He's got saving throws like up the wazoo. What happened there? Let us end this. Yeah. What is it? Oh, she has not enough. We've used up all our force. So unfortunately, we might we might have to eat. Well, we'll see where we go. I'll let it like. Oh shit, Vibro Sword. Vibro Swords are better in theory, but it's fully upgradable. So we need a workbench. Wait, doesn't Bayo Dur have a workbench on him? General? Or is that just T3? I'll talk to him in a minute. I'll talk to him when we get back to the ship. Well, I don't know. Maybe we won't. I mean, yeah, it was a bit of a hindrance because, like, the problem is because I left face or like I was spending a good chunk of my time on Facebook. Um, I'd say my upload schedule—I don't want to say it changed, but I had less focus on the main. Like, I still did main stories, but I was only—I was—I had to play less games, right? I didn't, I wasn't able to play all the games I could because I was recording in the morning and then I was streaming 
in the afternoon. Or I was, and then I ended up switching it so that I was streaming in the morning because it was harder to stream or record for a stream later. But, okay, I'm actually going to switch up with Beodur because there's another cache here. His awareness is money. But yeah, so unfortunately when you change your uploads, it was almost like I restarted. I had the following here, yes, but I had been kind of in, like, limbo. So, I technically hadn't streamed in a while. That's the way they look at it anyway. I hear you. Or I hadn't posted much in a while, so... so that the mercenaries have at least oh. two hidden... Yeah, I know that. This is the second one. Basically, your saving throws is the chances of hitting. So, like, it's like a d20 dice, right? You know, like uh, like in Dungeons and & Dragons and whatnot? It's the same kind of concept. So, whenever you get a saving throw, so your chances of avoiding a blaster shot or avoiding an attack or something like that um, are improved with saving throws. So, the, the higher your saving throw is the better chance you're going to not take damage or they're going to miss or whatever, right? Let's see. Did I actually get it all? Yeah, I did. I went all the way into the corner. Because they actually have markings for each one. What they are. They, they don't tell you really what they are. But Now, this one's just a long row of shit. So, what I normally would do... Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. Because Atten's got the other one. So, I could give him this. He's just wearing clothing, so let's just give him that. It's ceremonial. It's got critical hit immunity, which is solid. Better than the clothing he was wearing. I don't know what I was thinking with that, guys. Now he's actually got defense. So I'll put him on solo mode. Because there's a fuck ton of mines here. Minefield ahead. We can pick our way through. Or take the time to disarm some and clear a path. Not trade it out, please. Let's go. I mean, the chances of them signing me toast are next to, next to none. So. I'm not really. I don't think you have to worry about anything, but. Oh, shit. Cancel that. Cancel, cancel. Oh, shit. I'm in rough shape. I did not realize. And he dropped. That is actually really annoying. Sorry, Beodur. I didn't actually get... I might be able to recover this. Oh, I didn't. Okay, whatever. Shit. Quick. Why does it keep dropping? No, Kraya, no! She's got destroy droid. I should have really or disabled droid. Heal me, please. I might actually drop. Get some defense up, quick. Quick, use it, use it, use it. Whew! I was fucking close. Look, Bayonard became the moss. <laughs> Damn, B. Brutal. Yeah, no. Recover. There you go. I mean, Facebook is probably the weakest of all of the socials right now. It's just so AIDS. Like, it's so annoying because, like, the algorithm thinks you're into something. Just because someone you follow or you a page you like is liking that, all of a sudden they spam you with garbage. And it's like, bro, I didn't want this. But med packs, the thing is at this stage, med packs do a lot of good. What is it? I'll probably, yeah, I'll have way more health than Beodur does. What's up, Fantasy? What up, Dave? How you doing? Sorry, I didn't see you come in there. Does she have any? Yes, yeah, she does. Yes. But look how little it's doing, you know? 
It's like using it. Wait till she gets improved heal and master heal. It just does so much better. Anyway, we got a ton of mines from that. And it should I should have a high enough skill to be able to actually plant them, so. But I don't know. It's even even if I didn't use Facebook, just like every single one of these companies has demons in its closet. Like a lot of people say, oh, I'm never giving Facebook my money again. And it's like, oh, I'm never giving. You know, like people will say to me, I, 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 I haven't joined the membership program because I'm not giving you to my money. That's head. fine. You've been spotted again. I don't blame you. Compound, so they'll be getting ready for us. But at the same time, people will also do the same thing with Twitch. And it's like, you understand Twitch is no better, if not worse. Because they have now implemented that, that, you know, smaller profit margins. So they're taking more, like that 100k or whatever. I can't remember. So people, creators are losing a lot of money. Oh. Sorry, Mortar. Just keep in mind, just if I miss you, don't don't get upset by that because I'm not like trying to like ignore people. This is actually gonna really suck. Oh god, Bayarder, stop right now. Recover now. I gotta create a pathway. Oh god. I will silence this one. Okay, go mash this bitch. Attack her quick. Beat her down. Come on, stop missing. How do you- Yeah, she's right in front of you. You either kick her or you don't. Get rid of the fucking droids. Is she out of- No, she's got disabled droid. Use that. There you go, it's down. Take advantage of it. Let's fucking go. Yes. Um, I'd say mods definitely make the game way more modern and more enjoyable, especially for KOTOR 2, the restored content mod, because they took out so much stuff to get the game out in time, and a lot of it actually causes bugs. So honestly, for the base game had bugs because they removed shit that was kind of integral, and they did that to themselves. Oh god, no, Darth. You're good, bro. I'm never... I'm never upset when people don't use, you know, There's YouTube or pad. whatever, like, do, do, do you. I'm here whenever you're ready. You know what I mean? Looks like we're going to have to find our way there, though. Look sharp. What do we have here? The Jedi. The Jedi. This part is kind of difficult, Six so I'm going to have to make a save. looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. He was right. We'll see. You may have caught a few of my boys off Attack! There. But let's see how you fight now, Jedi. Attack! Okay, we'll make a save. Okay, so I have to really make... I do have some... And we'll do a hyper battle. Use night speed, please. And we'll also use energy resistance. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a ba battle stem for your boy. Really get all juiced up. Let's go. Oh, Beoder's down already? It's because these guys with the shields. I'm jumping all over the map, though. Dude, I'm on some serious steroids. Fuck him up. He's down. Whoa, I'm dominating now. Don't be afraid to actually... Oh, wait, no, that's not going to do it. He's got good saving throws. You're fighting an old woman. Do you feel like a boss? Go with full force lightning. Do it again. Do it again. Fuck him up. Oh, Korea with the final shot. Dude, that actually went down so fast with those mods. Or sorry, with the force powers. Because normally I'd, I would just rely on Kraya to activate them for me, which is not always such a good plan. Take them down. Oh, oh Beodur slap! <laughs> Beodur just delivered the right hook. <laughs> That's so good, man. And he's down. <laughs> oh, Beo, Beo, Beo. I love you, bro. I hear you. 
They got their disabled. We're gonna go in with a vengeance. Finish him, finish him. She's out of force points. She's got that. I'm going here. He's down. Focus. Toast. Oh, wait, Kray didn't finish taking out the. Are you crazy, girl? What's wrong with you? Focus. And she's telling me to focus. You focus. Stay on target. Pull up. Stay on target. Man, that went so much better in the past. Normally, I struggle with this because the enemies are, like feel way higher level than you. I, obviously, there's still a little group over there, and they're throwing grenades at Bounder. <laughs> Oh man, Bounder just got up and then he just got. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad for the dirt. Yes. Stop for a minute, girl. Disengage. Cancel, cancel, cancel. You're gonna get wrecked, girl. Stop. Get us a little bit jonesed up. No, I'm not ready. Stop. Let's go hide over here. Alright, cuz it looks like I'm gonna have to take these fuckers out myself. Um, and she's dead. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide. They might get up on their own, though. That's the thing we have to understand. Alright, so we're gonna go. Boom. Okay, and now I'm going to... Get myself another battle stim. Inject. Look at me, I'm juiced up. I'm on speed. Take out the minions first. I gotta watch my health. The non-shielded guys. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Time to run. Shit, I can't hit them from here. Let's shock them. Frag them out. Kobe. I'm in bad shape. I might have to use... This is always such a battle spot, or sorry, uh, a difficulty spike moment. Unfortunately, my stims are now in low supply, but you have no choice. I remember what I would also do is, um... Gotta watch that health. Hit him. Back off. Get Sonic, bitch. But he's got, like, plasma grenade. That might do some damage. Okay, gotta back off. And then he heals up like a bitch. Uh, he doesn't have a shield, so let's take advantage. Bro, I don't mean to alarm you, but hurry. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna die. No, you can make it! Ignore him, ignore him, ignore him! <laughs> quick, quick, quick! I'm on so many stories. It's just... Oh, I'll use my advanced. Oh, I have no choice. I'm gonna use a life support pack. What do we have for nades? I mean, one of them is almost down, but my teammates aren't coming up. Do it again. Just chucking. Just keep chucking nades. He's down. Go finish the job. I don't know. This part was always insane. Like, they just were just... Thanks for the help, guys. I appreciate it. What is it? And she's Gimpy Magoo. We need your help. But she... What do we do? We don't... There's not much we can do, honestly. They're just like... Attack! You know, that's all that you get. As soon as Buddy said it, problems came our way. And the, honestly, in the entire game, this is probably the hardest part of it. I'm dead serious. Gamorrean Gauntlets and Power Gauntlets. That's going to be great for... But I know there's there is a compromise with the Gauntlets. Power Gauntlets are heavy armor, but... Oh, wait. No, these are good. Bayo Durr might be able to do that, but... I forgot. I'm still using insulated gloves. 
I need to, yeah, see, physical damage, defense, and strength. The dr dude are brutally effective in unarmed combat. That could be really good for the bays. Because the thing is, Obeodor has the precision gloves, which give him a huge, de like, his dexterity is low. But, oh, we can't even wear them. Oh, fuck it. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're just going to snoop around. Overall, guys, I'm very happy with how that went. I know I used a lot of my healing units, but... Oh, there's still one guy. See, watch. I can't use fourth jump. I have to run up to him. For somebody who's got low dexterity, that flip kick was sick. That, like, tornado kick that he did. I forgot how long the shields actually lasted. They're actually pretty money for that. We'll see how you fare against us, Jedi. Attack. Attack. Fuck that. Attack. Nutsack. Attack. Hopefully, I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Word. Good. It's functional. And my passcode still work. Now let's find your ship. All right, TSF said the Eben Ebonhawk wasn't at a sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Chilos' atmosphere has been turned into a point, sitting Sting. vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. The Ebon Hawk. How are we going to get to the polar region? That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we don't know that the shuttle will be there or working. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. What are we waiting for, then? There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Okay, let's go. Sorry, guys, one second. The fuck? Never mind. Okay, let's proceed. Journal entry, we gotta enter the base now, and there's some good shit in the base. I love how they just become come. one with the environment when they die. It's like truly savage. It's like the overgrowth is just like, you know, just like <laughs> eating them up. Bayo D's nuts. I forgot about that, damn it. I forgot, that doesn't do that. I think he has to do it. You'll you have to do this. Isn't just for show, General. Stand back. The Zerka mercenaries were a little These shoes they give us are brutal. My holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these. After you.
Oh, what happened there? Did Bailjo just kick a turret? Oh, Bayo's down. He just took that like a man, though. BA-122 prototype saber blueprints. I'm sorry, what? Upon first glance, the data pad seems to contain blueprints for a prototype lightsaber. Scanning through the schematic jargon, a particular entry clip rubs your attention. Zerka Corporation breakaway lightsaber. Research development weaponry prototype. The rest of the entry details the necessary construction steps and component requirements. Something tells me that this may come in handy at a later time. It would be in your best interest to keep this data pad. I think that's DLC. I think that's the mod I was telling you guys about the Saber mod to build a certain type of the breakaway or whatever. Which is pretty sweet. It's so sweet. Fuse like poison. Ugh. My man B Dub could probably benefit from a med pack. Yeah, that's the ultimate saber mod, I'm almost positive. I love it whenever he gets one, he just kinda has a lurch. Ugh. <laughs> yes. Oh right, she does heal everybody, I forgot. Yeah? Kreia really needs to it, I get her swag up. Yes. Hurry up, Kreia, get involved. Let's go. Yes. Such a good move because it just allow. Oh wait, how did I get annihilated? There you go. I hear you. It's a dead end. Welcome, Zuko. Hell yeah, it's good to be back playing it for sure. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Okay, what am I doing? It's. Let me pick this guy's clean. General? Oh no. Okay, I'm trying to. Oh, it might be one of those ones that's just. It's not actually. Yeah, it's nothing. Flex heavy. Oh my. Man, I can't wait to get a saber. These guys are pretty vulnerable to it. Okay. As soon as improved heal is available, I'm going for it. One of these I know is part of uh, Restored Content Mod. The Droid Factory. Zerka Defensive Gauntlets. See how those fare. Insulated Gloves. These give me defense and I need a medium. So I have damage, meaning fire and coal, but I haven't really had those in a while. So let's go with the defense bonus. I think that's gonna be better for us overall. I hear Let's you. Go. Take him down. Focus. Don't forget, we still have one of our. You should be able to hit both in a row. That's what I love. If you're in the right lineup, you should be able to take them down. Whoa. Oh, man, I died. Last minute, guys. That sucks. Because we're in trouble. I was trying to level up as soon as that happened. I'm going to wait, though. 
Fuck off. I'm gonna wait until her health is really low and I'll level her up. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. What do we need to be 12 for that? That's 18. Force Whirlwind. She's almost there. It's never down to Kraya. Oh god, I've just poisoned a turret. <laughs> you stupid ass. Sonic is what you need. That's what I meant to do. Oh, goodness me. Nice move, girl. Alright. What's up, Zach? How's it going? I love how I have Master Force Jump, but I can't even use it. Probably would have been better off. Treat injury makes sense right now. Man, I totally forgot I had whatchamacallit. Damn it. So I got the Makashi form. I have this, Drain Life, and I forgot all about it. It's so murderous. Improved energy resistance. I might finally improve. I mean, I can go with choke. Let's go with choke. Oh, Beowder is poisoned again. Bro, I can't take him dropping to the floor. <laughs> anyway, well, here's what we're going to do. Let's look at our melee. Because we now have a Vibro Sword. It's fully upgradable. So the this we're going to completely dis disassemble. And we're going to move... All of these into the Vibro Sword. Because right now it's a 110. So it's better than for a 212 to get fully upgraded. Right? 4 to 14. I think I did that. We lose an attack modifier. But the criticals are absolutely insane. So it's like... Okay. Like that is pretty phenomenal. And then if we went... Oh wait, ooh, what? you know what I should have done? Now this short sword's gone. Okay, we're not going to bother using that. And we're going to upgrade the Vibra Blade as our offhand now. Uh, do I want to keep making it? Do I want the, the criticals? Or the, well, we're facing droids. So we'll maintain that. And then we'll give it an ion cell. More droid damage. Contoured or... So this is... Why would I do that when I have this? So, there you go. All right. Anything else? We don't have anything for Kraya. So, how about mail? What about armor? Give him something to use. Da oh, wait. That's for heavy armor, right? This is light. Heat shielding or sonic? Hold on. What else? Let's see. I'm going to do that because we're not actually using them. So I want to improve things that actually have... Energy or sonic? I think... What are they using again? We'll get you energy. Oh, let's do that. There you go. Improve his cold. I think that's about all we can do right now. Me. I ha already have the environmental underlay. Mark 1. Or Mark 2. So, we'll leave all that right now. We're still repping the miner. We're still... Man, we're still on shift. Just think of the overtime. Lab station. Actually, you know what? Um... Break down. So I'm gonna break down the broken broken items, right? Where is it? What's annoying is they don't actually It's fun to create some stuff though. Kunda lens, you know what I mean? Like depending on how good your skill level is. 
You can get some pretty... But right now, we're kind of low in that regard. Because they require skills. What is it? What's going on? She's still got her saber out, meaning it's glitched. Oh, he's got to level up as well. Nah, fuck that. He's... I mean, he's doing... He's, he's a... Like, he's a melee... Well, he's a... You know what I mean. Oh, sorry. Let's go. No more stomach ache. I just have the one lightsaber due to a, a mod. And it's orphan. only Kraya. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all the moot point, though. Not good enough for you? The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. Sweet. It's been deactivated for now. I'll make a save since it's been a little while. Yeah, I have my main hand with the with the criticals. All right, I've already done that. All oh, right, you can't open that until later. Sorry. There's some good swag in there, among other things. Wait, we can't we can't even open the doors yet anyway, so let's get Bayo going. Jal shape perception gloves early. Holy shit. Strength package. I don't need the strength package. But Kreia does. She's got regen. Is regeneration better? Nah, let's give her strength. She needs it. Because what is she at now? Her strength's at 13. Because it was pretty low. She's not doing that much damage. So... Oh, gel shape perception gloves, correct? So currently I have a defense bonus. That this I have a awareness, dexterity, and wisdom boost, which I think makes more sense. Is there anybody else that needs the gloves? Alright, she all are, also has the two strength boost. Because her strength's at like, I don't know. No, I'll keep he can rep the that's a really good set of gloves to have early, honestly. There you go. Gas is done. Let us end this. I think that door is for the uh, for the uh, the mil or the droid factory for later. It's something to do with HK. It's HK's mission. I'm pretty sure that's the one. I mean, it is good, but it's such a slow regen. Is that the only droid in here? Wow. Okay. Oh, this fucking guy. Are you part of the rescue team? No, I'm not. Part of the first Circus Salvage team I hid from when the Turks and Droids went online. You, are you able to get us out here? Find your own way out. Why would I waste my time? Get some decent salvage, you could have that. Yes, but I could just take that now. Fine. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. Because I don't want to lose... I have to watch this guy because I have to babysit him because he will get stuck on shit. Try and keep the line good for him. He'll get caught here. Trust me. He always gets caught on the ship. So take a wide ass berth. See, he did get caught on the ship, but because I stayed true to myself. See, he's stuck again. Come here, dipshit. 
I hated fucking you because you'd go all the way to the end and he wouldn't be with you. Come on. Come on, do you not want to live? I don't think Bayo. I can't remember. Does Bayodor hate it? Here, there's one way we can check. Hold on, let's make a save. That's it, you're dead. Let's see what happens after we kill him. If Bayodor has a problem with it. As always. Yeah, see, we lost it. Yeah, I thought so. I remember we have to bring him out. It's not worth it. it De Beodor has such a small window of influence that um, he's very much a light side guy, but you can do it. I've done it before. There you go. He spawned. Come on, buddy. There we go, we got him past it. Come on! Keep running. As soon as you stop, he stops, so keep moving. Come on! You just have to get him around that corner. Oh shit, wrong way. Which way is it? Uh, it's this way. Come on! I expect to be well paid. Come on, bitch. Bayo Dur might actually uh, give me. I might get influence with Bayo. Thanks. I'll wait for the next freighter. Oh, I got light side. And what is it you think? Oh, for the love of God! Don't want to hear it. If you do, oh, I. Fuck! <laughs> Dude, there's no winning. <laughs> Cray, you bitch! It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Do you think it does? <laughs> that might be a good idea, actually. Let's try it. Let's give it a fucking try. Okay. Over here, buddy. Where'd he go? Let's just get him to follow me for a minute. Come here. Bayo won't know what happens. I might just tell him to, if, if it doesn't, I don't want light side and I don't want to lose influence. It's better to lose influence. Okay, he's around the corner. I don't, I don't, let's kill him in this hallway. Come here. That's it, you're dead. No. He might, he might talk to me from like a mile out though. Man, he clipped right through. They did him dirty. No, oh, I got him safely out, Beodor. Safely out. We're good to go. That man is safe as a box full of kittens. <laughs> that worked. Nice. Let's go. Good suggestion. I didn't know you could do that. Because I know there's a couple of things where he's like, General, you're a prick. I was always general. You threaten Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm just supposed to deal with it? No. I wish you would, Sandman. I wish you would, Sandman. I wish you would, Sandman. I wish you would, Sam man. So wanna play us? I wish you would trying to save us. I'd rather use my Nexonic because it's Set less and activated. Less aggressive. Yes. Cause that feels like that. I feel like that should fuck it up. But I wish you would trying to play us. Oh, 
I got knocked out. Freya, if you can do... Maybe just disable it? Maybe a thought? They got him, alright. Bayo, kick this, kick this bitch open. Lee, kick the door. I hear you. Jackie, kick the door. Jackie again. We'll take him down. Use it. Let's go. We'd love to see that, Lee. Wouldn't we love to see that? Jackie, we'd love to see that. Wouldn't we love to see that, Jackie? His name is Lee, goddammit. Alright, 500. Alright, this door opens later on. But it was good that I did that now because, well, you'll see. Everyone's like, damn, we already know. We've seen you play this four fucking times. I think we can handle it. Yeah? We're very much aware. What is it? I wish you would. See, that's stuck in my fucking head, bro. Nothing I can do about it. You guys are stuck with it, too. Alright, so, dead ahead. Actually, this. This is the one. That was the cut content, but we will have access to it. I remember I was so excited when I found out cut content restored that. I was like, bruh. Well, fucking well. This droid has been damaged. Can't you? Let's go. This droid. What is it? Doesn't it just. But don't you get like one of the vocabulator from the droid? I know it doesn't end well. Like, why would there be an H? Why is there an HK50 droid here? I thought you could pick up... Oh, maybe not. I thought you could pick up one of the working... I guess it blew up. But it kind of hints to what... It's literally just a hint for later is what it is. But without the resto content mod, you're not going to know what the hell it's hinting. You know what I mean? It's like, well... You know what I mean? Ooh, what's that? Oh my god, though, bro. Critical hit. Oh, yes, I know I'm immune to criticals, but look at the strength, bro. I am going to absolutely obliterate these people. Where's my sk my stats? My strength's at 18, bro. This thing is going... Oh my god. I mean, you wouldn't fuck with this. That is gonna be good. Well, it's not really weird that because I, that was something I, I sang in like one of my original Kotor Let's Plays. I hear you. But either way, Christmas songs don't really get stuck in my head per se. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You hear them all the time. Sometimes they do. I guess it depends. That backhand though, you didn't have to. Do, you can just punch it. See how he's getting flashy every single time. You got to respect that. What's going on? I can't remember if I need to. I think it just happens, but... Hold on. Alright, everything's been deactivated, so... Start up the reactor, which is going to start up the droids, which is going to start up this and that. But there's no droids in there, so I'm only going to have to take out a few. Of course, it did, did... It did start up the tank droid. It did. So, there is that. I hear you. I thought you could use this to your advantage, but... It's the strength, bro. Wait, Freya just gave up. You see that? Oh, 
Let us end this. Let me handle this. Oh, wait, I disabled the gas, right? I was like walking around those vents because I know they always turn on you. Well, they don't turn on you, you know what I mean. I still can't believe we're in a minor uniform, bro. I cannot believe it. But now that this is open, was it this side? This side. There should be some pickups. Usually the droids you just blew up give. Yeah, see. That back in easy. Yeah, so you needed to go in here anyway. I love what they just sh like chucked it in like one of the storage rooms. Very little regard. One time I, I actually forgot to grab those and I had to go all the way back. That's how she goes. Sorry, <laughs> it's making me sick too. All right, well, I'm gonna save here because shit. Here's fan, fan shit. Why I water? I used to just chuck nades at it. What are you doing? Throw the nade at it. Cause it's surprisingly weak. Anybody else want to help? They're not helping. I'm doing this myself. Let me handle this. There you go. It's toast. It's, it's honestly very un shocking, you know. Thanks for the assistance on that, though, dipshits. Of course I have. Noah hasn't anybody? Or everyone? CNS Strength Enhancer. That could be good for Beodur. Or it could be good for me. I think that gives you a two strength boost. Or Kreia. Because I have fortitude. Or I can sacrifice it for saving throws and strength. Does Kreia even have a belt? Beodur doesn't even have a belt. She has a stealth field. I mean, what's his current strength at? Let's take a look. His strength is currently at a... I'm actually surprised it's not higher than that. So this will increase it to a 16, if I were to do that, right? Or I can be a bitch and really just drop the absolute hammer and have a strength of my own of 20. I'm going to do that just for the fun of it. So my fortitude was... Well, my fortitude has been boosted anyway. So it's at 13. What's Beodur's fortitude? Pretty low, comparatively. So tell you what. I'm going to give Beodur the belt. It's only... A, well, it's a fortitude of two. So that should help him. A little bit. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Alright, now we just got to insert the codes to lift the thing. Hopefully the droid doesn't get in the way of the shuttle. Wouldn't that be a bitch? Look, they, they were throwing... Oh, no, he was throwing grenades. <laughs> I love the black stains on the floor. It's like, well... Evidence of a battle. And if they saw the battle, it's just like them trapped on a box. It's really nothing to be worth mentioning, you know? Oh, wait, what happened? What's going on? Did I miss something? Uh. Oh. 
That's weird. Okay, sorry. Oh, you dirty dog. Okay, hold on. Crashed again. Because it's back to back. So we're going to have to... Oh, God, I don't like that it does that. That's really frustrating. There's got to be something else we can do. Uh, where is it under? Notepad. Okay. I don't know if that's going to do it. Let's just quit. Hold on, sorry. Uh, where are we at? Okay, let's try it again. I think it should be fine if we just boot it now. And then we do alt enter. Yeah. So you just got to start it. It'll always just So it might crash from time to time when the cutscene happens. Cutscenes don't happen as frequently as you'd imagine. Oh shit, was there no save? Oh damn, bro. So I'm going to have to fight the boss again. Oh, that's annoying. It's going to change it up. I might not get a CNS strength enhancer again. Shit. I should have saved. I'm surprised I didn't save. Uh, actually, I'm not surprised. That's why you save frequently. And in different slots. I can't remember what game told me to do that, but... Ugh. It might it might be locked, though. I think it might save once you... What the hell was that? Well, these Baodur is helping me kick the shit out of this droid. Let me handle this. Wow, now we're missing? Come on. The frame rate shits the bed in this mode. I don't like it. Because it's kind of... It, like, shifts the window. Alright, guys. Let's hope that... And sorry for the frame rate. Frame rate looks like ass. Let's hope we get to keep our CNS. Yeah, okay. It did save them all. Because I think it chain it's RNG, I think it is RNG when you enter. That's usually how they've done it. Yeah, the frame rate looks like shit when it's in windowed mode. At least to me it does. I don't know if you guys can notice it, but... Okay, we will save before we go. Yeah, Christian, that's what just happened. So you have to play it in windowed mode, and it works fine. But windowed mode doesn't run as nicely on this old game. So it's like, you know. Okay. So I forgot I had originally I'd skipped, I kind of skipped that. So once we get the cutscene done and we land. Land. See, now it works. Because it has to transition from full screen program to full screen cutscene. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Alright, now once we come back from here. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. I wonder if I can go from full screen to windowed mode. so annoying it's like we just got a new ship and now we got to do this dance you all over you got to be kidding me it's not my fault that was extra by the way cut content that they didn't they got they got rid of all the conversations inside the cockpit that was quite the crash honestly
egotistic praise. An excellent shot, <laughs> even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and his allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Relieved statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. I love the unnecessary addendum. If you want to fight, then come on. What are you doing here? Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there. Armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? Ow, what the... Sorry, guys. My glass is sitting weird. How many of you are there? Chiding statement. Oh, Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Sub robot. Boast. Or Tobot. There are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, Sup. and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. If you want to fight, then come on. Okay, we'll alt enter. Just to go full screen again. Just curious, can I go back? I can, I think. So yeah, if I know that a cutscene's coming up, I can preemptively alt enter. That's handy. I mean, it's not as pro prop. What do you what should we call it? Okay, our boy is back in town. He missed a couple of level ups. Yeah, I don't... I just... I know it's Stealth Run. It's stealth Run isn't mandatory. That's the thing. Wait, when did the extra Vibra Sword pop out? Shit, I just realized something. I can dual wield. Wait, what the... Oh, no! All my mods from that workbench didn't save. What the fuck? Oh, I know they did. Did they? I just didn't equip it, you dumbass. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I didn't equip it. No wonder it wasn't changing. I didn't switch them up. I, I modified them, but I didn't ever equip it. Okay, fine. Stupid. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, we'll save here. I hear you. Accuracy ratio achieved. Oh god, they're dead. Why would they do that? Oh shit, someone, someone got the business. Time to even the odds. Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Damn it. I'm dead. That's so annoying, bro. I didn't. We lost one. Disable droid. I might have to reload. It's looking grim. I hear you. Use it, use it, use it, use it. What is he supposed to do? I, I think I got wrecked too soon. Almost done. Freya. Oh my god. I didn't even have a chance. <sighs> Fucking bitch. 
Okay, that worked better. Because I have so much damage. Oh yeah, let's go. See, it's so different. There's the control cluster. See, it was up to me. I had the strength of a thousand men. Yes. Just say the word. Fuck it. We don't need to heal ourselves. There's no point. Save the trouble. And put an end to hostilities. He managed to switch into his outfit. Systems failing, master. Systems failing, master. Don't do it. He comes in. Wow, it must be cold out there. Your face is pretty pale. Oh. Yeah, about that. That's, um... That's something else. <laughs> that's something else. I love we just bailed out on Beodor. We didn't even drag him into the shuttle. You know what I mean? We're just like, ah, he'll be fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why not carry him or something? Yeah, cutscene coming up, but not like one of those, I don't think. Let's be a dick. I fucking hate Atreus. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Take my weapons and die. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. I'll play along for now. They wish a fight, I'll give them one. The loss of your weapons shall be a temporary thing only, and it is necessary. There is much to be gained here without violence. Fine. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris. You have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current ah. deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Play Bazaar! Ah. ah, with the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. 
And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Ah, uh, you don't understand spirit, it. as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. Fucking hate Atris, bro. She's the thing I that doesn't the thing is you're better off doing this dark side. Because if you do it light side, she's so into her own self and she's like the self-righteousness and the the ego. She has such a huge ego for a light side Jedi. Right? God, I can't stand I did her. not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Fucking hit. Look at me. I look like I'm... I wrote, woke up on the wrong side of the scrote. You know what I mean? Like, look at me. Uh, I want my property. I think I wanted to see your face again. You're Sally. I want to make this personal for her. I'm here because of pretentious shut. I stole my ship. Let's go with that. Which, of course, in Jedi speak, or sorry, rather Star Wars speak, that means whore. Basically. Slut. You know, that sort of thing. Your ship? Ah, uh, the, the Ebon, Ebon Hawk. Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Of course I destroyed Paragus. So, at last, you admit it. At least you have that much courage left. Whatever. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Telos is doomed and I could care less. Paragus was nothing compared to what I'll do if you don't give me my ship back. The ship and your freedom is no longer yours. You and your ship will be detained here, pending an investigation and a trial. Okay. Not after you become one with the Force, you won't. <laughs> I think that means dead. It was too much to hope that you may have come here to find My me if the Council was right. Try to stop me and you'll regret it. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go. Just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. That ended quickly. Come I remember that being longer. To be fair, I did kind of shut it down. Mistress? Ah, oh, I am tired. Okay. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask... The Exile. I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachment. Oh, she wanted in. 
As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. You do not know... The I will second tell confrontation is way better. Be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Yeah, it's because I said, give me my ship. If I said, hey, where'd you get that? I didn't really advance. I completely ignored the fact that she had my saber. I don't know why I chose violet. I just assumed because it was kind of like the dark side version of blue. That's okay. I call her a bitch. What's my... Wait, what's my... We're pretty... Get, we're getting close to the dark. The dark... Look at these oversized seats. That's such a Jedi thing. Honestly, you don't really realize how, like, you know, the Jedi are so flawed in their own way, too. It's like, that's why I'd say I'd relate the most with the gray Jedi. Can I just knock him down? What, Mikashi, what was Mikashi good against? Lightsaber? Against Jedi, down against Blaster. So it was reverse. We haven't fought any Jedi yet, so it doesn't make sense. I rarely switch them, but... You may ask... You can, like, look for a fight and shit. Why have you pro Evan Hawk, where is it? Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atrus has given you permission to leave this place and not to return. She, you know why she's letting... Because she didn't expect I would make my way there. That's why she was she was threatened. I mean, look at me. I look like an old suitcase. Except without any purpose. Like, my face is, like, fucked. Imagine having a conversation with that guy and keeping a straight face. Anyway, had some questions. You may... Atris. The mistress. Why? When did she become a bitch? What can you tell me about her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order, and through them, the galaxy. And how does she plan to do that? We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet, Atrus has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the Rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atrus has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you, Exile. I talk for Atrus, considering she never had a Padawan. Atrus has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. Such a hypocrite. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. She'll need help if she tries. She knows nothing about training Jedi. She predicted you would say as much. She seems to know you quite well. Perhaps you are the one who knows nothing. Oh, interesting. I think for myself, interesting. I guess I know nothing. Sounds like a challenge. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. You took my shit. Use a good sparring match. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have. It's a good. It's good to, to do this. The most basic of our teachings. <laughs> I love one more. It changes the underwear. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? I have an idea, but I'm guessing they involve me standing here freezing in my jumpsuit. All duels between us shall be without honor. Just of fisticuffs. Any kind. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements. So you can literally Wu Tang her in the back of the head, no problem. The training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. Fine. If you're ready to fight, so am I. The fight will be with hands and feet only. 
No You're gonna see him injecting tubes, something in his ass. Like, or other items. Oh, no, that's also, my insulin. Do not call Sorry. upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. <laughs> if you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher forms. Yeah, you can. No, it's all six. You can choose all six. That's the last one. It's optional. It doesn't really get you much. Each other's strength. Or does it? Enough talk. Let's fight. Then let us begin. I will make a Manny save here. Let's fuck her up, son. I have good strength, so I should be able to drop the elbow. I can't use force powers. Just hands. They do get quite difficult. Right in the back of the head, bro. That's brutal. She's almost toast. Done. You have succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. Let me help you ready to fight again. Seek one of us. All right. I thought, like, I, I can't remember. Is it considered a side quest? Meanwhile, they're all, like, hanging out in, like, their... I'm just doing this. I'm, I'm dicking around with all these girls, and they're just... Eventually, she'll let me use weapons. Have you returned to fight? Yes, I wish to challenge. Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish, but use no other items or Jedi techniques. She will continue. Then let us. Be she will continue to use um, her shit. This, I remember, ends pretty fast. Girl, are you ready? Like, look at that. Done. You have succeeded. Well, I cut you if in the you face. Wish, you may challenge us again. Okay, let me heal up. I always like to say that just so I can save. Because every, because you mess up one time. I mean, she. The thing is. Have you returned to fight again? You never actually lose per se. You can keep retrying, well. but. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items. And you may use whatever technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt to defeat me. In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. So I can use force push and shit. Then let us begin. And I'm gonna lightning her ass just to let her know what it's like. Drain life. Thank you. Give me health. See, I love it because it removes hers. I wish I had something like... Let's choke her out. Oh, she's saved by that. She done. Oh, I missed. Just, just attack her regularly. There you go. You can't. That's you the slice and dice. Throat and you chest. Surprise me. Let me heal up. I'll be ready to fight there again. There's nothing more that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. Can't feel free to pair up. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor. She doesn't like my cockiness. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item. All right, let me get ready and I'll return. Seek one. Okay, and then you can eventually fight all sweat. Like, because there's one, two. There's only two handmaidens in here right now. Okay, let's save up. Right, you can fight. They say you have to fight five of us or four of us, and then you say five or six, whatever. You you, you can up the ante, but it's very difficult. <laughs> So we'll, I'll probably try that because that's a cocky dark side thing to do, but I wish. There's nothing more. Right. If we use, I'm ready. Then. All right, I might use my night speed. This will teach you. I'm not a Sith Lord, so let's just beat them in the face. One hit should do it. Oh, come on. Fine, shocker. That was only two. A strong opponent. Atris was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps 
too much. I don't think I would have used. I wouldn't have had a lightsaber at this point, so I don't think that was the case. I can take all of you without breaking a sweat. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos, so all that will break will be your pride. Let me catch my breath, and I'll be back. Yeah, I need the health. That's unfortunately the case. So. I'm gonna use a battle stim. But they're just all combat, so it's like. It's very tough, so I'm gonna. I, I know it's tough. Let me just try activating my shield. Oh, well, a Mandalorian melee shield would probably be better. You are a strong. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Okay. Why not all six? There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. Oh, interesting. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. Oh, that's that's regular we handmaid. Fight is one when we are five, not six, and that number should be enough for this lesson. That's different. Normally they fight all six. You're done talking. Very well. We shall begin. That's that's cut content. That's because it's handmaiden. You know, it's. Oh my god. Time to drop it. Don't step off. Can I throw grenades at them? <laughs> I'm dead, guys. Use it! Guys, I'm toast. This is the final blow right here. This is it. This is this is just done. Oh wow, yeah, that's it. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Force wave or, or like force lightning would have been so much better. It's hard to do this. I remember that very much. It's very difficult. You are a st then we've Am I don't think I'm a loud armor. Oh my god, I'm getting grapes crushed. This will teach you. Guys, I'm toast. <laughs> There's no way. Am I allowed armor? Are you serious? I didn't think I was. I guess I said no restrictions. Sorry, I forgot. We're not doing ancient Achani cheese anymore. Right, okay. We'll slap it back on. I wonder if I should use... I see. Okay, well, let's... You are a strong opponent. I don't know if this is going to be good. It's only a defense bonus of one. I'm gonna improve my. I'm gonna put on the Zerka. This will teach you. Guys, I'm toast. Dude, fuck off. <laughs> fuck, man, I'm toast. I'm dead. That's so hard. Match for us. 
Yet you decided you would try anyway. Guys, I'm getting annihilated. I've never had this much difficulty. To be fair. I don't know. I don't know if all of our sh I got I got to see if all our shit actually saves in battle. You are a that Yeah, it's, it's still on. No, I hate that it cancels it out. I'm toast. Oh, so close, bro. Oh, I'm so close. It is tough, but I might be able to, like, get them to step out of bounds. You are a s This will teach you. This will teach you. It's not looking good for me, fam. Dude, they're dropping me so quick. Dude, that's so fucking hard. What are you talking about, Gumball? I've already got the shield enabled. That's the thing. Because the shield is still taking hits. That's the thing. So it's like... Oh my god. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. You are a... This... Okay, I'm gonna prep that. This will teach you. Throw it! Hurry up! It doesn't do this shit. Oh my god! I can't do it! It's fucking impossible. I remember having no, not that much di difficulty with this though. That's true. There is like, I haven't, I could search the area first. Cause I feel like I have to do this. I don't know if you get anything. I think you just get good experience. I mean, there's a strength enhancer. Rhodian blades are usually pretty decent, I think. Well, to be fair, though, I've been engaging the shield before each fight. Like, I literally click it as a part of the... I'm not sure how people are missing it. The Achani shield, though, that actually might be good for this. And it might actually block what I needed to block. What? That's a waste. The mine should have done it.
That's true. I could use it inside. Not much in there. Is this that it takes so fucking long? Cause like I have so I need I don't have enough health. You are a oh school. shit. One. Damn it! I didn't. Oh, I should have saved before I talked to her again. Fuck. There. I'll say that. I, can I even use landmines here? Oh my god. Dude, if these stay where they are, <laughs> these girls are gonna get the business. <laughs> you are a. St Hold on. So there, shields on. Oh, I should have done. All right. You are a. St what? Let's see if they take the L. This Oh, it doesn't kill him. This will teach you. I don't really understand how to get them to walk out of bounds. Yeah, see, that's fucking hard. Our battle is done. All right. Well, at least I didn't waste it. Man, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I don't think. Pushing them out of bounds doesn't seem to do anything. But the force pushes are always saved from it. So it's not, it's not actually, oh shit, I keep doing the wrong shield. What do you mean you walk them backwards? What does that mean? You like, do I walk towards point. the camera kind of thing? We knew you were no <sighs> Jesus oh. fucking Christ. Once you just have to take them out quickly. Does that actually work? Throwing a grenade in the mines. Okay, I'm gonna try and like switch. I'm gonna look at the Achani shield and see if it's better. You think it would be, because the whole point of it is to block, like. Let's just take a look. Chani does electrical and energy, but it lasts. Well, no. 100 points of energy and electrical. We'll do the Achani shield. You are a st We've I might do a new save. Let's just do a fresh save. Like this. This will teach you. Oh god, they knocked my ass out. Really? Wow. <laughs> oh my god, guys. will teach you. This will teach you. Fuck, it's too long. Like... I don't think it's gonna work, though, because in order to use the med pack, you have to click the med pack, go into combat. Click it, go... It's just so long for the amount of... St like... I, it barely heals me. This will teach you. 
Like, everything's missing. It's so fucking stupid. Alright, we'll try it, I guess, but... I really don't think it's gonna work that much, because you have to find... Oh shit, I forgot to equip the actual, the minor uniform again. That was stupid. No wonder I'm taking L's right now. Dicks. That's, yeah, I'm gonna load, this one's fucked. Mm, nah, I don't really wanna play Fall. I mean, they might be doing an update, but... I think I heard they were doing an update. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I just. Oh, I timed it wrong. I literally got to mash you. Hey, James. There you go. We'll save over that. Oh, I stepped out of bounds. No. Guys, this sucks. They really amped that up. Well, to be fair, you have nowhere to go. And then the loading. See, you got a cheap little cheeky hit on me. Sometimes you get lucky. This will teach you. Oh, did it reset my shit? No, stop auto attacking. And then you have to wait. She's out of bounds, so she's done. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Uh, I'm done anyway. What happened? Am I still in it? Oh god, we're almost there, guys. Dipshit! No! <laughs> oh, this is insane. No, cancel. I hate that. No, stop. That's annoying. That right there is really annoying. I had them beat with that, bro. That plasma grenade did some serious damage. So I'm going to try and... Well, there's not much I can do. Because if the base doesn't... Like, I almost had them. I just needed to... It's a shame I don't have anything better than a regular. Come on, come on, come on. I hate how long it takes. Let's keep throwing. Quick poison them. Oh, I'm toast. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, I walked out. God, this is hard. It's so insanely hard. How do you do that? The the equip menu is you though. How do you? I can't remember. I didn't think you could because this is the equip menu unless it's. Hmm. See, it didn't save my force use. Bad call. Quick hitter. This will teach you. She's out of bounds. I'm dead. <laughs> I knew you were no match for us. Oh. You decided you would Guys, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't think it's possible. Unless I I think I don't know what else I can do. The thing is, it does too little. It, the med packs do fucking nothing. They're so low. <sighs> oh my god. It's like you have to get lucky. I almost had that last one. No, I didn't. I don't have whirlwind, unfortunately. Oh, I don't want that. This will teach you. Oh, I hate that it attacks. That's so annoying. I want you to throw the grenade. Oh, shit. This is the thing is it does such a small amount of health and then I have to wait for the next attack. I hate that they're getting cheeky hits on me. I might be able to... Throw it! Oh shit, did I mess up? This will teach you. This will teach you. Quick, quick, quick. This will teach you. Oh god, I'm fucked. I keep I can't remember what the quick See? It doesn't matter. You have to wait for the round. You can't just every time they hit them and use a med pack. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, I... I don't know. I think I might have to either change the difficulty just for this fight. We oh, you... This is so dumb. I always hated this one. God damn it. I, I have to beat this. It's like a must. I think, honestly, if I had, like, a heavy armor... See, and, like, before it even loads in, I'm already taking damage. Throw the damn grenade! Oh, one of them walked out. Oh, I'm dazed. I hurt myself. Oh my god, I'm not meaning to do that. Uh. Oh, I was so close that one time, I wonder if I should have saved it. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Oh, I'm stuck. I'm dead. I got trapped through them. Damn, what's the... I can't remember the fucking... Let's find it. I can't remember what the actual button is for... It's O? No, is it P? It's I. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, the fucking combat is really gonna... The combat, auto combat, is doing me dirty. Shit. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I did a battle stim. I did a battle stim. <laughs> this is fucking impossible. It's so hard. We still gotta go back to ship and talk. Come on, do it again. Oh. Uh. Okay. How do I activate it again? Okay, I got that. Armor, right? I can't. I can only use one at a time. Okay, I'm gonna save. Fresh save. <laughs> Let's save here. Let's see what we can do. She's almost toast. She's almost toast. I'm gonna sauce him. Let's go! <laughs> No more challenges. Hardly. There is much we have learned from The you. first rule achievement. If we meet on the field of battle. Whew. We shall be prepared. Damn, we got it. Oh, oh man, bro, my butthole is raw from that one. Ugh. Okay, save, save over it quick. Man, that was insane. That lightning was off the chain. Why have you approached? You will find them in the the party. <sighs> you shall not be challenged, as I have said. That sucked, man. You, find them in the irrigation you have to get a bit lucky sometimes. The complex. I think moving a lot was good. Like throw a grenade, run like a bitch to the other corner, run like a game, or sorry, run like a bitch. Better not have them harmed, or else. They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. No, if it's that, I think you're mistaken. You are the one who is mistaken. It requires you know what to look for. He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well. But when you were in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. Interesting. Where would he have gotten it? I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. I don't. Do I even it have any of grenades? To know those you travel with. You may. Um. This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. It survived the orbital bombardment of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. Why is Atris here? Shortly before the destruction of Dantooine by the forces of the traitor Jedi Malik, it was had many Jedi artifacts and knowledge transported here secretly. Why here? Even the Sith prefer life prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. It was a place where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. 
Art of, how did Dantooine, how did Atreus know Dantooine would be destroyed? The Jedi Council sensed it. Master Vrook, Master Vandar. But it was too late to do much except make arrangements for evacuation. It was a dark day for the Order. Many on Dantooine did not survive. Jedi or not. Atreus would not speak for many days after the attack. And we feared our mistress was lost to us. In time, she regained her voice and her strength. She brought the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi here and has kept them safe. All right. Okay. Even the Sith. Sorry. The Sorry, let me say that. Artifacts. Yes, many relics from Dantooine. Some which predate even the destruction of Ossus. She was not able to save all, but she saved enough. She was able to bring them here before the Academy's destruction. It was a fortunate thing. She was not able to save everything. Okay. What's awesome? Oh, wait, any lightsabers? Viewing the relics is not allowed without Atrus's permission. It's allowed me to walk freely. Should that implies trust? There is truth in what you say. Yet many such artifacts are sealed away in Atrus's chambers. They were just holocrons, though. But if you though, wish to see a few of them, speak to the last of the handmaidens. She has seen some of these objects and has an interest in such things. The last? Yes. She should be in the training chamber to the north and west of here. She constantly seeks to improve herself so that she may no longer be ranked last among us. Why is she ranked last? Because she is easily distracted by matters that do not concern her or her duty. Such distractions weaken her and she knows this. Such as? I will not speak of them. Ask her yourself, if it matters to you. Other questions? What do you do here? We serve the Jedi, and we watch. There's not many here. Atris is the only Jedi here, this is true. But the Mistress will bring others in time. That's no, yeah, no. Atris couldn't bring a desk fly to garbage, let alone Jedi in this place. A deck fly. You shall see. <laughs> she has more strength than you know. Uh, are you training? I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. No, I meant that Even as an insult. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy, take it as the worst way possess. possible. We are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. And there aren't any others here. Atris is the only Jedi here. Hold on. Deck fly to garbage. You. Um. Why do you all look the same? We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. Share same father, we all bear the face of our mother. So they all... Right. She looks different. As I have said, it is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. So she has a different set of parents. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. I tolerate your presence only upon orders of the mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. You All right, bye. She's awfully sensitive. We gotta snoop around, though. I might as well, I, I can't, okay, yeah, this is where she is, so let's just ignore. I think this is the route to the Ebon Hawk, the Pride and Joy, the fastest sh Oh no. Did you find what you came for? I can get influence from Beodur here. What was I supposed to find here? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. She's one of the council. She means me harm. Stay out of my head or I'll remove yours. <laughs> what exactly call her charming? Whatever her charm or lack thereof, you Not must yet. deal with it. I will talk to her Unresolved in a moment. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove I'm just getting them out against right now. the enemies we face. The woman here is a Jedi Atris, one of the council. 
There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students. Yeah, and you gotta be male. this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Everybody's not able to feel the Force. Yes, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Did you plan to use Jedi mind tricks on them? Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. May have to kill her. Ah. Killing such a one could prove difficult and unwise. Ah, she Yet a bitch. she distracts you, that is clear. And that may be reason enough. Such distractions could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Are you done? If that is all you wish to hear, then I have nothing more to say. Let us depart. <sighs> what happened to Atten? He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. Got some dark CZs. This I have to do a light side. In the crash. Are you okay? I'm fine, General. Even power. Gotta get influence. I'm gonna get some light side, but it's okay. That's this place. Where are we? Concealed. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room. This place. It looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Are you well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you, or join you at the ship. Let's go to the ship. Meet me at the ship. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. Okay, so that's gonna give me some influence. I might Mistress, get light side. You summoned me. I have a task for you. The exile is dangerous. I'm concerned that he was able to return to Republic space and reach Kios without my knowledge. Mistress, the Harbinger was lost in transit. It was our failing. What is done is done. But now I need you to travel with him. Mistress, I realize what I'm asking of you. And I'm asking I'm, that you I, keep I thought I could talk to her first. Even from your sisters. I need someone to watch the exile closely. And let me know if he contacts the Sith. More importantly, I need you to study him closely. I need to know what he thinks. What he does. Become part of his group. Earn his trust. Get him to confide in you. I will do as you ask, mistress. I think I can talk to her first. But mistress, the exile did not seem to pose a threat to us. Ah, but he does. Do not be fooled by the exterior. It is his nature you must beware. He fell to the dark side once. He will do so again. I am trusting you with this task, last of my handmaidens. Do not disappoint me. The galaxy, the Jedi, may depend on it. Yeah, sorry about that. Ignore that light side. Temporary just to get the influence we needed. Alright, now I should be able to... The thing is, this isn't upgrade. It doesn't make sense. Yes, you have more defense. I think I can still talk to the last of the handmaidens. I can still talk to her. So I'm gonna go look for her quickly. She has a slightly different thermal shield gen. Seventy-five percent versus fire. Is there anybody else not? Now nah, we'll leave it for now. Shit! Did I miss my opportunity? 
shit. Are you kidding? Or is this actually her? Why have you approached? Hey, do all these women look alike? They are Ichani. It is not unusual for their children to share similar features. If you have a reason. Fuck. I fucked up. I gotta load. Damn it. Guys, that is so fucking annoying. Oh my god. I should have went there first. I wasn't sure. I thought I could get my squad first, but I can't. Ugh. So now I gotta talk to her again, but I'm just gonna... Oh, shit. I hate it when games, like, lock you out, like, progression lock or whatever. So I'll just skim through all this conversation quick. Why have you... Sorry, I said this already. Short. Even. Damn it. I don't think it's not. If you Whatever. Okay, we're done with her. Or was this the wrong chamber? Bro, is this not even the right chamber? Dude, she's not here. Doesn't this get me to my companions? Or is it this way? Yeah, there's T3. We're gonna leave him for a minute. Why have you Where does the fuck is handmaiden? She's normally in the middle. Did she, like, despawn? Why have you... Yeah, bro, she ain't here. What the hell? Did it... I mean, usually you could talk to her before you actually go back to the, the ship. That's kind of dumb. Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad I wasted my time. That's really fucking annoying. All right, well, I might not have a choice. They said she was there, though, right? Well, let me see. Why have... As I have said, if you s uh, what do you do we here? I s we Atris is the o 
You are no Whatever. We didn't they ask, didn't they mention something about... As if you see I don't get it. She's not there, man. That's really fucking annoying. <sighs> Waste of time. Now I gotta wait for this shit. Fuck. Did you find what you came for? That this I there is a yet. Lands back. Yes. How would you kill her? Direct action is not always the best way. It is a far greater victory to make another see through your eyes. But I thought the training room forever. Yet all that lives. Fe You are the gravity around which all her actions rotate. Because she's always you been in that main chamber. You exert a stronger chamber. influence than you know. Be her foil, her challenge. All right, all right. Are you if done? That is all. Uh, I'm not. I'm sorry. Very well. Okay. I hope I can skip Mistress, this cutscene. You summoned me. I. What? If... There you go. Nice and quick. It was a bit of a waste. But mistress, ah, uh, I. Unless she's in. Unless she's there. I mean, I should go check. Hold on. Let's go back. Oh, you dirty. Cause she doesn't she have her hood down? Oh, dude, they fucking moved her. She used to be out there. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, fine. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. Are you the last of the handmaidens? Don't believe everything she says. She said, "You betrayed the Jedi." By going to war when it was forbidden to you, you turned on your master. I thought she's always been in the chamber. And yourself. Oh. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts, and she told us why you fell to the dark side. And what, why was that? Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. So why didn't I keep fighting? Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far you could no longer feel the Force. Anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Express feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Are you saying Atris could be wrong about me? Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. So if I crushed Atrus's skull into the floor, I might get to the heart of the battle matter? I do not think the battle would go as you describe. But in essence, yes. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. You may ask. You're the last of the handmaidens. I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. The others said you were easily distracted from your training. It dishonors me that they would say such a thing to an outsider. Well, they don't care. I cannot deny the truth in what they say. 
My thoughts are not always focused on training. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. What do you mean? There is much knowledge here, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. This is what occupies your thoughts. To the Ichani, battle is a means of communication. It is an art, in the truest sense of the word. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. They speak one's heart and one's devotion to their cause. Devotion to their cause? Yes. The methods you use to meet your opponent speak truer than any words can express. When you risk pain or death, there is no truer sacrifice or strength. So you consider a slaughter. I agree. It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrace was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. It was brutal, without finesse, but showed his commitment to defeat the Jedi. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing. Like weaving threads in a tapestry, or strokes upon a canvas. He spoke through battle and tactics, in a way one could never do in words. He showed his heart at Malachor V, and finally, at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I believe he was speaking to Malak in that final battle, though few knew it. And that is but all. To say that seems an untruth based on what I know of the Jedi. The Force can drive others, but there is still choice, is there not? Ah, but at what point does the power the Force exerts submerge any attempt at choice or free will? You have taken a complicated question, servant of Atris, and you have trivialized it with your answer and lack of experience. If there is no choice in the Force, then our teachings and our actions are for nothing. And I refuse to believe that is true. Ask you something else. You may ask. Um, I heard you know something of the relics. I know a little of them, yes. Much Jedi knowledge is stored here. Secrets of their teachings, combat styles, and discipline. Can you help me obtain these? The Jedi relics are kept by Atris within the walls of her meditation chamber. Entry is forbidden. Sure, they're not forbidden to a Jedi as myself. Atris has made her orders on the matter clear, and she says you are no Jedi. Entry to her meditation. Where are they stored? The Jedi relic. I will not. Atris has made her orders on the matter clear. Entry to her meditation. She chamber. blocks that shit. So you've never seen them. I have seen a few of them. Yes. They were not always in Atris's meditation chamber. And you saw. There were many relics. Among them, small cubes, warm to the touch, each holocrons. containing their own light. Jedi holocrons, yet warm to the touch, you said. Yes, and with a light about them. When held, some would speak, ask strange questions. Yes, their questions were confusing. They seemed to think I was someone else, someone's student. Ah, of course they did. A simple misunderstanding, no doubt. I had thought perhaps I had damaged them in some way, but I could not think of what I had done. Where'd they come from? Most come from Dantooine, brought here before the academy there was destroyed by Malak. Not all relics were able to be saved, but there was not time to rescue them all. All right, any something else? You look different. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. So you all, uh, you have a different you have a different mother but the same father. I do not wish to discuss it. Is it a sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. See something else. 
I kill you all easily. I am aware of this. I do not doubt your combat prowess, as my half sisters do. There are many who went to war against the Mandalorians, and few returned. You were one of them. I honor the face of my mother. Oops. You are right to fear me. I do not fear you. My words have been misinterpreted and need to be placed in perspective. Then you sought to insult me. Again, you have twisted my words to attempt to provoke me. That shows a creative. You can't lose any influence with her yet because well she's not in your party. Fight between us. Is it a fight you see? The Ichani believe you cannot truly know the heart of another unless you meet them in battle. I would very much like to know your nature, but now is not the time. Perhaps my sisters could challenge. All right, fine. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Difficult thing to describe. Please, I wish to know. You know when you die, so unless you seek death, leave me be. <laughs> Very well. Forgive me, Exile. I did not mean to speak of things painful to you. Perhaps we shall discuss it another time. I got the DS for that. Let's go. Okay, let's go see T3 in the house. I think we've already searched it. Oh, but I'll, first I'm going to try that door to get that unique die. I can't remember if the Zabrak combat suit is upgradable. I don't think it is, therefore I don't think it makes it valuable. I've already searched those, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, they moved her. She used to sit out here. I wonder if that's Resto mod. I'm not sure. She's always been in that like chamber back there. On your way out of the uh, training area. Or meeting with Atris. I can't remember which one. Throws cold to the touch. Ah, curious thing. What lies behind it? Don't know, but I want to find out. Hmm. Perhaps it is a meditation chamber of some sort. I don't think I ever went back up here. I usually just left. Okay, we've got to get out of here. I can't believe, though, we never found armor that was suitable enough for us yet. You know what I mean? Like, it's still... Alright, we're going here. Okay, I'm going to get some... I might have to get some light side. Just to maintain. So we should be leaving now, I believe. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebon Hawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid. Says you. Here we go. They didn't remember wipe you, did they? I gotta get influence. Wait, she downloaded what from you? Try memory. That must have taken some time. What she wanted, it's in your memory core. Then we can talk more. Get out of here and secure the shit. Oh, I got light. Yeah, see, that's to happen. You got it. I guess I didn't need influence with him. I'm sorry, guys. It's just the problem with influence. I guess you could lose the influence, too, and it doesn't really. But then you don't get much out of him. To be fair, T3 doesn't give you much anyway. Okay, let's see if the the Zabrak... Zabrak is upgradable. So, with that in mind... The Mando combat suit... 
Oh, but it naturally has the bludgeoning. Interesting. So it gives you the... Oh, wait a minute. So really... Maybe we should go with something else. Because it's already got the bludgeoning. So Zabrak... So you get it in addition in addition to flex heavy armor. We have a lot of m armor already, don't we? Anyway, whatever. Oh shit, cancel. There's my pride and joy, the Ebon Hawk. All right, so all we got to do now, guys, is pretty much just uh, do a bit of conversation when we get back to the Hawk, and then we're off to our next planet, which is going to be Nar Shadda, but we're going to be saving that for tomorrow. Nar Shadda is a fairly large planet, so it should take us a good while to get through it. I mean, today it actually took us a lot longer to go through this than I originally thought, but to be fair, there was a lot of... Not wasted time. Eh, yeah, wasted time. There wasn't a ton of... But there were circumstances where it took me a while, you know, like dicking around. I dicked around a lot. Let's leave. Yeah, the thing is, I've always had the, you know. Oh, wait, the, oh, wait, vendors. What vendors were on Telos, though? And where were they? The Jay Shen or whatever? Jao Shay or whatever they call that shit? The stuff that looks like armor on top and they have the cape on the bottom. Oh, it might crash. It's loading. Oh, no, we good. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. I sent her to travel with the exile. She may discover something I cannot. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens. She is willful, and she has demonstrated her fascination with Jedi. It may not have been why. I know what I have done, but it was necessary. This is Resto Mod. Resto Mod um, changes the narrative. Originally, it's she sneaks off on her own accord, and Atris condemns her for it. But in this one, she gives her a mission. Which I think it makes a little more sense. Well, now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Sorry, surely making a lot of noise. You know what? What you're connected? Maybe I'll keep you around after all. <laughs> what is the machine saying? Might as well show it. It's just history now. And look at me, I, this is before my dark side turn. You guys were bitches. Do you know why we have called you here? Whatever your reason, speak them or let me go. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Um, I'd slaughter every Mandalorian if I could, except Malachor did it for me. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself. The galaxy. We feel that your true understanding of what happened at Malachor 5 will only happen in time, and it cannot happen here, near the battlegrounds where you fought. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. I would just drop it at the floor. I would just literally throw it on the ground. It's like, come get it. Much defiance in that one. You are correct, Kavar. 
When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there, more like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the exile. Wait, they flipped it so Revan are. was female. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. That's you not saw it the in his Jedi walk, way. And in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one. If what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing. And he cuts like Oh, a right, 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 right. Kreia, sorry. I, yeah, told you're right. The truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? Yep. So they knew what happened to me. They all do. What else was in the archive? What about artifacts? Lightsabers? Alright, play the missing Jedi. Rook. Says Kael. Kavar. Bash and Atris. All those fools were there when I was sentenced. A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. When I say forget the Jedi, I go to the Sith. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Sister, you and yours are the threat. If it comforts you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just me, and I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. You think we need your help? I think the strength of the enemy is unknown, but it is greater than five can hope to defeat without aid. Take whatever help, then welcome aboard. Indeed. I'll say that. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers, but since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. I have to get influence. It is no matter. 
I'm used to worse conditions. Sorry. Thank you for your kindness. It sucks. Orphan White. So I got the achievement for that because the reason I haven't... Last time I was female, so I got Disciple. So I'm still getting achievements I never got in my original PC run. Because they updated it with achievements. I'm going to get some light side, I think. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? When my lightsaber's returned to me, I will bear it. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one if you wanted to, but you know that. Do you think I can't build one? And why wouldn't I? I don't know, General. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. With the Jedi Enclaves, I'll just start. I don't know where to get parts. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Where do we start looking, then? We need a power cell. Emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me Most before of them you get are, yeah. started building it. I'll make sure they're useful. I already have one part from Telos. For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? How many credits? <laughs> All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. Tend to have... a habit. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Technically, you can get them from every single planet. It just depends. They, they kind of look after you. It's just faster if you go to Nar to get them first. Don't worry. He knows what he's doing. That'll give him influence as well. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know, and I'll put it back in place. There you go. So I might get a mix. Well, I didn't get light or dark for that. But it does help. Alright, well, let's let's start the conversations. Hey, General. I want to... What is it? Maybe the others don't know what's happening, but I can see what's going on, and the others have voted too. What are you talking about? You can't hide it, General. Just look at your face. I saw other Jedi who looked like you during and after the war. It's that woman. You have to get away from her. She'll destroy you. Yeah. Wrong about Kray High Controller. Just be careful, General. You don't know what she wants, and she's got some goal. I'm sure of it. Was there something you want? He's not wrong. Did you pick up that remote? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. What's it do? He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? What's your opinion on the Telos situation? If the Republic would just rein Zerka in, there'd be no problem. But as long as Zerka is allowed to undermine the Athorian's efforts, Telos will remain dead. I can't take seeing my work being used by those bloodsuckers. But there's nothing I can do about it, so let's talk about something else. Something else. 
Uh, how'd you lose your arm? I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. I was being serious. If you were me, you'd probably want to joke about it too. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malakor. I was lucky I didn't lose more. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? Uh, what are you doing? Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed she's even space worthy. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But don't worry, I'll get everything in shape. General? What have you been doing? I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. I'm sure you weren't the only soldier to feel that way. And I don't think I'll be the last. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? Couldn't handle the truth, huh? Maybe if I had the force to lean on, I could have worked it out. But then, the force didn't seem to be of much help to others. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to be something. Uh, any shields? Sorry, something. Never mind. Okay, you gotta try and give him votes of confidence. I didn't get any dark side from that, so let's move on. That's all. He has the least amount of shit to say to you at a certain point. I'll make a save. It's been a while. I think we... Handman just takes a tiny bit of time. Yes. Do my features frighten you? Yes. Your features. Your they stats. They do. You're ugly. Beatrice spoke of such Jedi who followed Revan. How their bodies came to mirror the dark side within them. Then why don't you strike me down? Because there is a chance of redemption within all of us. And there is no point at which the dark side completely claims one. No matter what their choices. Is that what Atris taught? How touching. No, it is what I believe. Atris did not believe such things. I have questions for yeah. you. Atris, wait, we already asked this. Do you have a name? Before entering Atris's service, yes, I carried a name. As all the children of the Ichani do. What was it? It is not important. I know what it is. My title and rank is of consequence, not my name. I take value in Atris's service, not in myself. You take value in yourself as well. We all have value in our oaths to others and the promises we make. When we make that pledge, we are pledging ourselves to something greater. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts, the galaxy is unmade. Uh, do you think I lost myself when I dissipated the Jedi? I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. Other questions? Maybe. I don't want to say stuff like that. Just don't say them. It's better to not say them. Um... What are you doing? I am training, so that if danger should strike, my body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace travel can be. If I do not have something to focus my attention on, I fear my sanity will erode as well. You can always play Pazak. What do you mean, Pazak? What, again? No, I do not trust him. That cards? That too. It's going to be a short journey. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian trust each other. Or at least the Iridonian trusts you. We heard much of the Iridonian when we served Atris. Atris believed that the Iridonian held the knowledge to restoring Telos. 
So I just was siphoning power to Telos Academy. The reasons for such siphoning of power are complicated, and I do not know all the answers. But there is something greater being achieved. The teachings at the Academy must be preserved, even if it draws strength from Telos. You just thought Beodor was the key to saving Telos. Yes. His skill with machines is something beyond which most can aspire to. His shield technology surpasses the designs of even the most skilled of Ichani power architects. I do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. The Iridonian allied himself with no one on the entire world of Telos, yet he will follow you at the risk of his life. His stance, in many ways, mirrors yours. Where he walks, he carries a world upon his shoulders. And like you, I do not know if he has ever faced it. Maybe you'd like to explain why Atris is... Oh, wait. It's not your concern. Very well. I did not mean to bring up painful memories. Forgive me. It's just difficult to describe to someone who wasn't there. The Mandalorian Wars were like that for many. Many returned who could not tell of their experiences in a way that could bring meaning to them. End of the questions. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, we got light side, bro? What? Fuck. Okay, well, that's okay. It's yes. just a little bit. What are you doing? That you Questions. She said. Oh, wait. We got other questions. It is not possible to dock at the. Okay. Do you have them? Yes. You I can't remember how to get to combat with her. Hold on, let me load again. Because I don't want to... Maybe I can say some douchey shit and not... Because I didn't gain any influence with her. So it's like... Yes. No. Uh... Be what was it? When it Hold on. I meant no offense. You meant okay, let's see. What are you doing? Uh, Go ahead, play Bazak. No. Cards. Eight. The, the t I do okay, let me see. Some shot I never fought noise. Difficult. Never mind. Still got light side. I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever. Who cares? We lose it pretty easily, so sometimes you're gonna get some of that. How many more do we intend to gather to? Uh. And only as many as will sacrifice themselves to me. Then prepare for an army, I think, for it seems many more will come in time. They will follow you because you are a leader. Kraya has Their the most kind to say. always needs such, even when the figure deserves no such obedience. You deserve such obedience from them and you. You deserve nothing, but you have earned such obedience, yes. They are tools, you are right. More than you know. I am not blind. I see what they see, hear their voices when they speak to you, and notice the change when they speak to others. Are you, why are you angry? How do, or how do you know that? I know many things. And I know what I am not. I am no leader. A manipulator, yes. I speak yes. with a voice that will never move others. I speak with a passion that goes unheard. They obey you because you are a leader. And perhaps something more. Have you noticed what has been happening? Have you felt it in them? something happening to them. They echo you, either fighting or surrendering to their feelings, their loyalty, their duty. Your mere presence serves as an example to them of something to uphold or something to fight against. Watch them carefully. See their patterns and recognize the strength in it. Influence can be a weapon, one that you may need before your journey is done. I'll reflect upon this. Good. And then act upon it. Get some influence. It. You don't it's get a any type tool that. to motivate others. 
That was Revan's way, I believe. It was a strength. What do you mean? A discussion, perhaps. Ah, she doesn't like that. All right, other questions. Uh, you don't seem to like handmaiden. There are countless reasons, and I have neither the time nor the patience to list them all. We could drop her off at the next planet. No, she may have her uses. I will abide her presence, and so should you. Why do you say that? Because Atris is a threat. And as much as she would try to use us against you, so may we use her servants against her. Do not see every enemy as an enemy. See them instead as an ally, whether they realize it or not. This situation may yet work to our advantage. Agreed. Good. That is the most to be done until events unfold, as I'm sure they will in time. Other questions? Uh, What's wrong with your eyes? There is nothing wrong with my sight, if that is your question. I see all that I need, though the seeing of things flesh and blood has failed me some time ago. They were distractions only. Might be a way to heal it. There is nothing wrong with my eyes. They simply have atrophied from use. They are adequate to distinguish shapes, silhouettes. If need be, I could heal them, restore my sight. But sight can prove a distraction. When one relies on sight to perceive the world, it is like trying to stare at the galaxy through a crack in the door. But that is a lesson for another time. You must learn to see crude matter for what it is before the veil is lifted. Other questions? Are you Jedi Sith? Does it matter? Of course it does. Such titles allow you to break the galaxy into light and dark. Categorize it. Perhaps I am neither. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna save because I'm a little worried that, um... You have grown to be warned. Oh. The highest of mysteries cannot be found by falling to the dark side. It is a quick path and often She's so a full short of it. One. But I sense a disquiet in you, an unrest. Such things will erode your strength. There's no way to display my strength when the galaxy is full of begging fools. They sense the trappings of power and decision upon you. Their lives are static, trapped, and they see one who carries no such chains. This fetching carry, this servant's work is beneath me. Damn. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. Damn. Fuck it. Ah, now you are learning. Uh -huh. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through Even interaction, she is through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Other questions? Uh, what are you Jedi does Sith? It matter? Perhaps I am. Tell me what you are. Or what? Shall you kill me? Oh shit. Okay. That is. Or what? Or yeah, we're not there yet. Your Atris? Atris herself is not as familiar to me as perhaps she should be. Yet I feel I know her, yes. What do you mean? Because Atris's path is one I walked long ago, and it is a chapter of my life that has been read and closed. She has taken the first steps, I think. We shall see. What's Surely that one about, you Pants? felt the righteous anger, the spoken judgments, the lack of forgiveness. You walked her path. I was a historian once, gathering the relics of the Jedi, learning the ancient mysteries. Always there were more questions. But there One always must be a dark trail. But the Jedi dark Code trail. does not give all the answers. If you are to truly understand, 
then you will need the contrast, not adherence to a single idea. That is why Atris and the others blamed me, sentenced me. They believed me responsible for Revan's fall. Of course. Wait, you trained Revan? Were you to blame? You have already asked. Ask. Okay. Questions about Revan? Have you never asked yourself how Revan took the Republic and Jedi beneath him? It's not too hard to get full peace. influence with her, honestly. You just gotta believe that people are disposable. Ah, but to make officers turn on their own people. To bomb innocent worlds to make pacts. Strong influence, indeed. And where did these Sith teachings come from? And why did Revan embrace them so strongly? So many questions, yet the answers are few. I do not know and I do not care. Very well. Then we shall see. We're gaining influence with yes. her every time. Hold on. More about the force. Very well. Bond we share. I confess its nature eludes me. As There's well. a lot of information but from the bond is strong. A lot of progression. And its roots run deep. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. What about when we fight? When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. Does that have advantages? It seems the force. Yeah, we already talked about uh, this. Why don't you teach me more about the force? Well. One little lightsaber. Indeed. A Jedi tool and a Sith weapon. And why do you need such a thing? That's reason enough. Then listen to me. There is much weight, much craving attached to such a tiny thing of light. For the male, it seems to have an inordinate importance. But we shall leave such male preoccupations for philosophers and cultural historians. A lightsaber, any weapon, only achieves worth in how it is wielded, in the effort, in the struggle of one who holds it. Such a weapon does not make a Jedi or a Sith, and at times it makes them much, much less than they are. How do I make one? The knowledge has already been imparted to you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. More about the Force. Yeah. Lightsaber the forms. The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. The Others most basic. Come with time, with experience. There, the Shicho. It is simple. <laughs> She's just going to explain what we have. Strength. It allows focus, a slightly improved chance of connecting with one's opponent. It has no other advantages or disadvantages. It is an effective form to fall back on when no other form will do. Others may come with time, with experience. Makashi. Ah, a technique that helps one resist the force attacks of an enemy and also is excellent in lightsaber combat. It does more damage, but it leaves you vulnerable to other attacks. Use it against others wielding the force or lightsabers, but not against anyone else. Others. Okay. Very force. well. Oh, wait, hold on. Force forms. Very well. Oh, that's all she has. We don't have any force forms yet. Other questions? Uh, Hold on. Have you never? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, and. Okay, hold on. Thought the teachings came from Korriban. Oh, did they? No. Revan met no Sith Empire, yet he learned their teachings. Many have mistaken the soldiers beneath Revan, the machines that were constructed to be the Sith. They are wrong. The Sith is a belief. And what Revan formed was not an empire, but something else. Yet how he did it is curious. And I suspect the answer to that question is tied to another. How was Revan able to corrupt so many so quickly? Do you have any ideas? Not a one. But we shall see where our journey takes us, I think. And see how many answers we come across, yes? Other questions? Uh uh, did you know Revan? I misspoke. We're not there yet. Ask. Uh, you know anything about the Sith who pursue us? I know of them, yes. 
and how much like beasts they had become. We're close, slowly Combined, getting to the right. United against the know. Jedi, they command legions of Sith. But above these legions, there are three who must be stopped. As long as any one of them lives, then we, Zion, and all Nihilus, life, Treya. are doomed. One bathes in pain, feeds on it for sustenance. The other has ceased being a living being so consumed by hunger that he has forgotten his own flesh. And the last is a creature of betrayals, for without such things there is no hope. Zion. Yes, of pain. He has learned much. Of knowledge, of teaching, he knows nothing. Like the others, he was spawned by the horrors of the Mandalorian Wars. He exists solely to spread his pain to all Jedi everywhere. The one consumed by hunger? The less said of that one, the better. Even a stray thought may draw him, and it is possible that he cannot be defeated. He is one who has learned the greatest of the Sith teachings, and it enslaved him. Until you are ready, we must not seek him out. Who is the betrayer? Even now, she is difficult to see. No, she's not. She must remain hidden for now until the time is right. If not, then all our efforts will be for nothing. Mm -hmm. In this, you must trust me. If she is exposed too soon, then this war will be over before it has begun. Ask. Okay, um, anything else? Do you know Revan? I, I don't think we're there yet. Other I questions? Jedi Sith. Or what? Yeah, we're not there. There's two more things to get out of her. So, we'll get there eventually. Honestly, whenever she teaches you, just be just be like, okay, cool. And then she'll be like, sweet. Well, let's move on. Alright, so I'll throw this into... HK... Again, we're still early, and all that's really left, I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna look for uh, uh, T3 quickly. I don't think there's anything else I can get out of him. Um, and then I'll talk to Atten, and then we'll be done. T3 always, like like I said, he moves around the ship. He's harder to find. But, because you can literally run into him just about anywhere. There he is. Uh, do you remember the HK droid in the cargo bay came from? No influence with him. You should tell me. Other questions? How's the hawk? I appreciate your help. I want to get that influence. What about the astrogation system? Don't have it. Can it be repaired or not? Can you, can you, do you try di diagnostic? Make it separated again. You can't fix it, I'll do it myself. Other questions? Uh, I need a spike. Can you make any more? Can you make any more? Okay, I'll be going. So I gained some influence. Unfortunately, I got some influence. Or, see, the problem is certain... Oh, we're so dark, it, a tiny bit of light side points aren't going to be major. You know what I mean? There's like too many negative things that are going to possibly ruin our perfect dark side. So don't worry about it. I'm not worried about that at all. All right, we'll make a, another save. Like, we're quite early. We're already almost max dark side, so. I don't know what that witch did to you, but she's dragging you down into whatever hole she came out of. I'm only saying this because there's still a chance for you to stop this before whatever darkness she brought on you eats you alive. You're one to talk, Adam. I'm stronger than I've ever been. That's what you think, but it's going to rot you. The signs are already in your face. Dude. Uh, Can you teach me to play Pazak? All right, but I'm out of credits, so it's Republic Senate rules. Republic Senate rules. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to beat each other. But in the end, nobody wins. Everybody loses, and nobody accomplishes anything. It's like stalemate, except the goal is to pass time until the audience gets bored and leaves. Let's play a practice match, okay. Sure. Okay, I don't need it.
Look, I've heard about the force oh, sorry. and what it does to people who can't control it or themselves, and it shows in We're everything not ready you there do yet. and in your face. That's what you think. I can't help but feel it. Are you implying I cannot control her? Well, you're starting to get creases. You could pass for the old witch's son. I have some questions. Uh Swing, you got your Chani training. Huh? What are you talking about? You dropped into an Achani stance. Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. I don't have one. Don't change the subject. Yeah, so what? I don't ask any dumb questions about your past, despite the fact that it keeps throwing us into life-threatening situations. It's got a point, Wanna know why? I figure if you ever want to tell me something, you will. So give me the same respect, all right? I'm not accusing you, just want to know if you've got any other useful skills. Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. Uh, other questions? Uh. Nothing. Oh, we lost influence. Hold on. Let's try loading again. See, this is one of those things that I have to balance. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get, Pounds, for sure. I was trying to get him to teach me, but I think that comes a little bit later. I don't know what that... I'm... Sorry I've ever been. Let's play uh. sock. Look center rules. Forgot I had other questions. Right. Keeps me to play bizarre. Alright, but I'm out. Okay, hold on. Had other questions. Chani huh? training. I'm I thought it could be an asset. Well, hey. Alright. Never mind. Alright, we got we had to light side it. Cause I I, I know I'm gaining some, Look, but it's important. I, I've heard about the four I'm in control. Game plan, can I control her? Well, Alright. Look. Oh, wait, there's more. Stop letting it get to you. Do, your fe do my features trouble you? Well, the signs are starting to show. You don't look like you've slept in weeks. Or a year. Alright. All right. Yeah. Something up? Okay, he's finally down. Alright. Okay, we have to. I think we unlock that by talking to Kreia. So, anyway, we'll save with that. All right, we got the influence back. Just strict influence. I remember saying that frequently. It's very important what you say because Atten's got a very delicate mind and body. Anyway, so now we're kind of at the whim of where we can go, where literally wherever we want. I think Narshada. Usually, I go Narshada, and then Dantooine second. Um, I think they kind of want you to go Narshada, Korriban, Onderon, Dantooine last, but I think Dantooine has a lot of good stuff because of the Jedi. So we should be able to gut all. We should be able to build our lightsaber on Narshada, and then obviously going to Dantooine second. I think makes good sense, and just coming back to Dantooine when all is said and done. So anyway, I'm not going to travel there right now. Obviously, we're kind of at the end of our time anyway. Well, we are. It's been. Spent a lot of time on Telos, a lot longer than I thought we would. But obviously, there was a lot of back and forth over on Citadel Station. We had a few issues with the, the duels, things like that. We A lot of retries, but we got it done. So, guys, we'll be right back into this game tomorrow. And we'll be jumping over to Nar Shaddaa, one of the bigger planets. There's a lot going on. But we'll be back and forth between Nar Shaddaa a few times over this series. So, make sure you guys do come back. There's going to be a lot of content for KOTOR 2. And I'm very excited to be replaying it once again. So, guys, if you did enjoy the stream today, obviously make sure you leave a like on it. Comment your thoughts below. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on those post notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss anything I put out. Be sure to like, follow my socials as well. i got a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and a Discord. There's a link in the description. If you want to get a shirt or hoodie, there's a link in the description for that. Also, in a better feature below the stream, you can scroll down and see some of the goodies I have there. Uh, big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream, of course. CX Racer, Bones Coffee, Always Bearded, The Ridge Wallet, Mad Rabbit Tattoo, and Jinx Custom Controllers. I use their products every single day. Uh, it does uh, it does support the page obviously by using the promo code save that save the discounts links in the description for that Use my promo code dank 3000 like I said uh, to save a checkout Finally guys be sure to check out and sign up for the team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so already It does support the page a lot There's four tiers available to you entry basic premium and ultimate the higher up in the list you go the better and more perks You're gonna get but that entry level is only 99 cents. So it's super cheap and easy to get into the program uh, You'll get things for signing up like badges by your name custom emojis using chat exclusive video and stream access private open lobbies giveaways discounts and plenty more working towards 250 members uh 
milestone. That's our next milestone. We're getting there. We're around the 230 mark, obviously, for members. It doesn't matter what tier you join at. It does add towards it, but obviously... Once we get to that milestone, I'll be able to give you guys more perks. Uh, well, more and more we get, the more perks I'll be able to get you. Uh, but obviously, we'll get another emoji as well once we hit that 250. So let's see if we can get there before the new year is, uh, or before the year is up and before New Year. So consider signing up for the program. Link in the description for that. Join button is below the video on my main channel page as well. And if you're on mobile, rotate your phone vertically. There should be a join button right below the video there. Uh, or you can go down to the uh, dollar sign icon that's by chat. Some people it's listed there. So click the membership option, join there from there, and let's get to 250 members. All right, guys, you can also gift memberships if you're on desktop and if you're already a member. Same deal. You scroll down to the super chat option, the dollar sign, and it should let you uh, give the option to get members, which is customizable. You can gift pretty much as many as many as you want. So consider that. Let's get some other people a membership and let's see if we can get to 250 before uh, 2023 hits. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great yesterday and I hope I see you tomorrow when we tackle Nar Shaddaa. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Peace.